Oh, good evening, everyone. Good evening. It's not evening. It's afternoon. Hello, everyone. I'm taking it easy, man. I'm just, I'm just mellow and cruising. Oh, and I got this thing. You'll notice that Resident Evil 8 isn't up yet because I got a new mouse pad. Um, I talked about this issue a while ago, uh, and no one identified with it at all, which makes me think that uh, apparently it's only me. But uh, I've had this issue before where, <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me, the more common, commonly like moved places in a mouse pad uh, kind of get worn through, and the texture sort of changes in those places. Uh, which means the drag of the mouse can change as it goes across the surface. So I'm gonna yank out my mouse pad here. Oh, there's no way in heck. Uh, wait, hold on a minute. Did I ever add a button for that on my silly stream deck? Because I don't think I did. I would like to... Sh here, let me see if I can... I'll just do it live. I run out of buttons so fast on this thing. It's got so many. It's got 15 buttons. And somehow, they all get... They all get absorbed. There we go. <laughs> hearing your hearing my voice as you read the wallpaper. Yeah, it's a it's a lucky one. I got. It's not uh, it's not offensive. There we are. Hello. Um, you you might remember that this is what I look like when I'm not behind a, a webcam filter. So let's see here. Let's see. Yeah, you can see that, right? So there's a shiny spot there, and that's not because there's yeah. It's not because that it's not because of like the light hitting it in a certain way. It's because the the mouse pad is actually like shiny in that spot. The texture uh, has has changed, it vanished. You cannot scrub it off with dish soap because I've done that. Uh, I already tried that. So it's it's not it's not something on the mouse pad. It's something off. Uh, some some like texture has gotten worn off of it. So I I don't think I. Uh, I don't think I uh, maintained it properly. So I have a new one, which is great because I've... Uh, I've been getting a... Like, it's been on my mind uh, whenever I mouse... Whenever I mouse on things. So... Yeah. This one doesn't have, like, a surface that needs mate Or more... Needs a uh, specific maintenance. I think it's just a cloth surface. The other one was, like... So, uh, ah, jeez, stupid armrests. I just wanted to turn a little bit. There we go. Ugh. All right. Uh, I've been I've been getting uh, peripherals from Glorious PC Gaming Race for a while, even though you know their their name might be a little uh, a little eyebrow raising for the the very socially just. They sure do make good stuff. Uh, so. When are we getting a keyboard and mouse made out of pure light, like Minority Report? Well, we had to connect, you know? That's the shame, is like... Sometimes you see stuff in science fiction movies and it looks real flashy. But, even if we have the technology to do it that way, uh, there are certain practicalities about it that make it not worth adopting wholesale. Come on. They made some cool-ass panda clones? Yeah, I thought about trying those. Because, yeah, they do make panda switches. Although, like, I don't know what pandas feel like. I guess that's the... Because I did order, like, a, a key sampler kit, but it didn't have pandas in them because they didn't exist back then. Or rather, the the, uh, the clones didn't exist. All right, so this is fire, I think. Wait, is this fire? <laughs> the the three mouse pads they make are ice, fire, and air. Yeah, this is fire. Which is pretty a pretty sick branding, if you think about it. And I do. So, yeah, it's just... It's more of a basic cloth mouse pad. I think this might... Uh, might serve my my needs a little better or rather might uh serve my lack of willingness to um, properly maintain a mouse pad better the uh yeah i think the wind one is just a uh, plastic like it's not doesn't have a cloth top and i don't think it has a grippy bottom either which is kind of what i need okay my webcam decided to freeze let's see ooh Ooh, I'm mousing. I'm mousing. Oh my. That's a... Uh, yeah, the cab died. I know. I'll, I'll get it in a second. This usually fixes it. Moving this thing is touchy as hell. Uh, if it shifts around at all... There we go. If the, like... If the cords just nudge around at all, it just... Nope! It's just done. And then I have to kind of tell it to try again. That's okay, though. When I tell it to try again, it works. 
Can't ask for more than that. I guess you could ask for it to you know, not have to tell in the first place, but... Hey, that's life. Sometimes you gotta tell people things. Okay, uh... I'm enjoying this mouse pad. I'm... I am mousing without... drag spots. Kinda felt like hitting oil slicks in Mario Kart or something. Um... Need a grippy bottom in all theaters of life. Absolutely. Thought your desktop wallpaper was a part of RE8 puzzle? I mean, that'd be a pretty cool puzzle, wouldn't it? Alright. Picking RE8 back up. Um, big woman, sadly, is no more. As her, as with her, like, three nieces or something? I don't, I don't quite know what the arrangement there was, but... Doll lady, also done. Uh, I have two parts of my daughter. <laughs> so... Oh, the Inside Games videos is out. Ooh! Wait, what time did it come out? Daughters? Okay. All right. I don't remember Lady Dalmatres referring to them as daughters, but I'm sh I'm sure she did. Uh, and I know that they're not like they're not literally her daughters, but it's Resident Evil. We got to take some of this stuff. Uh, got to take it in stride. She was so thick. Yeah, well, she turned into a thick ass. Well, I shouldn't spoil it if you if you haven't played that that particular encounter. Okay, two hours ago? Okay, yeah, it must have hit like 1 p.m. then. Alright, luckily, if you want to check that out, the Inside Games command will drop a convenient little link to uh, to the channel. Also, what's that I hear in the distance? Is that a predatory animal stalking you with a power to perform beyond your wildest dreams? I think it is. <laughs> That's right. Got 30% 30 off code for G Fuel this weekend. Make sure to use that if you want to restock. Oh man, it's warm in here. What the hell? <sighs> okay. And now, first thing up, Lore. Are you getting the REA G Fuel? I should. I should ask for that. I don't know. I've, I've, I, see, I already have a lot of G Fuel, and I've asked for some promo things that just, I don't know, maybe got lost in the mail or something. So, I should. Is it... The last one they did was Nemesis Ice Tea. Oh, Maiden's Blood. Oh. Finally got some G Fuel. Found out I can really only handle half a scoop. That sucralose makes me so damn gassy. Is it the sucralose that gets you? For me, it's just I get like too juiced. Like yeah, a third of a, a third of a scoop is usually enough for me. November tenth, Mistress Donna is now Mother Miranda's adopted daughter. In all my years, I've never been this overjoyed. Ever since the childhood, she has always feared. Wait. Ever since childhood, she has always feared others due to the scar across her face. After her parents' death, she locked herself away and would only talk to Angie, the doll her father made her. I am forever thankful to Mother Miranda's infinite compassion. November 27th, Mistress Donna seems happy. It might be my imagination, but I feel like her doll Angie is even more lively than before. She came to me in the garden today and used Angie to talk with me. We had a mighty fine conversation. Something about receiving a gift of power from Mother? November 29th, Mistress Donna gave me yellow flowers and told me to plant them in the garden. I planted them in front of Miss Claudia's grave. I don't know if it was the scent of the flowers, but I felt lightheaded. Then, like a dream, I saw my departed wife. I mentioned this to Donna, and she seemed thrilled by it. She told me to go to the house tomorrow and see her. I said I could see my family. She said I could see my family once more. I'm not sure what she meant by that, but she's so kind. So kind. Uh, Super Nintendo Chalmers, thank you for the sub. Okay, well that that was a hint about that other puzzle then. I have to find flowers. I do remember that grave. It was interesting because usually in Resident Evil, something about where you put the item also gives you a clue about the kind of item you need to put there. But yeah, it was just a grave with an interact prompt, which was kind of new. Oh yeah, I can use this now. I can also crank the wells, so, you know. Ethan Winters looking pretty good all of a sudden. Great! Actually, I need that. Normally, I would ironic. Oh wait, never mind. Yeah, here we go. Normally, I would ironically say great when looking at a creepy doll, but in this case, it's actually sincere. Such an awesome game. I'm enjoying it more the more that I play it, which is a good sign, I think. But then again, I've also heard that uh, the tone and the pacing of this game is a little all over the place. So, I, I don't know that I can presume, that I can safely presume that, uh, 
what I like now will ma will maintain through the whole thing, you know. Oh wait, is it doing the? That's weird. I see V-Sync tearing on my monitor. I don't see. Ugh, I don't see it on the capture. It gets very actiony later on. Yeah, that's 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 the big take that I've seen. Is it just goes kind of full action game at some point? Which you know, Resident Evil games have done that. Four kind of did that. It wasn't. It wasn't quiet and spooky the whole way through. By the end of 4, you're like getting into knife fights with roided out generals and backflipping through laser beams. So, camera being moody today? Aw, oh, shucks. Yeah. Hold on a second. Let me... Let me jiggle the thing. Let me just reseat this cable. Maybe that'll make it a little more friendly. No joke. These, uh, this camera is... Or rather, specifically the like video out to uh, cam link is is pretty touchy pretty touchy but that's all right i can't argue with the video quality which is uh it's a bit of a shame that i'm uh, i'm using it in the way that i am there we go ah yes it has turned all of the osd back on all right one moment i think i remember which button that is is it i feel like it might be this guy yes Sweet. <sighs> you plan on beating this game this stream? I, I couldn't say. That's up to the game, not me. Oh, hold on a second. I don't know how long it is. Um, nor do I have any clue if I'm going to get stuck on a section or something like that. I'm playing it on hardcore. Because I am hardcore. All right, what was I supposed to be doing? I think, oh yeah, I, I have, that's right. I got another, I got another piece of daughter. Now I can go back to the Duke. The Duke of Transylvania, A number one. Ah, frick. Are we cinematic monsters? Yes. We're just here for the skybox? All right. Probably got four to six hours left. Oh, then yeah, I, I'm, I, yeah, I should be able to finish it tonight. Yeah. It's an interesting way to, like, spawn enemies in. It is kind of nice that, um, it, it seems like every killed enemy is a guaranteed drop of something. So, it's not it's not so overtly a, a question of trying to dodge the expenditure of bullets. You do get some return on, on combat no matter what. Hardcore gamers only? Well, I mean, I don't... I, here's, here's my thing about that. I thought a lot about this. You know, the, the lifestyle of the hardcore gamer. Because I understand it can be a little exclusionary. The last thing I want is to make hardcore gaming seem unapproachable. You know what I mean? Hardcore gaming belongs to the world. It's given me so much, it would be unfair if I... If I did not do my best to act as a, uh... What's the word? Not diplomat. It's my job to be a, a representative of the, uh, the lifestyle of hardcore gaming. So, while I, of course, would not hold myself to any standard less than hardcore... Ambassador. That's exactly what I was looking for. Thank you. I've procured some new items for you, Mr. Winters. I, uh, I would certainly never, uh, put that requirement on the audience. Never. Ah, Miss Angie. Just adorable. Porcelain dolls are very popular, you know. A conduit. Or just a fat guy. Could be that, too, you know. Interesting. Ooh, ooh, ooh! There's some goodies here. I am, I am liking this loop where you know you go out kill a boss, they drop a, a just a bomb of money on you, and then you get all these goodies to buy. I um, it's an interesting gameplay thing that like I I haven't quite figured out in my head. Is it better if the boss drops the power up right away, 
or is it better if the boss drops a thing that then lets you get the power up? It's almost like it's it feels better if it's there's like distance between those two things because your head's all like if you do a boss fight you're like oh wow that was crazy and then you're like whew the boss fight's over and then you get a beat to like sort of chill out <clears throat> and then you get the upgrade and you're like yay <laughs> i almost feel like you can you can extract more uh emotional hit from those things by separating them i like getting boss drops of its abilities but for items i like to buy hmm the two are not necessarily so dissimilar though i think Man. Oops. Also buying parts for guns. Feels good. Aha. Oops. This is for the F2, right? Yeah. To hunger. Oh. Used to be alive. Yuck. All right, let me good day, then. specifically look up the shotgun. I can sell this one, but this one still has shells in it. So I need to empty that. But this is the, the Lemmy is, yeah, the gun that I can sell. Welcome. All right. Depends on the game, I guess. Something like Diablo, I want to see all the colorful shinies Ooh, pop from the boss's I... corpse. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. They are they are like a, a present exploding, a pinata. Jeez. Yeah, I, I guess it does kind of hinge on the... Um, Do take care, Select. On the game and the way that it uh, expresses goodies into the world. Is one of the more open? Is this one of the more open Resident Evils? <sighs> None of the Resident Evils are super open. Do you mean just in terms of level design? Uh, like four, five, and six have like combat arenas that you can explore in. Um. <sighs> Actually, 2 is fairly open once you get into the police station. It kind of opens up and lets you go to places. Is this game like a Metroidvania? Yeah, sort of. It's more like it uses Metroidvania gates to, uh, to, to create a linear path out of something that's perceived to not be linear, but it's kind of linear. Like, you really don't get to choose where to go at any moment. And you really don't have any way... Like, there are environments where you can choose to explore, but that ex exploration has no benefit other than maybe finding some extra bullets or some extra money. But it's not like you can do this boss before that boss. You know, it's not Breath of the Wild. Um, should tell you I was mistaken about item box. I thought it had one, but what I saw was a temporary holding spot when you buy things to fit them in your inventory. There is no item box. Okay, that makes that makes sense. I was just confused about the guns, but then somebody in chat brought up, well, you can sell them. And then I was like, oh, yeah, you're right. That is what you're meant to do. It is. But you let me know if you find anything else of value. Four had an item box, though, didn't it? Because that was kind of the yes, setup there. Yes. You would get better guns that use the same ammo. I mean, I can, it's weird that I can get... I can get the uh, recipe for that. Oh, you can buy the Lemmy back. Okay. Maybe I'll just... Should I just pocket this... Pocket this cash? I'm skilled at all sorts of weapons modifications, and we'll do them for a small fee. One moment, please. I forgot about upgrading guns. Ew, I already spent all my cash. Give me the cash. Alright, fine. Good day, then. I don't think I had an item box either. It's been a while, it doesn't ring a bell. Hmm. Yeah, I can't remember either. There's no point to an item box when the upgrade is just clearly, or objectively better in every way. So just selling it for some more cash is the better option, really. It, it really is. You're right. Um, and I think that's the way that, you know, this game functions pretty well that way. Um, so I have the wheel. I don't I don't think... Oh, wait. No, I did get the... Yeah, the upgraded key. Okay. So, okay. So here's an example, potentially. I can go to this next area and fight the boss there. Or I can backtrack into the village and use the, you know, Metroidvania ability I have now to pull up items from wells. So, there's like, I have a new ability that will result in more items, not necessarily in like, divergent gameplay progression. It's just a way to re-explore areas and, and extract more items out of them. And I guess there's this too, there's like, he did, he did give me a heads up about treasures, although this door's still locked, isn't it? Yep. 
But I've been over there. That's the annoying thing. That means I forgot to unlock it. Maybe I can go through here. I hope I didn't jump down. One, zero, two, three, and four had item boxes. Five and six did away with it. Seven and eight don't have it either. Okay, all right. Thank you for the uh, thank you for the exhaustive research. Oh. That's true. Also, murdering animals would potentially result in uh, permanent upgrades. That's bizarre. So, so like, rooms like this make me think that this game is using a sort of spontaneous item generation system, kind of like 4 did. And I, I, I really think, like, a lot of Resident Evils use it, but... Like, there's a, there's a house with plenty of open surfaces that items could spawn on, but just didn't, or aren't. 4 doesn't. 7 had item boxes. Good... Yeah. We're dealing with we're dealing with misinformation campaigns. Dang it! I went over there, but I forgot to unlock the door. Ugh, that means I have to go all the way around again. Gosh, it's the worst. Some in areas have very big lore stuffs in them. Oh! Before you use the same system, you have an eight. Okay, an expandable briefcase, but that's all you got. It is interesting that they're not respawning enemies here. I guess they're okay with me having... Oh, they, they actually put the wells on the map. Played two days ago. Four definitely does not have item boxes, and seven definitely does. <laughs> uh, this information is known. There's a, there's a short gate coming up there. Yeah, no, I, I, was just, I was just lamenting that I didn't do that. I know, but I have to get there to do it. I know. I think I have to go through the church. Go all the fucking way around. Oh, wait a minute. Are all those in here? No. <laughs> I like that the eyes are off center. <laughs> What's going on with that? Okay, I guess it's a, I guess it's an item that I can sell. The Duke traffics in childhood dreams. Zero had a horrible inventory system, but had so much Resident Evil lore. That was the one where you essentially had to trade items back and forth between a Rebecca and what's his name, right? Am I making that up? Like the, I don't. Billy. Yeah, there we go. Cool guy, Billy. I love how every time Resident Evil tries to introduce a bad boy, they, like, immediately try to convince you that, no, it, it's not really that bad. Don't don't worry about it. Don't get scared. Oh, drop it on the floor. Yeah. Resident Evil Zero had <laughs> item dropping tech. Huh? Was this here before? Operation date, February 9th, 2021. Radar noise, thank you for the resub. Captain and Strider right about four. Alright. I'm glad we I'm glad we got to the bottom of that. Oh, Iron Snake. Thank you for the prime as well. Eleven thirty five arrived at sight. No sign of Ethan Winters or Rose Winters. Twelve ten infiltrated village. Engaged with number of bioweapons, found evidence of Ethan Winters. Rose Winters location unknown. Thirteen ten established base and church. Plan of operations. LB Teen T D K nine search laboratory. Alpha Infiltrate Factory. I don't see a Chris Redfield in there. Le no. K9. <laughs> so I guess the BSAA is operating here now? Somewhere? Okay, sorry, I was just checking to see if it was frame tearing. Because I think I see it on my monitor, which is wacky. This game, this game's display is is interesting. I don't know, I don't know what what they're up to with the RE engine, but the PC port is like it's good, but also weird. It's weird in ways I haven't seen other PC ports be ever. And I've seen a lot of weird PC ports. Queer, Chris equals werewolf equals alpha equals dog equals problem solved. <laughs> or is it Neo Umbrella? <gasps> I guess you're right. It could be Neo Umbrella. 
Okay. I don't know what that was for, but... And while I may be complaining about it, there is something very pastoral about exploring areas that you've already sort of cleaned out. Like, it, kind of like I was saying in, in the last stream, having you be in an environment under duress and then letting you revisit it later to collect things without that stress um, weighing on you. That's a nice feeling. Plus, I guess, what, I've, what I'm kind of noticing is that also this game is... is being very efficient about the way it uses its maps and its geometry and stuff. It, it has you re-explore the same same areas multiple times in different contexts, which kinda kinda keeps it fresh. Oh boy, that's a lot. Shit, I should just run. Get indoors. They shut the door for me? That was nice. Oh no. Oh no! I need your precious meat pig, I'm sorry. Oh, that's right, he's a zombie pig. They're mean anyway. Oh, fuck, they're still here! <laughs> for some reason I thought I'd lose them. I'm sorry! Oh, you're fine. I'm sorry! Still alive? Okay, now I need to, yeah, make sure that this is the shotgun I'm using. Ow! <laughs> Fuck! Oh, I thought I died. I thought I died. Usually, I'm not allowed to take a hit after the screen goes red. Whew! Also, quality meats. What I needs. Did you beat the game or just close? Uh, neither, I think. I'm still playing through it. I uh, played through it on. I'm playing through it on hardcore, which is making me take a little longer. That intro, that intro sequence mostly is what like tacked a good hour and a half on onto my playtime. Since then, it's. I feel like it's been pretty smooth. Yeah, tough pig. Oh, it had quality meat, you know. It's just the way it goes. Oh! I wanted to rotate it. And instead I popped off a couple bullets. Did a little did a little necklace pop. Okay, all right, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a valuable that has one step removed. Okay. Fuck this box, bang bang, <laughs> yeah. Wait, why is the icon still on the map? Oh, no, wait, there's a big X through it. Never mind. Okay. Whoa. Damn it! I want to rotate it! It, like, <laughs> it displays the item exactly like you're examining it. But it's just timed instead of, uh... Is this meant to, like, wear on your hip or, like, through a belt? That's cool as hell. I get wanting to send Ethan and Mia to another location, but all the way out in Romania? Is that where they... Uh, yeah, I guess that stands to reason. They're in Europe somewhere. Yeah. And they get abducted. And Maybe, uh, Neo Umbrella had a hand in their placement. You ever think about that? You ever think about that? It could be Neo Umbrella. Although I guess this would be like anti Umbrella. This is like ancient Umbrella. Masonic cult Umbrella. I want I want to murder these chickens too, but I don't. Oh, uh, okay. I can't go through here. All right, chickens. You have the misfortune of being the sole desire of a very large man, so this is just the way it goes. If I can pick up one of those uh, defense-enhancing food buffs, it'll be interesting to see how that changes the game.
Okay, I'm trying to think about how... I was... How did I get over here? It was like... I have to get down here somehow? Which is... Hmm... I, I remember getting turned around in this section last time when I was specifically trying to find that house. Now I'm just trying to get back there so I can get some... Get some treasure. It's just aggravating to know that there was a, a shortcut that I just didn't open. Now I have to do it again. Uh, I thought it was through this way, though. I thought it was through here. Doesn't The map doesn't seem like it, but man, the map really throws you for a loop in this specific area, too. All of the uh, paths that seem like they're open are cut off. The ones that seem like they're cut off are the ones that are actually open. Looks like they're respawning some enemies. What is that a red? What is that a door for? It's like a mausoleum. Oh. Well, okay. Maybe that's what goes on the gravesite. Okay. Well, you know what? I should have trusted in the universe. I should have believed. That all of my strife and troubles were for the greater good. Because clearly they were... Oh yeah, that's right. You you go through this house and climb out a window to get around behind it. I believe. And that puts you back here. I think that's what that is. I haven't found that in my game. Noted. That's what I'm here for. Like I said, hardcore gaming. But with a, sm a, a smile and a nod. Like your friendly milkman coming by with a, a nice glass of cold, chilled gaming... Yeah, and then you gotta climb, crawl under this thing. That object is easy to miss if you don't pick it up here and now. GG. It's just what I do. It's just what I do. Do I have a Do I have a lockpick? I do. You. Speaking of zombie games, did you play the first Dying Light? And are you interested in the second one? I did play the first Dying Light. I, I, I liked it. The more I played it, I feel like once you get the grappling hook, that game sort of, be, kind of becomes more, what it. Like, it kind of clicks in a, a lot more, I think. Um, I'm interested in the sequel. Although the development seems to be kind of all over the place. I don't know. I, I, was, I was charmed at the uh, the video they put out. I feel like there is there is something... <sighs> this is this is a anecdotal observation. But it does seem like... Like, goofy, vulnerable, sincere honesty is like kind of a Polish thing. It, it seems like if if people feel like there is a misconception out there, then they just want to come out and be like, no, this this is the situation. And they want to do it in like a friendly, jokey way. Be like, hey, come on. Like, we're telling you the truth. And and I think in sometimes it reads a little differently in other uh, cultures. So I think the reaction to that video was a little interesting. but Because I've seen, I've seen CD Projekt Red uh, do stuff like that. A long time ago, though, like ten years ago, when they were first launching GOG and stuff, they did some, some goofy, uh, PR stuff. So, it's just connecting those two things in my mind. I guess I can't really think of any other um, Polish devs who have done that sort of thing. But do you watch the AMA? No. You mean the Dying Light Two video? Yeah, yeah, the one where all the Polish devs kind of. It was like a reading mean comments thing, and then they just kind of said like, "Hey, we're working on it." Right. Oh, they put out an AMA for the second game? That is kind of cool. I'll have to check that out. Alright. Wait, heard about it? Wait, what? what's sad about it? Oh, it's sad how long the game is taking? Oh, uh, yeah, I mean... Certainly not ideal. Oh yeah, I can go in here now. Yes. Oh, they're cur they're changing the grappling hook so it's not like you're Spider-Man anymore. More swingy, I suspect. Huh. 
I mean, I didn't, I didn't get Spider-Man vibes. The first grappling hook was just like yanking you to places. You think they're gonna make it more swingy? Oh Jesus! Oh yeah, Tomcat. There, there is some of that, but. <clears throat> Accusations, you're right. That that part is uh that part is sad. Alright, another date. 270917. It's a European date too. There's a 27th month. I gotta liberate this uh I gotta liberate this lock. It's displaying dates in a uh Steel race Velger, cool. It's displaying dates in a distinctly un-American way. Which I don't know that I'm okay with. When are we finally gonna get some American representation <laughs> in date displays? I'm sick I'm sick of racing games offering me the option of changing it to kilometers per hour. Okay? Just don't even put it in. There's only one measurement. Hogsheads per triple tick. <laughs> Just like Americans love. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> thank you, Dolite. Or, uh, Dolly de Great. Americans finally need to get some representation on the world stage. Maybe we just need to be louder about it. Of shoving our way into situations that don't involve us and insisting that it's about us now. Maybe that's what we need to do more. <laughs> oh, there's another thing in here. Where is it? Usually if there's something I can't find, it's because it's a twinkle in the ceiling. I also still hate Fahrenheit. Fight me. Yeah. That, uh... I guess it does what it's supposed to do, but still. Fahrenheit can be a little annoying. I agree. Huzzah. Wait, nope. There's still more. Americans shouldn't be storming anything. Yes, but we can't help ourselves. When we run out of things to storm, we storm ourselves. If we're not storming something else, <laughs> what are we going to storm? KPH numbers are higher, which means you are faster. Period. Shit. Fuck. You, can't. you got me there. I have to concede that point in this grand debate. Where? Mm, I'm about to give up on this last item. <clears throat> I mean, maybe I'm fooling myself thinking it's the last one anyway. <laughs> Desert storm right into the capital storm. See? I looked right at it. Damn it! I do that. I have I have poo poo eyes when it comes to items sometimes, which is not good for games like Resident Evil, where you they intend for you to pick them all up. Mandolin on the ceiling? What? And there's a few of them. Oh! I gotta admit, I, I am glad that they brought that aspect of Resident Evil 4 back. Of, uh... Are you here, ABBA? Yeah. <laughs> Stephanie's watching an ABBA movie. Which I... Mm, if you can hear it, that means this video is gonna get claimed, but... Whatever. Easy come, easy go, am I right? I will, uh... I will put the... I don't know, $10 the YouTube VOD would have made on a... On a boat. Kick it out to sea and set it on fire. Okay, I think I have to go through this house. Wait, how do I... How do I get over here? No, it's not Mamma Mia. There's there's like a... There's like a concert travelogue film that came out in the 70s, I think? It's it's like Mamma Mia the movie. It, or sorry, it's <laughs> ABBA the movie. It's not, it's not Mamma Mia. I haven't seen Mamma Mia, nor has Stephanie. Which doesn't make any sense, because I'm... I would consider myself an ABBA fan. And, and 
erstwhile ABBA enjoyer. Oh, the statue has a treasure as well? Okay, I'll check that out in a second. I'm just trying to remember how to... Is it through here? Because this, you like drop to the other side, but then that puts you in the chicken place. ABBA the tour? Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe I can't get back here yet. Maybe I just can't do that yet. Oh, because I think you have to go through here. Yeah, and then you loop through there, and that's how you unlock that. All right, well, this whole time I was mistaken, I think. Um, but the good news is I got a lot of treasure anyway. Shortcut is below you now. No, I've already done that one. Um, if you talk over the audio, won't you be okay in regards to copyright? Only if I talk over the audio enough to make it so that a robot doesn't identify ABBA. But that's all that matters. Um... Yeah, if if the AI picks up on the waveform and enough of it to be like ding, that's that's all. I mean, I could probably appeal appeal it, but that there's no grounds for appeal there. Like if it's actually if it's in if it's in your video, whether you intended it to be or not. Like I think there's something specific in YouTube that actually says like accidental capture of media is not a reason to appeal. Um, so I'm like, oh, okay, there it is. Any robot can identify ABBA. It's true. We taught them to do it. Also, I can, I can sell that shotgun now. Uh, okay. I'll, I'll take a little, it's just take a little looking, detour to the grave. Away. And, uh... Oh, it's super hard to see? Okay, I'll... Ooh, where did you get your hands on such a thing? Carry on. We've gathered all the ingredients. Now. I don't know if you know, but buying, equip buying and equipping an M upgrade fills the clip, so you could upgrade on an empty clip and get more out of the upgrade. Okay. I, I actually didn't know that. Uh, game games handle that in different ways, so I didn't know if this game was going to be uh, that uh, that generous. Could be had in this winterbound frontier. But I will uh, keep that in mind. Pay me no mind. I don't know if I have the means to really uh, to, to squeeze that particular aspect at the moment, but. I suppose you'd call this a farewell to arms. I suppose I would, you nerd. Okay, so yeah, I could refill a shotgun. It might be empty right now. I can refill my sniper too by upgrading. Hold on a second. Uh, Let me know if you find anything else of value. Okay, I will. Uh, I'll go, I'll run to this, the, like, gravesite, and along the way, I'll, I'll pop off my three shotgun shells. I have to remember where the gravesite is, though, because I think it was this way. Yeah, I think that's what this is. Yes. Oh, you can hand in meat even if you don't finish the meal and it gets it out of your inventory? Okay. I'm clearly I'm not really starved for inventory space. And and unless you just find stacks and stacks and stacks of ammo, it's hard to kinda of hard for me to imagine how one would get pressed for inventory space. I mean I, I got squeezed way at the beginning once I started picking up like duplicate guns and stuff, but yeah, not really duplicate, but you know what I mean. But yeah, I mean the hardest part of the game so far has been the first the first five minutes. Which is not necessarily uncommon for how most games handle difficulty curves, but it is an extreme situation in this case. Luckily, I have a top secret weapon to get past that sequence. And it's hiding on a ladder like a coward. I am curious if that's something that, like, that feels like something that they would patch, you know? 
if it works. Maybe I, I, I bet I got really lucky with just the particular way that the enemies stacked on each other so that they couldn't reach me or something. Everyone seems to agree about that difficulty. Yeah, that, that opening sequence is... I really like the spirit of it. Um, because I think I, I, I understand the spirit of it. But the execution is pretty doo-doo. Especially for, like, being right at the beginning of the game. I feel like if you... That's the sort of thing you do if you've had multiple sequences like that. That have gradually tutorialized the player on what to expect. Um, and granted, 4 doesn't do that. But 4 also doesn't. Four's, four's village layout is way kinder, and its AI is, is far, far more uh, generous than the stuff in, uh, in village at the beginning. Oh no. It's a demonic goat. You have some tasty meat, goat. Jesus. <laughs> I, I always feel so bad. But I also do it anyway. The enemies are significantly slower. Yeah, yeah, they, they do that thing where they run, but they always stop and start stalking within, like, a radius of you. So they, like, they'll run, but then they'll slow down and, like, come at you with, like, a pitchfork or a torch or something. And, you know, it gives you an opportunity to know they're there, to square up on them, to, like, three of them are kind of coming, so you can sort of plan what you're going to do to get through the crowd. But, man, the Wolfmen and Eight, they just get your ass. They don't wait they they intentionally surround you they intentionally cut you off it's um it's i i honestly think comparing those two uh sequences and the way they're executed is an incredible way to to pinpoint how subtle changes to enemy placement and enemy behavior make something so much more difficult and whether or not that's better or worse uh you know i think people can make arguments i think certainly um most people would say the sequence in four is what the fuck oh shit uh, is, um, a lot more enjoyable, but, uh, okay, all right, are you gonna, okay, oh no, don't, I hope it doesn't let me, like, kite him like this, Jesus Christ. But it, it just might... Whoo! He's fast. Okay. Okay, he's, he's following me now. Uh, let me see what I can do here. I have a lot of pipe bombs, and I can make three more? Alright, let's, let's try and huck some of these bad boys, see how this works. Fuck! Wait, hold on, hold on. Why did I unequip? Oh, I must have, I must have panic, panic hit a button. too. Ah, uh, that sucks. I don't have another heal, I don't think. I have a mine. Fuck! I forgot. I forgot. You're so much slower. That's a, that's a, I guess that is a pretty classic Resident Evil thing. When you're low on health, you move really slow. Oh, it's like, it's a death sentence though. You can't, you can't dance with, oh shit. How much did I lose? Okay, okay, that's not so bad. Wait, is that bad? Is that like all the way before I did any of the village exploration? It might be. It is. No, it's not. Okay. Oh, praise God. <sighs> okay. My heart sank for a second there. 
When did Ethan lose his right hand? Uh, his right hand? Well, I mean, he did lose it, but he reattached it. Now his left got partially chewed off by a, a lichen. Oh. The magic cube even fixed his jacket. Yeah, it just stayed, just all grew back together. Maybe it's like uh, it's like venom, where like his jacket is mold. I guess he keeps the regeneration superpowers he got from the start of seven. That's what it really seems like. Yeah, maybe I can just sprint in there and. I think they may have thought of that. Oh shit. Interesting. We're not gonna we're not gonna detonate. We're not gonna do the exact thing a mine is supposed to do. That's not that's not very cash money of you. Fuck. Fuck, god damn it. Everything, everything takes so fucking long in this game. And the enemies move very quickly. I guess that's Resident Evil, baby. tools to kill this guy right now. Oh, he's gonna get me. Maybe? Okay. I just gotta heavily, heavily cheese it. Ooh. Turn around and run. Backing up is too slow. Yeah. But you can... Damage as you're retreating. But yeah. You were correct. Fuck. Oh no. Okay. Like, I don't. I'm worried that that, like, resets the encounter. Uh, so I might. I might be in the process of playing myself. That's a lot of that's a lot of dudes, wow. <laughs> Holy crap, he's not dead. Um Yeah, I'm getting I have handgun ammo. I can make handgun so much. At this point I'm worried about this guy's not dead, okay. Hell yeah!
Oh. Mine paid off. we go well all right then this guy's ridiculous I had to use 10 type pipe bombs and three mines to kill him in my game yeah I I haven't run the math you know on, on what the most efficient use of like craftable items is but did you just have that many pipe bombs stacked up when you got there pipe bombs are nice because they kill all the other enemies oh that reminds me Somebody did run over a mine, which means there's probably there's probably an item drop on the other side of the circle. These guys aren't that hard to dodge around, though, which is nice. Yeah. Just a friendly chem fluid. That was way too much health. I mean, how else are you supposed to make a Resident Evil boss interesting? It's either mechanics, or you shoot it until it dies. Um, often it's both. Probably more to kill that abomination than you got back in loot. I mean, maybe. Um, I still have plenty of handgun ammo, which is enough to get me around. Uh, and um, I can buy upgrades, so yeah. Oh, I, I can also upgrade the clips of both of my guns. Yeah, so I'll get a full clip of ammo on both of those. Plus the, uh, plus the upgrade. The, show, the slow shamblers are nice because I just started stabbing them to death because they're so slow. Yeah, they're slow and they miss. Like, their hitboxes are really small. I haven't I haven't tried to go knife on them yet. Honestly, because I haven't needed to. Um, there's not... I haven't, I haven't just gone completely bone dry on ammo yet. Either... Like, the enemies drop, drop enough resources to kind of keep you roughly cruising okay. I do, I, it does feel like, that aspect of it does feel a lot like 4 as well. Where it's sort of like the knobs are spinning to make you feel like you're going to run out of stuff, but you never actually do. This is very valuable. Oh, yes. God, 30 grand. <laughs> the axe is worth more than the actual chalice I got for doing it. You part with this? No, no. I'm more than happy to purchase it. And now I just have crazy amounts of. Mm -hmm. One moment, please. Crazy amounts of upgrade juice. Load speed is nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Good yes. Day, then. Nice. Nice. Oh, Omi Dart. Sub came through. It waited until the previous one expired, then it billed me. Oh, okay. I guess that's good. Did did I don't I never saw the alert though. Well, anyway, a filthy grave lover. Thank you for the raid. That's a it's a hell of a name, but. Who am I to judge? Uh, Eve the Panda, thanks for the Prime. And Light Behemoth, thank you for the Prime. Well, Omi Dart, thank you for subbing. I appreciate that. Thank you for following up on it. Checking what's going on there. You can now enjoy ad-free Twitch viewing. Oh. I'm already on my back. Getting brutalized again. What part of Ethan will get chomped away this time? I think I saw the wolf go for the dick at some point there. So not a... I guess I assumed there'd be something to shove in front of the door. Is this the same... 
Is it the same uh, shack? That No, it's a different one. It's just the same layout. Hmm. Something I hold noticed last night. If an enemy is holding a weapon and you shoot the arm, they often drop the weapon. Makes things a bit safer. I found that they, they drop the weapon if you shoot them anywhere. Uh, I go for headshots and they still stumble backwards and drop, drop what they're holding. But yeah. Uh, the wounds are severe. I won't last much longer. I can hear it shuffling about outside. It barely flinched when I shot it. I feel like it's toying me. That isn't a wolf. Still, I won't lie down like a dog. If I can get to the old water mill, I can stop it. I can protect you. It's so close. Damn, I'm so cold. My legs won't work. I'm so sorry, Louisa. Please forgive me. Hey, I found her necklace. And already sold it. So, tough luck, buddy. Hello, Dudette. Thank you for the resub. The 60 nice. 69 months. The most blessed of months. So they seem to be telegraphing to me that I can't shoot that thing to death. Because it had an intro where I got chewed up and had to run from it. So I guess I gotta just sprint to the next hole. Oh, you can kill it? Oh, okay. See, that's... I don't know, this this game this game has confusing language in the way that it tries to telegraph things to the player. I'm also, I'm a bit ammo light since shooting the big axe man to death. These... Is this... Yeah, th never mind. These are the houses that I, I started moving through in the opening sequence. Well, I've been here before. Just finally got to come back, I guess. Feeling it's not too hard, actually? Well, then I'll just shoot it to death. I've been reminded that I have a gun. Unlike last time. Where are you? It's like nuclear waste or something in the water. Lawrence, you didn't save. You're right. I didn't save. Ah! Fuck! I tried to shoot, and it's like the game wouldn't let me. It's like the game decided I was gonna get bit. There's like a weird there's like a weird input delay when you like pull the sights. It's very strange. So like it's just like it clawed me the first time. So I was like, I'll just guard. And then it does like a stupid command grab thing. Boy, now I'm slow. This game, man. It, like, it's fine. It just keeps telling the player the, like, keeps almost feeding the player bad info. Ugh, fucking Christ. Yeah, I didn't save. Like, ever. I gotta go kill that big thing again. Great. This is gonna take forever. Why would they do that? Why would they like have him claw you through the door and then grab you through the door? Damn, it's like... <sighs> uh. Let's see, kill this goat again. Wait, did I, where's, Where, where's goat? Oh, there you are. <sighs> like the bi leave the big guy for later. I mean, I have to do it one way or the other. At least this time I remember sort of what to do. That's a sick way to introduce that enemy. I guess. Yeah. I, the problem is the way they introduce him feeds you a bunch of bad information about how he works and what it is. But then again, that's that's this game in a nutshell. It's not that wild for it to have multiple moves. Sort of. Sort of it is. I 
especially when in a specific circumstance they show show it doing a specific animation. Okay, so I'll just shoot it in the head again. But again, this this game does that chronically. And uh I think most people's I think that, that that is what most people are reacting to when they they like talk about the um, the weird and uneven parts of it. Just camp in the doorway, yeah. I mean that was my intention. And then it just did a surprise move. And busted out the uh, the action replay. That's what I did. He can't get in. But apparently he can grab me and throw you outside, so... <laughs> I get it. So, am I... I feel like I'm a bit... I feel like I'm a bit wrong. Uh... Because the game... The game will give you checkpoints that aren't explicit saves. The note implied there is a way to kill it, but you need something special based on the intro to the enemy. I imagine the intro is for the player to find said weapon or to use stealth to get past him. Sort of. Not really. I mean... Resident Evil likes to introduce new enemies theatrically, and that the theatric introduction often has very little gameplay implication on how you're actually supposed to mechanically deal with the enemy. You know, like the there's the cinematic scene of the hunter chasing you, the liquor's showing up with like a giant a giant movie scene. None of those things tell you about the the like actual mechanics <laughs> of what they do. Like they don't tell you the hunter can one shot you. It just does. And then you're like, oh, I guess it can do that. Caught on a rock. A Resident Evil story. All right. Oh, that's right. I crafted more uh, sniper ammo. I was like, I thought he was about. I thought he was dead about now, but nope. That's right. Come on, don't stop running. That's the other thing. If you go into menu and craft stuff, you come out of the menu in a dead stop. Um, and the game kind of like keeps telling you to like craft stuff, craft stuff during combat. It's great, but it resets your like momentum to be standing stock still, and then Ethan like takes a beat to to accelerate again. Shoddy them by the ammo crate. That's what I'm doing! <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> I just did it! Alright, I'm 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 getting uh Oh my gosh. Alright, I'm declaring a moratorium on all game tips. <laughs> I'm I no longer welcome them. Jesus. I know what I'm doing. I could play a video game, it's alright. Alright. Oh, Twitch delay. Well, even, even still. 
I understand. It's exactly what I did before. I will do it again. Uh, sorry, I just need to need to find my calm. I'm still I'm still smarting from uh, just doing this whole thing again. Yeah, I need to get this thing. Hmm. Also, I'm going to I'm going to guess that if you drag ammo in here and then leave the inventory, you don't come out at a sprint. Nope. So that that's actually worse. Uh, going to inventory and dragging ammo around is worse than reloading in-game because you can reload while you're moving. Um, whereas if you do it in the menu, you stop still and then have to accelerate again. That's that's kind of a, a, a big problem. Yeah, the no momentum thing is... They, they're telling you to go into screens while you're playing. And then they have all these sequences where you have to like run and shoot and reload and like kind of multitask and balance resources in the heat of the moment. Why does it stop you? I don't, like, that doesn't happen in other Resident Evils, I don't think. I'm pretty sure you can dive to menu, and then, like, in the in the animation of the menu going away and coming back to, like, the gameplay scenario, if you hold the inputs, you'll, you'll keep running. Does it happen to the map, too? It does. Gosh. <sighs> don't forget to save. Didn't I just, did I not just, I didn't save, did I? Oh, well, there's, there's a typewriter bed. It's a small thing. Now that I now I think now that I've consciously I consciously expect it. it. Might be done on purpose to keep people cheesing like that. If it there's better ways to do that. And again, I I mean if that's the case, then I think it does again come back to like huh, I get what you're trying to do. Shall I choose some? I don't know, you're doing it in the best way. I've procured some new items for you, Mr. Winters. Or the, maybe the most now clear way. And like say. kings. <laughs> all right, I've stacked up all my cash. Is that really cheesing? I don't think so. The games, the games balance, and the games like the the, re the fact. Hold on, let me see if there's an if there's an option to turn that off. I am getting kind of tired of it telling me to craft items, and I get it. I get it. People forget about crafting, but pretty sure that I've demonstrated that I can craft items at this point. You don't have to keep telling me. <laughs> Press shift five times to unlock a special sound effect. Joke's on you. I turned off that sticky key shortcut. Also, the game... The game has kind of... The game has so many sequences where they shove Ethan to the ground and, and, and hurt him that you don't treat that as, like, gameplay anymore. So, like, it's, yeah, he just swats at you. I guess it would be really annoying if, if there was a cinema scene of you getting tackled to the ground and eaten, and then it happened again. I guess they're, they're trying to say you'll get, you'll get hurt if you stand near the door. But that's, man... Try walking and going to menu, CP momentum. I think the issue is with the run button. Okay. Nope. Still a full stop. I didn't buy the upgrades. Maybe I can... I think I can just backtrack, yeah. Oh, good. I was just thinking of ways to pass <sighs> the time. Okay. I'm calming down. It's, <laughs> um, it's not necessarily the tips that are that are aggravating. It's being told to do what you're already doing. That's that's the thing that kind of just like. Mm, mm. These hands are more dexterous than one might think. So I I apologize for the snip. To hunger. All right. It's a lot easier to forgive the skims bullshit on standard. I guess that's true. Um. The game the game does seem to be pretty liberal with like. And Resident Evil games have kind of always been like this. That you're you're not expected to not take any damage. Um. <laughs> no, Cinder. I made myself mad. Don't worry about that. So yeah, there's, there's certainly that element where playing on a harder difficulty means that any like moments that. 
many moments where they try to instruct you by damaging you become a lot more severe. one of those games that I'll never play but enjoy watching. Well, I'm, I'm glad to hear you enjoy watching it. Um, it's, it's, it's got its virtues for sure. I'm just in a particularly salty, salty uh, brine at the moment. But I'm back in it now. I don't think that stuff was there before. Is that, is that the mold from Seven? Looks like one of the mascot flyers, the psychotic orange one. Oh, did I did I miss something? Hold on, let me go back and check. Flyer? It's wild. Sometimes, or a lot of the times, actually, chat will notice details in games that I don't see. Maybe because part of that is I'm I'm looking at chat, so it's an interesting back and forth. I think a lot of survival games have an easy way of getting you on edge, almost a feature of the game, really. That's true. It's it's. That's not another thing that, that fascinates me is how games can use their own mechanics to frustrate or terrify the player. The The biggest way that Resident Evil does that is by sort of controlling the rate at which you get ammo and healing items to kind of keep you feeling like you're on the you're on the raggedy edge the whole time. Um, which is, is really cool. It's, it's quite brilliant. Um, but I think certain other things like, yeah... Having you be around enemies that will hurt you. There was actually I remember uh, Last of Us Part Two was really fascinating because like when you were around enemies or getting shot at, you had outrageous amounts of weapon sway and it was just really hard to do anything. And it was it was chaotic and stressful, but it was also just genuinely frustrating to have like um, have infected enemies sort of just just get on all fours and sort of crawl up to you in a zigzag pattern and virtually be impossible to shoot um, and then you get hit and then you fall over and there's all these like long animations that you're just sitting there holding the controller a, ah what what did you vault over game of the year though I mean that's I I I really liked the combat in that game when you were fighting human opponents because they didn't move in ways that made them intentionally really difficult to shoot and then ask you to shoot like four or five of them um, and I understand that you can stealth through the infected sequences as, as easily as the human ones but the infected AI wasn't as fun to stealth around it was more like classic stealth where there's just like enemies that move in cones and you just have to pick your way through the through the maze of their vision or their you know sound or whatever. <sighs> okay, let's see. What am I got? I need to. It's all about the cones. You said it. You said it. go. I guess he drops a crystal thing. Yeah. Damn. Oh, so he's doing the petrification thing too. So, are, is everyone bugs? <laughs> That's not a thing I expected to ask while playing Resident Evil 8, but now I'm wondering. Everyone might be bugs. Dr. Barnassus Rex. Hey, thanks for, uh, thanks for resubbing. Thanks for topping up early. Oh, you were talking about the hockey mascot. Okay. Gotcha. The Philadelphia Flyers. He's orange, and I'm pretty sure he's a psychopath. His name is Gritty. Oh, yeah, Gritty. Love Gritty. Man, Philly is a... What a wonderful town. I... That reminds me, now that I'm all vexed up, I need to go to Philly, and I need to go to Atlanta, and just, like, drop cash money in that city. Uh, gotta reward them for protecting democracy. 
Uh, now that the worth is locked, building in that area you can get in now. Yeah, this one, right? Um, wait, this one. I feel like the very first thing I want to do is unlock this stupid gate. I don't know if they're gonna let me though. It is always sunny there. That's true. I learned an interesting Philadelphia fact uh, last night from uh, a long time or uh, erstwhile resident of Philadelphia. I use that word twice today. Weird. Uh, resident of Philadelphia, Charlotte. Um, it turns out the you know the Rocky Building with the statue. So it turns out this is this is a big fact, a very interesting fact. It turns out that's actually in the back of the museum. All the steps are in the back. Isn't that crazy? What? I can't unlock it from this side either? That that stings. That hurts me. Consider the sub an apology for the backseat. Oh, man, I'm sorry. I didn't, mean, I didn't mean to make you feel bad about that. I was just... I was just being snippy. People only trying to help, and here I am being mean to them. Well, now I have another thing to dump li lay into upgrades for. Well, I appreciate the sentiment. You didn't need to do that, but thank you for the sub. You can cancel it if you want. I give you, <laughs> I give you full permission. There's another item in here. Yeah. Maybe there's more grenades that I didn't find. Oh, there's an upstairs. Okay. Although, wait, no, the map separates by floor. How? It's got to be up there, right? What do we do to deserve a person as funny as Charlotte? Man, I, I ask myself that often. We have to make sure that we appreciate and treasure her while we still have her. Perhaps the front is just the parking lot. Oh, that may be. I have to admit, I don't have I don't have follow-up Philadelphia facts uh, explaining this situation. How the hell did the new Bond movie leak already? That's actually a really good question. I'm not sure. Although I'm excited, I think. I'm excited to see Rami Malek be a Bond villain. I feel like he he would have a lot of fun with that role and be very, very good at it. Although I guess sometimes it can be a crapshoot as to like the kind of villain. That sounded very ominous, I guess it kinda did. I'm more I'm more about the uh the general fatalism of it all. Yep. No chicken tonight. How are you enjoying the game so far? Uh, I, I like it. I do. Um, there's a lot in here that I enjoy so far. But... There's also a lot of things that I think could... I think they could have executed the same ideas in better ways. Um, but I'll, I'll addendum onto that too. Like one of the things that... One of the things that I like a lot about Capcom... And I like a lot about the Resident Evil series is that they do sort of bravely decide to to just go in certain directions sometimes, and I appreciate the mm, I appreciate the the execution, the dedication to the execution. If that makes sense. It probably doesn't make sense, but yeah, I don't remember all this goop being here earlier. Looks breakable. Like pipe bomb breakable, or I'm gonna guess that's what they they're saying, or maybe grenade launcher breakable. Since I just picked that up, let's find out. No, no. Okay. Keep hitting. Keep slashing. Are you for real? Okay. So this is one of those. Ah, this is one of those situations where there absolutely could be things you could do to communicate what's going on to the player. Because the game has already had breakable walls, and they all required a pipe bomb. 
huh. And, and you're kind of using the same language when you put something like that in front of the player. Um, when they when the player slashes it with a knife, you could have it react a little more strongly. Maybe have it jiggle or like a louder splurt sound, have chunks fly off of it. I mean, there was a sort of amount of that, but it has to be pretty dramatic. Uh, okay. Like, I wasn't even sure that that was goo that was that was going to be slashable. I just had to keep going at it. So, you know, in the grand scheme of things, not a huge deal. But that's one of those, like, just tiny little bits where the player has been fed information in a certain way, and then something happens that seems to contradict that. Deteriorating with each hit would be nice, too. So, so here, I think, is the, the grand, you know, mind blow about it all. I imagine there's a dry erase board at Capcom somewhere that has that on it. They just didn't, like, it's just a tiny feature they didn't get around to adding or didn't have time to. Um, I tend I tend to think that that's how some of these things go. Feels like the goo is missing some kind of damage model. Maybe. I'm sorry, pig. Oh, wait, these only run? I'm sorry. I'm going to chase you around because you're not worth wasting ammo on. You are worth me murdering. Why are you making me do this? This is Capcom's brave vision right here. Alright, now I'm coming for you. Usually weird goose stuff in games or non-normal material usually means you need something special. Yeah, especially in a Resident Evil game. Um, uh, Ativix. What? <laughs> Any other Resident Evil game, I would have I would have taken one look at that goo wall and, and just walked away. I'm like, oh, I need I need to like find a can of goo solvent, or I'm gonna have to find a, a diary entry from some scientist talking about how they've invented this substance to dissolve goo, and then I have to mix the blue and the green liquids to make a red liquid that I you know. That's what that's what my first take would that's what my first take would be. But then again, I'm I'm bringing a lot of Resident Evil assumptions into that. Even still. That big old goo wall did not seem to uh, say, slash me six times and I'll go away. But now I know. That's that's sort of... Uh, that's kind of the dominating aspect of this game. Is It does seem like... And, and I've made these illusions before. It, it, it seems like a less extreme version of old FMV games like Dragon's Lair. Where there are some sequences where you just have to kind of trial and error to figure out what they expect of you. And once once you understand what they're going for, it makes sense, but it's not super well communicated or telegraphed. Resident Evil assumptions in Resident Evil. I know. It's weird, right? I will say I, I do I do like the environments a lot so far. I don't think there's been a single environment I've gone to that I haven't enjoyed just being inside of yet. And they've they've had a pretty decent pace. Almost too fast. I feel like I wanted Castle Domitresk to be longer. I kind of get why the doll section was as long as it was because that requires a lot more sort of intentional scripting and placement of stuff. It's weird, too, because you get in the castle, and you, and that feels like it's the mansion, the police department, you know. Uh, it feels like it's the, okay, there's going to be some shambling enemies in here, but things are going to slow down for a bit, and you'll be able to look around and explore and find keys. And that sort of happens, but it happens on a way faster pace. Because they, they beset you with angry bee women that chase you into the exact places you're supposed to go. But they do so by killing you. Like, they... <laughs> They don't, they don't nudge you in any particular way. They just murder you until you figure out to get out of the places they're in. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's like it's there, but its presence is entirely different than what you would expect. But they don't do anything to communicate that your expectations should shift. Um, and I can't even imagine what it's like. I, I, I guess I want to talk to somebody who's like, Resident Evil 8 is my first Resident Evil. I'd, I'd love to know just... In a vacuum, what the what the reaction to certain sequences like that are. I really, really wanted the castle bit to be longer. The architecture to me was just so aesthetically pleasing. Oh yeah, the architecture, the lighting, it's beautiful. Um, 
I mean, I'm going to go back because I, f well, I don't recall actually there being many. So this is not squelching. Okay. I need to, I need to, I have to go into cinema mode. Ooh. Fake face, Jan. Thank you for the resub. I feel like Capcom overpromoted Dimitrescu in her castle. It's nowhere near as prominent in games that looked in trailers. I, uh, I understand that. If it's for you, I'd do anything. Uh, I'm Luke. Thanks for gifting a sub. I'll just be taking this. What, yeah. What, what, what are you doing with Mother's special child? She's not hers. Oh, you have something to say? What do you mean, Mother's special child? Mother wants her baby back. Definitely stay here and talk, Absolutely. Ethan. Wait, wait, oh wait, God. please, please. If you take it, then the others will laugh at me. But if I, I do better than them... What I'll, do I care? Wait, just a little longer. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> You're stupid. You talk too much. <laughs> it's all over. I plugged away in. What are you? You idiot. You tiny brain manlet. Oh. I really, I really love the, uh... I love the effects they put on that voice. That's great. Damn freak! <laughs> it got the better of me. Yeah, maybe you should have just left, Ethan. You came for the juice. He didn't even drop any interesting info. Gosh, Ethan's a dullard. Then again, every Resident Evil protagonist is probably didn't do so hot in their SATs. But yeah, I uh, back to the point you were saying about like basically Capcom having Lady Dom Domitrescu be their like banner villain. And then kind of just being a sub-lieutenant in the main game. I think there's there's two ways to look at that. One is, she has an awesome design. And yeah, it does feel a bit short-changed. Um, and, and the nature of the marketing made it sound like she would be the main villain. So there is a it does feel like there's a bit of a swap there. But, on the other hand... That does make the rest of the game more of a surprise. Uh, and I kind of like that. I don't mind that. I think it's pretty neat that by, you know, two to three hours in the game, you've seen all the promotional material and the rest is just new stuff. Did Capcom do that or did the fans? All they did was show the characters. American fans ran with it, turned her into some big sex object. No, I mean, she was she was prominently displayed in most of the, the advertising and the the promotional material. I mean, just, just in terms of camera share and the shots they used, it was mostly her. Um, the other, like... There were shots of the other characters, but the trailers mostly had Lady Dalmatresk in them. How do I get out of here? Now I'll grant I'll grant you the Americans probably were far hornier. That's a weird thing that I've seen happen. And and you guys can tell me if this is an American thing. I see it happen just around me, so I don't know if it's just American culture. But what is it about like there's some weird thing about everyone patting themselves on the back for being horny for a specific thing. Um it happened with like I remember Bowsette was the first thing where everyone was like, yay, we're horny. And I'm like, you can be horny whenever you want. This isn't, this doesn't need to be like a carnival. It doesn't need to be a celebration, but that's fine. You know, it, cool. But it happened with Lady Domitrescu as well, where everyone was like, yay, this character has made me horny and that's awesome. And I'm like, good for you, but also weird that this exact situation has prompted this like, this like weird out overtly vocal celebration of, of horniness I, so so it sounded like you guys were you were saying that that was a unique a uniquely american phenomenon is that is that the case i don't know uh that's kind of what i'm i'm seeking perspective on it doesn't bother me um i if anything man i think american culture could could go a long way towards making its peace with being horny sometimes uh so i i kind of view these as steps in the right direction maybe but it almost also kind of feels like a, I don't know, like somebody who just discovered they can be horny, being really excited about it, and everyone else is like, okay, yeah, yeah. You, you'll get over that at some point, but it's nice. <laughs> oh, I think TikTok had something to do with it, huh? How often do you get to publicly declare you're horny to the world? I mean, I get, yeah. I, again, I'm not, I'm not saying it shouldn't happen. 
It's just the nature of it is, is quizzical to me. That's all. No hero. Thank you for extending your sub. Yeah, I, I that's Gorgonon. I think uh, this. I'm not intimidated by strong women. I don't know if you intended to go there or not, but I, to me at least, I think you're hitting on part of it. Is sort of Domitresque seems to embody like okay horniness because I guess it's a big woman as opposed to being like I guess the sort of body figure that Americans have typically been told to find attractive. Uh. So it's like, oh. All forms of sex and sexual desire should be shamed and outlawed. I will not elaborate. This is not a joke. I am serious. Well, you know, fire up that change.org petition and... Let's, uh, let's solve this problem. <laughs> okay, the gone fishing tag is, is delightful. I appreciate that. Let's make a pipe bomb. I can't. I can make one of these, though. Yeah, I don't think... I don't think there's any uh, explosive self-damage. Well. Shotgun shells. Whew. Yeah, shotgun worthy. I just didn't know that I, I had them. <laughs> I've been... In the five minutes I've been here, you used guard infinitely more times than Ray did. I almost forgot it was part of the game. I did too. Um, but I... Connected with the, the way that this game sometimes will put you in situations where you have to take damage. You're just kind of... I guess if you have enough ammo, you can sort of deal with staggering and stuff like that. But you... And from my experience, you have to guard. I That was something that took me a long time to, to learn and then remember about the way 7 went down, too. Is that there were times where you, you went, they were going to make you take damage. And if you didn't guard, you were just going to take more damage than you needed to. Yeah, uh, Captain. I've, I've been shocked at how effective guard is in reducing damage. Um, that's why I'm... That's why I'm, I'm going to try to angle on that second guard, uh, you know, damage reduction upgrade. But I have the first one. Oh yeah, I got the key for the boat. Let me just block the sword with my arms. I mean, if you think about it... It sort of makes sense. I mean, not even sort of. It just, like, di makes direct sense. If Ethan has mold regenerative powers, then yeah, why not throw, like, hands and arms in the way? Because that meat's just going to regenerate. you got to protect your vital organs, you know? So yeah, throwing, throwing up some bones and meat chunks that, you know, are just going to grow back right away. Provided you pour Mountain Dew on them. Yeah, better your arms than your head, right? It is interesting how they, they did create a character that gives them infinite license to just shred and mutilate. I guess it's kind of like Deadpool in a way. There, I did it. I compared Resident Evil to Deadpool. 
Okay, so I came here and I got the boat key. Now I guess I have to backtrack to a boat that I don't recall finding. But that's alright. Is Ethan more mold than meat at this point? Seems like it. More machine than man. <coughs> This is the Deadpool of Resident Evils. Got it. Making the headline right now. Hey, I... I generated an NFT for that, so I own it. You have to pay me now. Wait a minute. Why is the... What? There's an exclamation point here. And I don't know why. This is my first playthrough. How tough am I? Yeah. All right. Maybe that's something I have to go back to once I take care of Goo Man. Get rid of all goo. Okay. The breakable walls do have a bigger green splurt. But you don't know that when you meet your very first goo wall. I guess the way that they do kind of make it a wall that you have to pass through ensures that you at least know that you can break them by the time you get through it, but who knows how many bullets and stuff you'd use. <sighs> the universe keeps telling me to get into the resident get into Resident Evil, but I don't know where the best place is to start. Send help. Well, Fresh Tell, what kind of games do you like? Um It's best to think about Resident Evil as an anthology, even though it does have a continu continuous storyline and uh, recurring characters, but Do I have to slash this? It's not it's not gooping at me. <laughs> Operation Raccoon City for sure. Yeah, maybe not that one. Is there a boat out here maybe? Oh, that seems like a boat area. Oh yeah, RE2 remake. Yeah, Flappy Seal. That's that's a pretty good a pretty good all-around recommendation. It's got a lot of the elements that make Resident Evil really good. And and they're executed really well in that particular game too, so I agree. Good recommendation. Fuck. Oh, I keep, I forgot I have this. Shoop. The remakes are peak Resident Evil. And that's that's kind of true, actually. 2 is sort of kind of the peak, I think, of what most people would like the most about the series. But 3, three is a lot going for it, too. It's just a different kind of game. Um, and it hits, it hits the notes of different kinds of Resident Evil games. 3 is definitely the more cinematic, linear sort of Resident Evil experience. Who's definitely the more classic. RE1 HD is good, is great too though. Modern enough in terms of visuals, but still very much old school RE. That's true. I would, uh, yeah, in that regard, I'd say probably maybe then 2 Remake. Then, depending on what aspects of 2 Remake you like, you could branch off into 1 Remake or 3, 3 Make. Wait, am I going to be able to just pilot this boat away? Get that treasure? Oh, that's kind of cool. I figured it'd just be like a, you know, linear sequence, linear boat. Okay, okay so you probably have to go all the way around. Yeah. We're not going to make it easy to get that treasure, but I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm not worried about that. Ah, uh, fish. What was that? So here's the thing. I can't use guns. So 
Either the fish is just there for looks, or it's just going to eat me if I'm out in the water too long. And at this point, either could be true with the way this game works. Oh, Delta254. Thanks for the sub. Ethan's a smart guy. Yeah. Ethan has all of the intellectual prowess that most Resident Evil protagonists seem to display. What the hell? Research post or something? What the fuck are they doing here? Is it Chris? It smells like Chris. Oh, never mind. Stay the fuck down! Ethan! I gotta say, I'm surprised you made it this far. Yay! It'd be a shame if something happened to you now. Yay! Chris, why not? You killed Mia. Now do me and finish the job. Yeah. I hear you, Ethan. We're all waiting for hey, Chris Cap. to do us. I'm getting some serious motion readings out here. We should move on. Is that Piers? He's back? What kind of readings? What's moving? Unknown. But my guess is we've been here too long and Miranda knows it. Hey, hey, do you say Miranda? How are you involved? Leave it alone, Ethan. You are out of your depth. What about the sample analysis? It's definitely related to the mold. I love how Chris is going to go through this entire conversation and tell us nothing about what's going on. You stay out of our business, Ethan. What business? Oh, no! Yeah. I did murder your wife and I stole your daughter, but you need to back off. This doesn't concern you. <laughs> what? It's my daughter, asshole. You shot my wife. <laughs> On a zero to 100% range, how far into the game are we? How would I be able to answer that? I haven't beaten it. I don't know how long it is. I don't have time for this. He's got, he's got little guts trailing off. Oh. Miranda sent you to slow me down. You're pathetic. Oh, 60% ish? Okay. I'm glad that. What are you talking about? Ruby? Ruby says 20 to 30 percent? The fuck is wrong with you? Ethan. Isn't it passe to be reacting like this? Also, I'm gonna be in some trouble if there's a boss fight here. Because I sort of assumed that I would have the ability to buy items before a boss fight would happen. I think that might not be the case. Or this is just a run away from the scary thing sequence. And then there'll be a merchant and a typewriter. What am I supposed to do? Is that Moreau? I mean, I, I guess so. Yeah. So I mean, this like they're they're mixing up the environments and stuff, which I appreciate. When you pl when you know what you're doing, and you don't die repeatedly to. Uh, he said the exit's underwater. Confusing sequences. Then. uh... The game does have you move through environments at a pretty, pretty quick clip. Let's see here. In the instance of heavy rain, there may be damage to the local aquatic life. It is advised that you drain all excess water using the following steps. Move the min windmills with a crank. We're going to get a sweet crank, finally. Start the electricity to the gatehouse. Pull the lever in the gatehouse to open the sluice gate. Crank time! Crank me up. Oh, there we go. Merchant and typewriter. Just the things I expected. Just as I expected. All right. 
Are all the RE games connected? They are, if yeah. Just looking, and that's not a... Rikari, that's not a stupid question. Uh, I've gotten some new stock. Series like this, uh, that have been going this long, especially ones from Japan, it's not always an assumption you can make. As always, a trustworthy, fair exchange. I mean, I guess I could buy bullets. It seems like such a... It seems so inefficient, but I have tons and tons and tons of money. I have so much money. Except six. Six was just somebody's fever dream. Yeah. Has there, has there been anything in any other Resident Evil game that specifically connects to the events of Resident Evil 6. I saw you eyeing that one. This game and 7? What are the what are the elements of 6 that connect to 7 and 8? The creators of the mold? One oh. Moment, please. Is is Neo Umbrella the the organization? Cause they I guess they they popped up in six for the first time? Delighted to. Aha. Mm hmm. Securing goods is more important than anything. Anything, my friend. Oh, I can do it. Holy crap. We've gathered all the ingredients. Now. I can't say any more because that would potentially be spoilers. Okay. Well, I appreciate... I appreciate the grace intact. They are connected. Okay, all right, all right, cool. Here it is. Please, cool, 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 join cool. me. Can we take a moment to appreciate the fact that the man with psychic powers is named Heisenberg and the mutated fish man is named Dr. Moreau? I suppose we can't appreciate that. To think such a dish could be had in this winterbound frontier. Delightful. All right. I am now invincible. Bring on Village of Shadows or whatever it's called. His life. Delighted to. Guns all upgraded. 67k in the bank. I bought all of the ammo and health this guy can can give me. Things are looking up for old Ethan. Oh, I'm completely bingo on handgun ammo. I think I can... No, I can't mix any either. Welcome. Alright, I'll buy handgun ammo too. Oh, you can still... There we go. Good day, then. Can't wait to fight this boss with all this ammo and all these items. Hardcore schmardcore. More like softcore. Look at how easy this is. Look at how easy. Alright, I'm going to take a quick break. I'm going to eat some snacks. Because, uh, yeah, the day... Man, the day slips away. This game, this game can be a time thief. Uh, in a good way. I'll say that. Um, the last couple of streams have just been like, just in the ether because this game can be so intense. What happened to the big woman? Mm. Turned to, uh, turned to stone. Sadly. Okay. Uh, yeah. Food time. I'll be back in a bit. I'll see you guys then. Thank you for watching. Um, did I hear a story from the other day? I don't think I did. No. Lay that one on me. If you if you have the endurance to. Also, as a side note, for anyone that may be watching on YouTube in the distant future, I apologize. I forgot to unpause, but you didn't miss much. Um, mostly it was me opining about the Resident Evil series and how they... There's a lot of franchises that sort of become, like, life milestones for me. Because uh, it's convenient, you know? You're playing Final Fantasy your whole life. A big numbered one come down. Well, let's, let's, like, let's take a moment to think about the life circumstance. Think about where I was, you know, the last time this happened. 
You gotta put down, uh, you gotta put down bookmarks in your memory sometime, I feel like, or time just starts slipping away. I mean, it does that, no matter what. But at least I think you, you have a couple of flags in the ground. Um, don't kill the chicken? Oof. Sorry. I didn't see that until I had already done it. Uh, what do you do when people like your older count, uh, people like your older comedies, such as some stuff on the Funhouse and Inside, or Inside Gaming, that you may not like or identify with anymore? Do you see it more as a learning... Uh, your style of comedy, or do you look back and feel cringe? Um, neither. Really. I don't think that what I do now is better, or... Uh... Or that I... I don't... I, I identify with most of that still. I'm just not in the environment where that is what's called for, if that makes sense. I could... I could easily still do edgy, edgy comedy. Um, which is really just, you know, tr mostly trolling in, in subjects that people don't want to talk about is kind of it. And then, you know, it's it, when it's combined with good humor, then it's fine. And occasionally you have the magic moment where you end up saying something of value uh, and entertaining while connected to a sense of subject. Anyway, all that said, I, I wouldn't... Just because it's not what I do now doesn't mean that I'm like... I've moved on, if that makes sense. This is just the nature of the work I do now. Um, and... I'll admit, it's closer to, to my genuine personality, which makes it a lot more sustainable. But, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know that I've, like... I would say one. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm scrubbing my memory now. Like, I can think of a few what I would consider pretty, pretty crass uh, jokes. But most of my humor uh, was, was something that I wouldn't consider to be, like, edgy. Uh, maybe abrasive, but I didn't. I didn't really traffic so much in like misogyny or, or, or racism, or racist humor, maybe uh, that I can think of. That I can think of. Then again, it's been it's been a, it's been some years, and I can remember a few instances. So it's not universal, of course. But um, I'm just not as loud now. It's kind of what I the way I think about it. Um, and I think you know emotionally, I'm I'm a little bit more uh, aligned, because just. Life-wise, that was a pretty volatile stage in my life, um, and I, th I think that was either a, a good or a bad pairing with, uh, you know, nihilism and fatalism are, are great pairs for comedy because it makes you fearless. Like if you just don't give a shit and you're willing to seriously willing to experiment more, then sometimes you can land jokes that other people don't because they're just not thinking on that wavelength. But uh. Uh, so that's not quite there now. Um, that has nothing to do with, like, cultural circumstances. That's just me as a human. I'm not saying you did it all. It's just more uh, for me to understand as I try to develop my comedic voice. No, yeah, okay. Um, sorry, because I, I meant to make a disclosure. Because it did sound... I did sound pretty defensive there. I kind of realized that as I was saying it. I was like, hmm. It sounds like I'm responding to a, to an accusation. Uh, I know that wasn't... That's not what you meant. Um, that's just the way I chose to answer the question. So, yeah. No, no, you know. I don't I don't think you were implying that. Um, but I guess to speak more to what, what you were asking. Uh, it's... I guess... I'm trying to think of how to phrase it. At this point, I feel like developing my comedic voice, uh, I'm, it's not even something I'm really honestly trying to do. I don't really crack that many jokes when I stream. Um, I'm not looking to fish food. <laughs> the, the way I see it, um, I see m my role in my stream stuff. Oh, okay. Okay. I died. <laughs> okay, alright, well. That, okay. You know what's funny? I was, when I was in the boat, I was like, how is this, how is this boss gonna work? Uh, is it... I can't say I was expecting that. I can't say I was expecting that. I thought that was just a run-through sequence while it like, ooh, it's over here, and now it's over there, and oh my gosh, it's shaking the thing you're walking on! And then, and then you like, deposit in a circular arena where it swims around you and then pops its head up and you shoot. Maybe it's got a glowing thing in its mouth, you know, you know the deal. Um... So, uh, that's kind of what I was expecting. I, 
In a very Resident Evil 8 way, I don't think I expected to get bonked off in one shot. The segment is boring as hell. <laughs> it's one of those? Okay. Gosh, it's just Dragon's Lair vibes, man. That's like, that's exactly something that would happen to whatever his name, Dirk the Daring or something like that. Sorry, I'm getting like weird frame tearing. Last time, this is what fixed it. Very weirdly, is clicking out and then clicking back into the game. At least it's not doing it. Yeah, there we go. Good. Okay. That's a new one. But yeah, like falling off of a thing and getting eaten by a giant fish. It's like, I've seen that. I've seen that cutscene before. <laughs> It was just a dopey man in a, in a bowl cut of a helmet. So, yeah, sorry, I keep getting distracted because I got eaten by a fish. Um, yeah, Arvillain... Let me, let me try and ultimately reflect on the question. I, I do think it's, it's... I'll abstract it out to just the concept of performance. And I think the concept of projecting personality, those are the those are the things that I think are, have have uh, stayed in common, and that's how I tend to think about the skill that I express. Uh, okay, so I'm not supposed to stay on this bridge. Fish food. <laughs> and in that regard, um, I I I think I've improved, but I also have more. Um, more air and more time to develop those things and kind of practice them. Uh, oh yeah, and, and another point I didn't quite finish is that I see my role on Twitch as being more of a host, not necessarily a comedian. So, you know, um, a good host might tell a joke or two to make you laugh, maybe make you distract you, or get your mind off things. But, uh, I don't think I'm up here trying to do a set. And that was kind of more the, the funhouse environment, is you have one hour, and and you're, you're, you're act, active for that one hour. You're, you're seeking opportunities. You're trying to grab good prompts and turn them into good bits and enhance other people's bits and run with things, and all, all while keeping a mind for, like, what will be a funny visualization, what might be a good Photoshop, um... What, what, like, what is a lean-in reference to something that's been said before? What, what am I supposed to... Hold on. I am missing something here. I expected when I slashed that board for something to fall over... Oh, there's another one. Okay, I see now. I guess I was supposed to get it from the other side? Yeah, I guess so. That's... This is... Okay. I think I get it now. Yeah, this... Uh, I I don't mind this. If I think, I, if I think what this is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So, there... They're making you solve, solve, you know, big air quotes on the puzzles, but they're making you solve puzzles while, you know, being menaced by a one-shot monster. That's a, oh, Jesus. That's a, that's a pretty cute Resident Evil thing. And, you, like, they, they do what, I'll give the game props for this. They actually did pretty effectively communicate how this works. But he will eat you if you're on the low planks. Notice they make you walk slower on the slow planks, planks that... It not only, like, makes it more tense, uh, but it communicates to you that it's a different state. Standing here is different. And then you get eight that first time, because, like, the first time you're gonna just run across the bridge. So, you get eight, and you're like, oh, shit. And then you think, and you're like, ah, it's a different kind of ground. That's where the fish ate me. And then the light bulb goes off. You know what the mechanic is. Now, there are the other circumstances that I was complaining about. Um, it's possible that all those ingredients were there too, and then I missed it just because my brain is different than everyone else's brain. Damn. Oh, there's like a blo bo uh, box floating puzzle? That's pretty classic too. That's the only puzzle, now it's just run? Oh, okay. It's weird because this music is like, it's like scary, but it's not too like in your face because you're going to be sitting with it for a while. So they almost kind of expect that you'll... You'll get menaced. There's not much to any of this part. I'm pushing around blocks. That's exciting. Ugh, it stinks. How long has it been since you pushed around a box in Resident Evil? It's been a minute. 
Did seven have puzzles like that? I, this, I don't think this counts as a puzzle. If you can't, if there's no like environment to openly explore, and it's just a series of uh, buttons you hit, because there's n no other reason to hit anything else. Okay. Oh. There's also like, this kind of reminds me of the Monument Valley sort of flow of a puzzle, which is that there's really only one thing to interact with, and it's directly in front of you. And interacting with it reveals the nature of how it works, and just merely understanding that is the puzzle. It's not about learning and then demonstrating concepts, it's just about putting the, the square box in the square hole kind of thing. Oh my gosh. Oh, okay. So I gotta think about the order to hit these. Well, that's... That's a puzzle, right? You know what? I take it back. This is a puzzle. Now I gotta like look at the colors and get them get them in the right order. So it'd be blue, then orange, and then white. Except white is stuck up. What's that all about? Unless maybe the white switch's timer is just really, really long. That might. Yeah. Okay. That must be it. All right. That means I probably have to hit orange and yellow again. I don't understand the Monument Valley illusion. Uh. So Monument Valley. I hope I'm thinking of the right game. It's the it's the mobile game, right? With like the cool the cool visuals. Um, I have to admit, I didn't finish the game, so I'm realizing now that that my illusion may be off. But of all the puzzles that I played, um, Monument Valley was like there was ever, ever only one thing to do. Like you can walk the wrong way, but there's there's only one thing to interact with. Um, really, there's there's no like p path you can go down that's wrong. Every single step of the puzzle is just about one correct interaction, and it leads to the next set of interactions in which there is one to progress, so. You can just keep hitting the orange and blue so it's a nothing puzzle. I guess you're right. There's there's no way to get it wrong, really. Uh, and in that case, actually, I should probably hit that one last. But the consequences would be death, right? Actually, I probably should have... Oh, okay. Which, I guess, just kicks you back to a checkpoint, but there is at least a consequence. If there isn't a fail state, is it a puzzle? I mean, it doesn't necessarily need a fail state. I think it just needs an action space. Uh, ugh. Like, a place for the player to interact with the mechanics in a meaningful way. Um, and, and in a possibly incorrect way. Uh, and to me, from what I saw... Oh, Jesus. Monument Valley didn't really have that? Like, you could walk around in a space, but the things you interacted with really only had, like, one state. Ah, oh, frick. Whereas, you know, something like The Witness, you observe you observe rules from one place, and then you have to combine them and execute them uh, in a, a different way somewhere else. I'm realizing now that the, the, the difference... I'm thinking myself... I'm thinking about it, and I'm turning it over in my head, and I'm realizing the difference may be arbitrary. Um, I'll think about that a little more now. Oh, PKO net. Damn. Thank you very much for gifting 10 subs. That is awfully generous of you. I very much appreciate that. Hope you're having a great day. I agree with this statement. Not being able to progress is a fail state. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. I guess then you had... Man. Not to be that guy, but there seems to be so much backseat gaming recently. It feels like a lot of things are fed to you, and I just kind of want to see you do your own... Experience that everyone telling you what to do. I understand people are just excited and want to be involved, but it can be jarring if it's during the entire game. I see, Morgie. Um, if it helps, I can only think of like two or three examples where uh, chat input fundamentally changed what I did. Um, and this, uh, spe well, specifically in this game, I guess. But um, chat did kind of tell me where the last bell was in like the bell puzzle room. I would have found it eventually. I'm not convinced that, like, spinning circles in that room would have been great stream content, but, you know, I, I understand what you're saying. Um, 
there were some there were some tips thrown around about com oh um not shooting the goo wall with a grenade launcher saved me some ammo i definitely would have not so with that one i'll tell you what would have happened uh, not only would I have blown that up with a grenade launcher, but if it worked, I would have assumed that that's what you had to do to all of them. Um, so, now that is potentially like a, a dark timeline that would have made for pretty good streaming, but somebody eventually would have told me to stop it, and I would have eventually seen it. Uh, so, you know, in a vacuum that would have happened, but in a vacuum I also wouldn't be talking. <laughs> I'd just be playing the game, maybe mumbling to myself like a crazy person. So, you know, I... I understand what you're saying, and I, I used to be pretty protective of that too, of the way that I play games and the, um, and and like my path through them. But personally, I've mellowed a little bit on that. Um, a little bit. There there are times where, uh, and maybe I should be more proactive about this. There are times where I feel like I am entering a game sequence or a game area where personality can be expressed, and then in that in that specific circumstance, maybe I should be better about vocalizing. Hey, just heads up, please don't please don't say anything. Let me be stupid and figure this out. I think I think that would probably go a long way, so I think I think there's a middle ground here, I think is what I'd say. Um what oh, what is an example of backseat gaming? So it's it's an interesting concept, right? I, and one that seems obvious, but oh I'm I'm gonna get eight. But in the end I don't I actually it's kind of fuzzy. Um to me back seating is when somebody who knows the outcome or or uh, somebody by like somebody gives me information because they they had an experience and arrived at that uh, information and then by giving it to me it prevents me from having the experience before the information if that makes sense so it's like sometimes you can tell people things that just accidentally chomp off a whole chunk of the game um, you know, it's like, oh, you can, there's a shortcut right there, or there's a secret behind that wall. Uh, and you're just like, but, well, okay, that leads to an upgrade, and then suddenly the rest, the flow of the rest of the game is totally different. Um, but the, the, it's, it's tough because the kind of conversation that I love, I dearly love, and, and kind of am okay erring too far on the side of being open about it, is people who don't have the information just speculating about it, um, talking about it, offering suggestions, uh, discussing, like, theorizing about lore as opposed to saying oh i've beaten the game and this is the lore is there a tactful form of backseating um i mean kind of asking i think would be the tactful form uh but uh i think also everyone has a different tolerance for it i think it's got to be the thing where in individual streams you just have to kind of see what the person is okay with i used to really not like it um but i've i've softened a bit on it i have to admit I uh, I th I found that I enjoy being communal about the process of playing a game more a big one. than having myself a, a perfectly isolated experience with a game in a vacuum. Now that said, you know it's it's never fun to have somebody with information just <clears throat> uh, minimize or trivialize your time with the game, which can happen sometimes. Like if if you just straight up tell somebody the answer to a puzzle or a riddle. Um, uh, Cap now, see, Captain Captain is correct. If I had if I had burned uh, grenades on goo walls, I would have gotten even more annoyed with the game, um, which I guess could be that could be entertaining for some. Um, but in my experience, people don't like it when you're a whiny shithead about when you're a whiny shithead and you're stupid stupidly wrong. <laughs> Those two things combined are typically not the best. Uh, I thought I thought I saw yellow. Yep. Okay. I don't know what that means. Oops. Okay, maybe maybe that's not what they want me to do. Yeah, it's gonna be weird. I think he can get me up here? Maybe he's gonna knock the tower down. Oh, I have to stop it at, or move it. Okay, you have to take the crank out and then put it back in. That's exciting, though.
Uh, helping streamer prevent themselves from being enraged about something they don't know yet is an example of tactful backseating. However, it requires your streamer to have law levels of humility. Oh, well, thank you. Um, no, yeah, I often in the moment uh, <laughs> don't excel at accepting being wrong, but I get there eventually, which is an improvement, you know. Uh, so it's... Uh, I, I, I think all of this, I think you package it all up and just say, shockingly, it's uh, it's hard to define. And like most things, you just, uh, each person has their own tolerance levels, so. Wow. Interest, brief side note too, the way they communicated that to the player, two ways. They had you come up the ladder looking directly at the window with the like yellow flashing by it, and you're you're getting trained by now to really look at yellow. Oh, you figured it out, Marzard. What was it? I would love to know because I I want to learn as much as possible about that exact issue because it is it is murderously annoying. Um, there was that, and then there was the stumpy ladder in the ground. You didn't need the stumpy ladder, you know. The windmill could have just been like bleh. You need that crank. Do I have to go get it back? Uh. I s there's no way there's no way there's no way in hell they're gonna let me leave this area without a key item like that that can't happen I don't care how Dragon's Lair this game gets fuck man though I'll have maybe I have to come back for it I went in that mouth oh, wait is it a key item Oh, I've, I've got it. Never mind. Okay. This this Resident Evil is shockingly kind about storage. I hear a goat. There. No. So, um, for, like, there are there are ways that chat can uh, also change the course of gameplay because of my nature, and and it's that's a little less less knowing. So, like giving me information that would prevent me from from screaming about how I'm 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 better than this or whatever. Uh that's like probably good. But also like sometimes chat'll be like you missed something and I'll be like what? prompting me to turn around and and like pick through all the corners of a room for 10 minutes. Okay. So that's another way that like it can be a real soft backseat, but it does Incur a response or a change. <laughs> Nutty. That's exactly how it goes down. It's the RPG <laughs> and the flamethrower. Yeah, it's just it's interesting to think about. <laughs> Different, like, just what truly is so different about a puzzle like that, or like the make the make the plant toxin puzzle from RE1? Oh yes. It's like it's like where they hide the information and, and at the sense I of procured some new items for you, Mr. Winters. Against the sense of satisfaction you get for for feeling like you've solved it. Mm. <laughs> oh shit! This dude's huge. He is huge. Oh, JC, did you? I've gotten some new stock. Did you drop your story? Oh, I gotta, I gotta check the chat history and see if I missed it. Oh, okay, here we go. I did miss it. Sorry about that. Starting down the interstate with very little warning. A giant, like ten by fifteen feet piece of sheet metal flies up. Truck in front of me obscured it, then kicked it up. Then I fucking dodged it on a half second notice. I also managed to stay in my lane to not hit the car next to me. I wish I had my passenger's reaction on tape. Crazy shit comes out of nowhere and my amazing driving skill saves the day. Meanwhile, people are like, JC shouldn't have a license. Ooh. That's... So wait, they were... They were talking shit about being jerked around in the car even though you, like... Yeah, you saved the day with your lightning-fast reflexes. That's some BS. This is crazy. I've, like... I bought everything out of the shop. Like, actually everything. I'd have to start buying mines and crap. Find anything else of value. Which is bizarre. I guess, I guess that's maybe owing to going around and trying to uh, 
going around and getting treasures and stuff. Maybe, maybe they. Oh, that's that's interesting. Also, yeah, another another dirt simple puzzle. Is it timed? Oh, okay. I don't, there's like little indicator lights on top. Oh, okay. Oh. 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 They got me. They got me. Captain's right. They got me. Oh. I got God. I didn't think about it. Rocky Boss, thanks for the sub. How are you enjoying the game? I actually, I actually am enjoying it. There's some grit in here. It's a little gritty. It's got some grit to it. But uh, I enjoy it a lot. It can be a little. It can be a little salty. Well, they got me again. Wait, hold on. It is interesting. They like. They have the lights to to be another cue. Some things have a safety net. Some things do not. Got it. I mean, it's it's still a giant mutant fish, uh, even if it's not in water. Yeah, I don't think I got anything. I like that puzzle. Yeah, there was a twist to it. It's, so that, that seems to be the, like, that's the thing about puzzles, you know? It's, you create, and Portal is, is just amazing at, at puzzle design like this, and Portal 2 especially, of, like, you, you create a series of small solvable puzzles, um, but each time you solve what's in front of you, it didn't actually solve the puzzle. It just revealed the next step, and that's exactly what, what that sort of puzzle is. Um, it gives you indicators that imply something else is going on. Yeah, when I when I played through Portal, it was it was outstanding. You know, you would you would do there hit a switch that opens up a portal, and you're like, okay, so what now? And then you'd watch the box like hit a spring pad, fly through the portal, and you'd be like, oh, that's what I have to do next. And like, it was so incredible how uh, how each each like puzzle room would flow that way. October first, a sunny day. Mother Miranda brought me five peoples from the village, just like I asked did. I made them sleep with some liquid, then I put Cado in their tummies. I'm looking forward to the Cado to grow in their tummies. Okay, so Cado is the Las Plagas of, uh, of eight, I guess. October 2nd, a cloudy day. Four of, four of the people from the village are dead this morning. One is almost a lichen. I sent it to my lab on the mountain. I failed again. Mother wants strong vessels, but I cannot get any. I will need more people from the village. So they are all bugs. The bugs make some people vampires and make other people bug ladies. Hell yeah. Wait. Oh. That's gonna refill my clip though. Yeah, I'm gonna... That's another one. So that's... That's something that I had thought about, but I probably actually would have used that upgrade to test the theory that getting a clip upgrade refills your clip. But uh, that is another one where the chat told me something that altered what I did. Or should this emote be used? I mean, that emote is there mostly as a troll. Uh, that is that is long that is long time stream member Zaxby. Ah. I guess I gotta do this. Wow, he got me quick. Okay. Yeah, thing in mouth. What the? Oh, 
Oh god, that FOV though. When you have like big monsters is swirling around in front of you, oof, that gets a little churny. That was that was starting to affect me a little bit. I'm just pulling some laps to try to understand the nature of how it how it moves and attacks and stuff. Great. I guess it stands to reason that uh, raising your hands would not protect you from acid. You know what, I can't argue with that one. Fuck! Oh. This is, this is, I like this boss fight. This, this seems pretty good. You know, there's, you're in an arena, there's some movement mechanics to it, he does some attacks. It's, it's really creepy. Ooh. I think that might be the last red barrel I get though. Oh no wait, there's another one. Finished the game already? No, this is still my first playthrough. I'm I'm playing on hardcore, so I have a uh, uh, wow. Oh, you have to be inside. Whoa! Damn, that's mean. Oh, they actually let you go to the. Oh, that's nice. All right, all right. Ethan melted. Yeah. Is that does that thing one shot you on normal? Probably doesn't on normal, right? Soul chasm. It's it's out. Do you mean Resident Evil Eight? Yeah, it came out a couple days ago. I guess I gotta do this. You know it. Shit! <laughs> Man, oof! That was a good, good last minute, last minute block. Ah, <laughs> that's a shame. get a lot of time. Okay, I'm gonna guess now it's gonna go up to a roof. Okay, that's that's why they put the yellow rope up, to make it easier to see where you're safe. Yeah. You got an announcement to make, JC? All right, let's hear it. Saint Anger sucks. What the the Metallica album? Uh, I have to say. All the all the things I was complaining about previously with with the game's spotty ability to communicate mechanic and communicate intent 
Oh, it made it made goo walls. That's interesting. Um, this this sequence actually seems pretty great. God, I don't like it. Is it barfing? Okay. Oh shit! It's barfing and walking. Fuck! God, you can hear the, like, splashing behind you. Oh! Okay. I gotta be, I think I have to be a little closer to capitalize on damaging moments. Ah. Do I have any explosives? Ah, uh, okay. You know what? That's seems like exactly what's needed in this scenario. to that. Kind of interesting to have a deeply insecure boss too. It's just like super pathetic. Hey Coinmeister, thank you for the sub. Go. Oh. You can get more mines. I mean, you you can craft them. So yeah, they drop too. don't say. So I might get in trouble soon unless they start trying to hack down. Whoa, okay. He's over there now. Ah, uh, yeah, this is not good. Oh, he's not, he's not vomiting again. Okay. Fuck. Ah. Uh. Okay. 
a fun animation. I didn't know it was coming back down. Stop it, stop it, let me shoot, let me shoot! There's no time to be sad, Ethan. that move it's so fast I don't know that I can yeah I'm running out of healing and now I'm moving slow great if he decides to like chase me with his acid bar if I'm pre I'm probably gonna die because I don't know if I'll be able to get away Waiting for that healing to kick in. There we go. Yeesh. What? That's interesting and annoying. That actually scared me a little bit. Fuck. This is intense. I, this is intense gameplay. Woo! Woo! Get him. I, can probably, I think I can make more mines. Yeah, I can make more mines. <sighs> Go! Don't try to. Ah! Oh, interesting. He'll go from standing up to back down. I thought he would always do his barf. Oh, come on! Fuck, 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 fuck. Alright, I have mines. This boss fight music is, is pretty good, though. I do like it. Where are we coming from? Okay. Difficulty is this? This is this is hardcore. Woo! I like that boss fight. I like that. And the game seems to be adopting a bit more gameplay complexity as it goes on, which is great. I don't. In death as he was in life, 
Disgusting. <sighs> He's never gonna get his self-esteem up now. Um, it's, it is interesting to hear notes that the game has a distinctly combat slant towards the end. Um, I'm, re I am, I'm really excited. I'm really excited to see what, what that's like. What form that takes. He wanted to make mommy proud. Well, he gave me a big ass crystal that I'm gonna sell. That makes me proud. Just taking another cruise through, making sure I didn't miss any items. I'm pretty sure I swooped them all up though. Or just a couple of pretty big caches. Nice. Cyberbully the fish man. Yep. <laughs> After shooting him to that death, close. I'm going to uh, post embarrassing pictures of him on the internet and tag all the girls he likes. Uh, Ace one two. Thank you for the cheer. I appreciate appreciate the cheer encouragement. Got hit with the BS puke through the wall several times. The rain moved, killing me instantly with little telegraphing for what's going to happen and just getting stuck in a corner from blocking an attack and literally being able to get away made me dislike this fight a lot personally. Yeah, both of those things happened to me the first time. Mm -hmm. I think that's just kind of what's going to happen the first time. Is it's going to pin you into a wall. It's going to kill you with the acid barf. I don't know that there's a way to just not learn yes, those or ahead. just learn those lessons without dying um this game is not afraid to kill you until you learn which is a a unique sensibility still surprised the tall vampire lady wasn't the main antagonist i think most people are yeah i i kind of am but i don't mind it I, uh, I don't mind. Oh, a six-footed wing. Oh, I need more key. Or I need more wings on my key. I kind of like, uh, games that have, like, more characters and more stuff. All I'm waiting for is an awesome G Fuel ad. Uh, yeah, it doesn't sound... Wait a minute, what's that? Oops! Oh, no. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. Anyway, there it is. I stabbed for it too quickly. Hey, I have a 30% off G Fuel code. And uh, apparently I can't be trusted around a stream deck. Uh, anyway, if you want 30% off G Fuel, check it out. Or if you have any questions about the quality product, let me know. But they are sponsoring me, so I'm obviously going to say nice things about them. All right. Mother Miranda gave me a rose jar. No one likes me, which is why I thought they would leave me out again. But Heisenberg said that was why we each get a rose. The ceremony cannot happen without all of us there. Mother didn't seem to care, though. Mother said Rose is a vessel. With a vessel, Mother can get her real child back, even though she's been dead for a very long time. Ah. So maybe that's what Mia did, and they're just stealing the kid back. Crab foam! Thank you for gifting five subs. Got some hydration formula. Pretty good stuff. Glad to hear it. Yeah, it is pretty good stuff. It's pretty effective. Uh, which one is your favorite one? I I like watermelon, but I also like I like watermelon flavors, uh, and the iced tea flavor is pretty good too. But it does it does tend to taste a bit more like you know fountain soda iced tea, but it's nice and iced. That's okay. Mother, uh, but if mother does, then what will happen to me? I'm not a real child. Would she abandon me? No, I don't want that. No, 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 no. There's some fun dialogue. Or there's some fun diary entries and stuff. They're all pretty short. You're better off than I thought. Who's that? That was weird. Oh, come on. We just met a while back, not that it really matters. It's Nick Cage, dude. You're the last asshole in my way, aren't you? You've got fight. I'll give you that, Ethan. But what's the plan when you have all four flasks? What are you trying to get at? I could lend you a hand. Not trying to get on my good side? I don't get cocky. I'd kill you if you weren't worth the trouble. There's a stronghold not too far outside the village. Go there, and get my flask. Do that, and you pass. First, head back to the graveyard. Self-centered prick. I also have to give this game credit. All of the... 
all of the, you know, lords of... Lords of Miranda, or whatever, they're all pretty unique characters, and they're all pretty well designed. I don't... Like, Seven had the Baker family, and I guess all the members of the family were, you know, had had good design about them, but they weren't quite as unique and didn't quite pop like these do. Um, Lady Domitrescu, I mean, speaks for herself. People wanted her to be the entire game. Um, I think that the doll lady was super cool. Fishman was super cool. Like, you just don't get depressed villains that often. That's just neat. That's a neat twist. And it just, yeah, just makes, just makes him so horrifically pathetic. When he's barfing acid all over you and whining about how nobody loves him, you're just like, fuck me, dude. <laughs> I, don't I mean, I think there was like I feel it feels like it feels like a Metal Gear game, um, that all the generals have like wacky powers and sort of very loud personalities. Because um, I want to say that because I swear to God there was a Metal Gear villain who also was really sad. Well, I guess there was the end, um, but yeah, I I I like the I like that setup. I think it's fun. It, seemed, it feels like in the past, RE games would have like a rogues gallery, but they were just there was like there was like an intellectual villain and then like another villain, I guess. I guess four had a couple. And the evil general man and then the weird Lord Flaunt, Fault, yeah, Fauntleroy, Fauntleroy, whatever. That weird little guy. I don't remember the names of any of these guys. Sadler, I think was one of them. Who knows. Farquad, yes, exactly. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid Three is a good comparison for this game's villains. Yeah, yes, uh, cause Three's, yeah, Three's, Three's villains were were quirky. I guess Two had Fat Man and Vamp. I mean, it's got Vamp. It's got it all. Sorry that I'm I'm being so skittish into and out of the the menu here. I guess all the goo is gone now. But why are you telling me there's an exclamation point here? Maybe you mean up there? Ah, oh, who knows? I had to speedrun RE8 just so I could watch these streams. You did it for me? Well, th that's actually kind of flattering. Thank you. I hope you still enjoyed your experience with the game. Which Metal Gear had the boss that died on his own if you waited long enough? That was three. Yeah. I can go this way now? Oh, yeah. Guess what? The world's treasures lay bare to me, for I have the power of Crank. That actually sounds like something an 80s business dude would have said after snorting a line at, like, an office party. What? Oh. So said I miss Lady D. I could have fixed her. There's still time. I mean, my baby's in pieces. That's not that's not figurative, and I'm still plugging ahead. So there's still a world in which Mama Booba is alive and well. Where was the last one? I kind of don't remember. It was in the last sequence somewhere. Ah! Ah! 
That's a fun thing. Where they like miss out of frame and then they get get you immediately. This game is, is no respecter of enemies not being in, in your vision cone. <sighs> Alright. Zombies look really cool. They they do. The combat the combat's pretty good. Um, it's, it's quirky. It's got its own little, I mean, again, like, virtually every Resident Evil game ever made, it's got its own little odds and ends you've got to figure out. What the f- Ugh. the point of tonight's stream where I don't know if I'm being serious or sarcastic or talking about game mechanics. Nothing but respect for Resident Evil in all situations. Dude. I'm sure I would eventually attune to it, but Golly, does it ever feel like sometimes this game just decides you're going to get hit. Mother Miranda gave me a mountain. Now I can do lots and lots of Cadeau experiments. This is my special secret laboratory. I did three Cadeau experiments today. But they all went pop and made a mess. I put the Cadeau in, or I put in the Cadeau, and then I tried putting some wolf blood from a needle into the spine. The person wriggled a lot and then killed my assistant. I could not hold it down, so I put it in a cage. Now I have to feed it. Ooh! Holy shit. This is the most pimpinest gun ever. Wolf Spain? <laughs> That's a great name. Fiat Voluntas. What? No! I want to keep that up so I can Google it. It won't let me tab out of the game. It seems to uh, translate to what? Oh Christ, what was it? Uh, let your last. Hmm. I don't know what that means. There's probably some kind of more elegant translation. Yondo, I'm aware of how to use the snip tool. Would you believe that sometimes hitting uh, Windows Shift and S? also counts as an input that will clear the screen, because that has happened too. I'm not saying that it would happen there, but even that is not a catch-all to keeping info present on the screen. Fuck! Good times. Go around the block. Oh wait. Oh, I never I never actually put that. Okay. Well. 
Now's as good as time in any. says thy will be done oh okay yeah maybe I, maybe I translated it poorly I mistyped it or something That's crazy how it has like the giant open mouth. That's that's real sick. Man. This thing is genuinely upsetting to look at and hear and uh and I love it. Yeah. The audio design is super on point. The the visual design of a lot of the monsters super super on point. Um there's there's so much good here. And only a only a little only a little sandpaper. Maybe more than a little. I think it just depends on your tolerance for sandpaper. I tune in to struggle to kill this thing with the guns in this area. Uh, or with the gun this area gives you, let alone just pistols and shotguns. Nicely done. Oh, thank you, Hendo. I'm 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 zeroing in on how to how to cheese this game, I think. I wonder if they're going to chase me into this other zone here. That doesn't sound like it. They turn back at the nearest fence. It's crazy how you can cheese it. That's... Yeah, I, I suppose. Maybe? I don't know. To me, that's, that's just the story of every Resident Evil game. Why are you telling me to go down here? Are you telling me to go down here? What are you telling me to do? I don't know why this is here. Head to the stronghold. I don't know why... I don't know what that means. Maybe it's just something you can interact with? Maybe there's a cranky thing down there. Might as well unlock doors while I can. Oop. That's not pan. Okay. Yeah, I, I guess that just... There's cranky things everywhere. Yeah, I think that's just what that means, right? Dank punk. There is a, a crankable interaction. Oh, jeez. Why am I... Why do I hear thus spake... Thus spake Zara... Thustra. Th th why am I... Th thustra? Thustra? I don't know how many R's are in that. Oh, you meant the NPCs. Never mind. That is also true. Oh, that's right. It's around the back. Time to murder some more chickens. I told you I'd be back for you, chickens. I love to play through all the RE games. I have a hard time enjoying older games. Any recommendations on how to enjoy older games or just enjoy games that aren't super engaging? Um... You don't have to force yourself to do anything you don't enjoy. If you don't like older games, and screw it. The good news is there are both... Like, Resident Evils 1, 2, and 3 have been remade at this point. Although 1 is much more in keeping with a classical style. But you can play 2 and 3. Those, are, those have very modern sensibilities. 
But yeah, apart from that, I don't, don't worry about it, you know? I feel like that's sort of like, I want to get into Bond, but I don't want to watch, like, movies from the 60s. Well, then don't. Just just do what part of whatever part of it seems appealing to you. There are chickens I didn't kill? What's that all about? I can hear him bock bocking. Oh. I thought you thought you could hide. What's up, Arbit Arbitron Gamer? Our current one's going pretty well. I feel like I have a really good fix on on what the difficulty means and and I think on a broader sense what the kind of uh, the kind of gameplay that they're trying to create with this game. <laughs> you balked your last box, senior chicken. May you balk no more. Neat. Yeah, there was a crank door around here somewhere, I thought. Maybe that was the crank door that I found before, <laughs> like the intro sequence. I feel like I kept running into a crank door, but... That may have been it. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Can I? Oh, there's bars on that window. How do you get over there from here, can you? Or do you have to do that thing where you climb up the ladder and then jump down into the, the chicken coop thing? Uh, no? Is this area? I Oh, I guess I have to go around this way. Okay. I guess those areas are just straight up separated. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, it says there's still an item in here? That's right. Maybe I'll... Maybe with the, these new lighting conditions I'll be able to find whatever the hell... Huh. I guess that was there all along. <laughs> See, got the doo doo eyes. Oh, the shaker and the G fuel are double sized. Oh, that's the the Resident Evil Eight uh, tie-in. Are you telling me that you can get a double? S oh, there's another item in here. A double size shaker, a double sized tub of G fuel, and thirty percent off using my code at checkout. Is that what you're telling me? How can one store contain such deals, such savings? A mommy-sized tub of G Fuel. <laughs> this tub of G Fuel will step on you and tell you to go clean your room. I hear a lot of a lot of angry animals. I don't know. Stuff stuff's been plugging through uh, Turner Classic Movies, which is awesome. Cause uh, there's there's a whole, just a, the world of classic cinema is something that I know zero, just absolutely nothing about. But uh, it's been it's been fun slowly learning about that stuff. Steph knows a lot more about it than I do, so she'll tell me about. Older actors or performers and stuff like that, so it's really neat. Um, but who knows what the hell she's watching right now. That was a hell of a sound. Keep watching TCM, my bonus depends on it. Well, I'm doing my part. Hey, you're here watching me on Twitch. I got your back uh, fluffing those TCM numbers. Don't worry. Don't worry about it. We got each other. Oh, there it is. go oh 
Okay. Well, I mean, they're, they're certainly not being subtle about where they want me to go, which I guess is good. What is this one red door? Oh, I went in there. Why is it still... Oh, no, I didn't. Did I? Is that what you're... Yeah, okay. Weird. Okay, it's blue now. Ah! What the... F Where'd you come from? I thought I heard another one. Maybe just that. I saw the blade was on TCM and I instantly felt old. Blade is, in fact, a classic uh, at this point. Is this on normal or hard? It's on hard, yeah. I'm playing on hardcore. There is a, a one more difficulty above that, or maybe two. Um, I'm not sure, to be honest. Ah, oh, <laughs> my apologies. Oh, he's holding a jar of the things. Wait, hold on. No, 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 no. Bring that back out. Okay, Dang it. Then. I wanted to see that. Seeking something in particular. So I guess they just they look like insect larvae. This is Lord Moreau's? I suppose it's what they call the beauty of the grotesque. One Village of Shadows is not a fun first go. I mean, the, does it actually change the number and aggressiveness of enemies? Because the only way, I guess, technically on hardcore, you can get hit twice before you die. So one takes you to yellow, another takes you to red, and then you'll die. Um, so I guess if you had two hit points instead of three, if you went right to red at one hit and then died on another, that would be the, a way to make it harder. But I don't know if they also, do take a look at they can hit you with more enemies, they can, they can give you fewer bullets. Cause I mean, I'm, I'm, I feel like I'm doing pretty okay in the economy side of this game. One moment, please. What am I doing? Got some money. There we go. Mm -hmm. What? Ah, it's fine. All finished. To hunger. Uh, don't. Used to be alive. Oh, don't, 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 no. Juicy game. Still can't make anything. So I feel like I need to find more fish. Food is life. Do you feel we get too many bullets on hard? Um, I've never run out. Uh, there's a couple of times I've swapped to other guns. There's like one situation where I got I got pretty empty. Like basically just just a little bit ago when I was in that one shack and the big claw man was chasing me. Um, uh, that could be could be owing to the fact that the ammo balance is is meant to target uh, controllers and maybe I'm just landing slightly more headshots. Than, than they expect. I don't know. What The way I thought it typically worked is it would just kind of know how much ammo, ammo you have in your inventory and start to squeeze you until it gets down to a certain point. Which is why I never really saw the point in like buying items uh, in games like this because it's like, well, Thank you I'm just going to put my head... I'll put myself ahead of the curve. And then they'll just like squeeze me on drops. Uh, I don't know that that's necessarily the case, but... <laughs> yes, I can see why you'd be interested in that. Might as well. Like, there's a couple of more upgrades to get. There's the ammo capacity, the shotgun. Securing goods is more a good day then. Which I could do. Oh, there, okay, I see which. Yeah, there's a sort of rearranging area. Ah, yes, yes. Probably has a super wide margin, though, to be accessible to I'm their players to the point where it's almost not we'll worth having the algorithm. Fee. Maybe. I mean, I, I would assume that that's the sort of the, the engine that decides the drops you yeah. get and scales difficulties you go would react to the difficulty setting, but I don't know. Uh, I mean, in the end, it's like, what are you going to... What is the measure of difficulty? How many shots can you miss? How many items can you not pick up? 
how many, uh, how much damage can you take? And that has to sort of, it, it ultimately amounts to like all of those, all of those ways that you play less than optimally. It's like how, how long are you allowed to play less than optimally before the game says that you've, you were not playing good enough. Alrighty. Actually, wait, what is... Oh, okay. There's not really much over here. I'm guessing this goes to the final... Let's go to the... Oh! What do you know? Can you knife these guys? Do they jump out in front of you? <clears throat> yeah. Why'd you kill the goat? Because the, uh... The items you get from killing animals go towards permanent upgrades for your character. Crouch and stab. Can you actually get them before they... Oh my god, you can. I'm slightly annoyed. Because it was it was kind of stupid to try to get them as they were jumping out of the water. You can stab fish? Yeah. That's lame. Lame. Although, I think that means I can afford an upgrade now. Killing fishes. I know it's sad. It's sad, but it's for the greater good. You can 100% stab fish IRL. Well, that just means that this game is realistic, which means it's immersive, which means Seeking it's good. Something in particular. Wait, no. This. Pay me no mind. Yeah, here we go. Don't let we've gathered all the ingredients. Now. On hardcore, I am in this exact same area and I feel OP as fuck for the game. I usually use one pipe bomb plus pistol I have on power level four. I don't even have to rifle and shoddy. For, uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I think you could probably do most of the game that way. Pipe bombs seem pretty effective for the, uh, Especially for the uh, sure to be a good materials game. required to create one. Oh, good. I was just thinking of ways. Because yeah, anytime you have to, like, if you have to kill one enemy, the handgun's pretty life. good. But if there's like two or three, you may as well get them to like clump up and then throw a pipe bomb at them. Um, that's what it seems like. I was just checking to see if I could do another one. I don't think I can. Yeah, low on fish again. Done something amazing in his playthrough. He got to the part where you get your hand cut off and you use the duck in game to dodge Lady Demetrescu as she whiffed a point blank swipe because she was too tall. Oh, that's cool. Huh, I never thought that like ducking would actually change your hitbox or damage that you take. Oh, yeah, I see it now. God, those giant ass magazines. That must be so heavy. Just got here from a long day at work. How's RE8 been? I've been having a good time. I've been having a good time. There's some parts that got me a little testy. I have to admit, though, it's because I didn't save. Well, and the game itself can be a little, can be a little, uh, can be a little rumpusy. You hit a speed bump every now and again, but I'm gonna guess that maybe this is where the game turns very heavy combat, because the last the last area was mostly like running through sequences in duress to do block pushing puzzles and stuff. Those mags aren't heavy at all. Even holding two of them? With the hand missing fingers? But yeah, maybe not. I don't know. It seems like it would be. What the? What the? You're almost 75% through? Okay. Well, I guess, I guess I would assume then that I ought to be hitting this combat section pretty quickly. Pretty shortly. Fairly immediately. Yeah, game got me again! I keep getting got! Game's scaring me! Alright. I have a feeling I'm gonna be throwing some pipe bombs pretty soon. Yeah, okay. Actually, yeah, let me... I do have three already. Let's play by ear. Let's see how many I can... I can trap in this, uh... Flower cloud. Uh, uh, uh. 
Wow, that did not work at all. Like, at all. Uh, it seems like it did do some damage to him. <laughs> did you not think I could shoot you? Man, these guys used to be such a pain to deal with. I was wondering, I was like thinking that in the intro sequence when I was like just dumping loads and loads of bullets and resources into individual guys to get them to drop. Thinking like, man, I'm gonna I'm gonna get some upgrades. What? I thought they were already surrounding me. The second I turn, I'm getting hit. They actually weren't surrounding me though. Actually, this is a good candidate for another fight. <laughs> that was weird. Must have been a critical or something. Or maybe that was one of the guys who uh, got hit with a bomb. Just wasn't dead. Boy, big Resident Evil 4 vibes with these guys. Trick shot. Eh? What's that for? <laughs> I don't know if you're in chat, Eric, but that border is incredible. Uh, okay. I shot somebody, yay. The lichens are upset. A lot of RE4 vibes later in the game, even 6 vibes. Yeah, I you're not the first person to bring up RE6, which is in in my most facetious moments I would have said that would be a cool thing if 8 were like Resident Evil 6. But apparently there uh yeah, apparently there's dashes of it in there. I mean the intro is is kind of similar to 6 in that it's a big linear cutscene laden scripted sequence tricked out cinematic kind of narrative sequence um it's not as intense as six thank god because six is just you know it jumps its own shark that is also a zombie uh that was pretty cool a shot through the arrow Oh, there's another one. Shit. <sighs> that again. Wait, was Maybe that maybe that was the first one that didn't die and just stood back up and ate me? I don't know. I'm I'm confused. I'm confused that I keep getting grabbed by basic enemies. It just, it seems like it... I don't know. They're really good about making you think they're not going to eat you, and then they eat you. It's about to feel like six now. Cool! I'm curious to see what that means. I really am. Oh, it was a third one? Okay. That that has happened a couple of times. It's it's not a huge deal, but like there will be enemies and then an enemy behind that enemy. And they'll be perfectly obscured. So you'll sort of size up how many enemies there are. And sort of stun and use ammo accordingly. And then the hidden enemy, like there's a big reveal. A curtain drops and surprise, there's another one. And also he's lunging at you. And it's too late, you're already taking damage. Pause on the ladder here for a quick sip of water. Gabriel Dreamer. I am well. I hope you're well too. Hard to be unwell on a day like today. Got a cool breeze coming in the window. Got some hot Resident Evil 8 action. Hanging out with some nice people on the internet. Dang, man. 
Dang. They're already at me. Okay. Move, Ethan. God! The, like... There was the lag of landing. There was the lag of switching guns. There was the lag of pulling to iron sights. There was the lag of clicking the button. And a shot doesn't come out. Gosh. like you're, you're hitting all these buttons and you're just watching animations happen and you're like he's gonna eat me he's gonna oh he ate me all right okay Sorry, I keep sp spamming the block. I just don't know what to expect from any of these guys. I'm gonna guess that the waves keep spawning until I go hit the other one. No, I guess not. Okay. A lag of living. I play video games to not experience life lag. They also made Chris Stepdaddy thick in this one. Like, he's not just meathead thick. He's salt and pepper Cialis commercial thick. He is. He is. I... Capcom is, is, has a pretty good batting average for aging their protagonists. So, yeah. Chris, Chris picked up some real... Like brick shit house, like retired marine drill instructor energy. It's kind of what I get, and it's like, yes, you can step on my neck. It's fine. Oh, Gabriel, thank you for gifting a sub. I did. I apologize for blocking. I don't know because it was kind of annoying me. The sound. I was just like, Ech, why am I hitting that button so much? I guess I was apologizing to myself. Treasure? No, hold on. That's a lot of burbs. Now, just a moment. Wait a minute here. It's gotta be under me, right? Maybe? Yeah, maybe it's up there. I gotta figure out how to get up there. Chris is 100% that gym teacher that hits on the biology teacher in the teacher's room, even though they're both married. Yeah. She, like, makes an allusion to the ring on his finger, and he's like, who cares? <laughs> That's a special breed of dude. The ones who, like, try to cheat on their wives, and they, d they don't even, like... They don't even give enough of a shit to pretend to be ashamed about it. Whatever. Sit next to the barrel and see, shoot it and see what happens for science. You know, I was I was genuinely thinking about trying that. Uh, this is weird because you can't jump in this game. Um. I also kind of don't need money, so. This is all academic. 
Yeah, it seems like... I mean, there's kind of no other place for it to be. Hmm. Oh, wait. Was there a birdcage? Oh, I've been I've been looking up pretty steadily. Or maybe you have to just shoot it and then it falls a place where you can get it, but you can't stand there. Oh, to save minutes of aimless searching, it's underground. You'll get it later. All right. Thank you. And uh, let it be known that I was giving up anyway. I was about to leave. Because like I said, I... I come to the realization that I have enough money. I, I bought everything. <laughs> Ew. That is one of the best Twitch names I've ever seen. Very nice. My, comp my compliments to the chef on that one. Never have too much money, so my grades get pricey as fuck. I, yeah, I mean, I guess. I'm getting near the end of the game. I presume that on New Game Plus or something, there will be some, like, half million lay weapon. It'll be a foam finger and it kills everything in one hit. Oh man, this looks cool as hell. Oh, I think I, I think I might be seeing the six. Uh, yeah, I think I see the this six vibes. Shambling, multi-leveled, uh, ancient ruins with explosive barrels. I guess, I guess this is the combat sequences too, which kind of makes sense. Actually, oh, that was a really bad time to reload. I have a long clip for a reason. I also realized the low FOV is is kind of a, a... Ah, that was dumb. I don't know why I let him do that. Um, The low FOV kind of especially sucks. Because if there's, if there's two enemies, and they do these, like, dumb side dodges, if there's two enemies and one dodges to the side, and you want to keep shooting at that one, then the other one kind of leaves your field of view. And the speed at which they just lunge at you and hit you is... That kind of sucks. Like, that enemies intentionally spread apart and your vision is narrowed. It... it I mean, yeah, there's there's some, like... There's some some interesting uh, gameplay and, like, like, looking back and forth really panicked to, like, keep eyes on every every enemy. So there's something to that. Yeah, no, Captain, I know that there's a... I know that there's a... Um, must be, they're dead. An FOV mod. I, I am kind of a dumb, in the ways that I am an idiot purist, you know, I've, I've backed off a little bit on backseating and things like that, but I do kind of like to play a 1.0, you know, just so I can remember what it was like. A game, when it launched, was in this state, and it had these quirks about it, and to me, those kind of contribute to a moment in time, and that's sort of what I was waxing philosophic about a while ago. So I tend to, yeah, I, Captain, I feel like you're the kind of person that would understand that. So I'm, uh, <clears throat> or rather you think about games in that same that same kind of wavelength. Yes, like Sonic Rise of Lyric 1.0, exactly. I wish I could have been there on launch day. Uh, I guess I was, I just, <laughs> actually, man, that whole era, I had, a, I had some live shit going down. That was a sick barrel though. But yeah, I think uh, I'll prob I will definitely install an FOV tweak if I do a new game plus on uh, Village of Shadows, which I'm enjoying this game enough to I think want to give it another run through on a harder difficulty. Woo! I, I gotta I gotta keep learning. You just can't 
You're not allowed. You're not allowed to get an extra damage of any kind. Where's the other one? Where's the other one? Oh, crap. I was like, I'm gonna take a hit for this. I have to. They're not gonna let me heal and get away. hands for a second there yeah wait 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 holy what the no okay I guess I can I can be I can be dragging it away with my left arm you have four hands a hundred percent yeah he like If the gun disappears the second it leaves the screen, it almost makes sense. Fuck! I wasn't looking, that's on me. Oh, thank god I can make another one. Still, still going. Oop. Ugh. But like the, the he he dropped down and was already swinging at me, and and maybe maybe it has something to do with the fact that I actually did see it happen, but. This game's nature to just just have enemies drop in outside of your field of vision and close on you. Um, another game that did that very recently was Returnal. I was actually sort of shocked with how aggressive that game's AI was and, and how comfortable that game was at throwing enemies off screen at you and having uh, off screen enemies attack you. Um, this game's doing it too. That used to be a big no-no for any game on a controller because you just couldn't turn fast enough. But it it seems like uh, seems like game designers are kind of trusting players to to have that spatial awareness and and be a little more um, active about managing space. I like it. Um, it's just different, and it it can read a little unfair. Before you, before you kind of understand what's going on. Uncharted does that a bunch, and that's why I hate combat in it. Uncharted, I thought, was mostly enemies would, like... They would strafe around. Yeah, I guess they, they did try to get you out from behind cover. They threw grenades a lot, I, I remember. It was, like... Being outside of cover was super unsafe, because there were, like, 18 guys in cover. And then they would just non-stop drop grenades on your head. So you, you just had to get out of cover and take damage. So it then became a game of like, how effectively can you headshot people from behind cover before you have to bail and run to a new piece of cover. And if you couldn't land headshots, like some of those arenas just didn't happen. You you had to hit a certain like body count in Uncharted to get through some of those combat uh, environments it felt like. You've decided you're going to hit me. I was like, I know I've done enough damage to you. But he really wanted it. That that would have killed me.
I think Warrior 5 was really bad about spawning enemies in places that made no sense. I guess I do remember that a little bit from a couple of levels I played. Sound design has gotten better, so that helps with the off-screen enemies as well. That's a really good point. Yeah, that uh, somebody mentioned that about Returnal. Um, yeah, you're right. Audio designs and audio cues have come a long way. And I, I do think that with my brain sort of buzzing on... on talking. I think I actually talk over a lot of the sound effects that are supposed to cue me into those sorts of things. But luckily I'm on I'm on a mouse, or, so I can look around fast enough. It's about Returnal's a PS5 exclusive. I wanted a game with that type of combat for ages. Yeah, I mean, Hades is right there. Um, and it's, it's extremely similar. At least by my reckoning. Maybe not by, maybe not by everybody's. I want to play Returnal on my PC. Me too. Um, me too. Maybe someday. Sony seems to be getting a little more chill about PC, which is great. It's really, really great. I feel like if Sony could open their own PC storefront, but that doesn't. I don't think that's a thing they're going to want to invest in. But Sony seems pretty chill with, with Valve, or at least they, they seem okay developing that relationship. Did uh did Horizon Zero Dawn distribute via any other store, or is it only Steam? I can't remember. <laughs> Microsoft has one, you're right. <laughs> you're absolutely right. Oh that's right, it was it was on Epic Game Store and Good Old Games? Okay. That's kinda cool. That implies to me that they didn't get a sweetheart deal with an individual company. I mean, I'm sure they negotiated with them all because, you know, when you're Sony, of course you can do that. And you can probably probably squeeze out better terms. Um, but, uh... I think that's a good thing. Uh, it implies to me more... Like, one of the things that would worry me about Sony eventually having a bigger presence on PC is their insistence to have it their way. But... That doesn't seem to be the case with the way they've done it so far. I wish Square Enix would put 7 Remake on PC already, though. Figured we'd it'd be the usual year exclusivity, but we're still waiting. I think Intergrade complicated that. I think Intergrade is seen as another release of 7 Remake. Um, so what I would guess is... Um, and, and Intergrade may have been part of the deal, the original deal with Sony, too, if there was one. And it seems there was. Um, but, uh, I would guess, and, and this way they get, they get so many bites of the same pie. It's actually pretty brilliant. So they put out seven remake. It does super well, but it's, you know, it's a late gen title. So they do, they do what everyone else does and they're going to re-release it on next gen, except they're putting enough content in it to sell it again. Uh, so it's integrated, but that may be also part of a Sony deal. So that lands on PS5. Now that's the version of seven remake. Um, and maybe in a year after Intergrade comes out, maybe then it hits PC and other platforms. Um, maybe. But that that seems to be the strat so far. And I think, like, double dipping on 7 Remake with Intergrade is really brilliant. Okay, big guy. Oh, gosh. All right. Thought 7 Rem Remake was on PC? No. It's not on there, nor is there an announcement of any kind. About, about that happening. Yeah, every... I think, I think there was like one trailer that had a, a Steam logo on it, but that got, that got re, uh... That got redacted. Oh shit, you can't counter him. Alright. So, uh, yeah, we'll see. I mean, I I would love for 7 Remake to be on PC. To some degree, I, I didn't spend a lot of time with it on PS4 because, one, it, it was a PS4. And, and it, the, the, the cracks were starting to show a little bit. That game was bursting at the seams, technically, uh, which was still crazy impressive. So, 
I mean, for one, it 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 would be more fun to play that game on a PS5 anyway. Um, but for two, I was hoping it would come out on PC, because God, that game is gorgeous. Seven remake is in Steam. Do you mean like, wait, like there's a there's like a database entry for it? Is that what you mean? Oh, eight. Gotcha. Never mind. Yeah, the, the re-release of eight. Okay. There. Yep. There are three eyes there. My bad. Strange House Seven remake ran well sometimes on PS4, but RE8 ran perfectly on a PS4. Yeah, I guess Capcom just just got <coughs> razor uh, razor efficiency with the RE engine on older consoles. If only everybody did that. How different things would be. <laughs> oh, we got another squeezy hallway. It ran perfectly on PS4. Rarely any strong frame drops. That's great. And uncommon. Usually at this point, uh, the last last gen consoles are a wasteland of games that clearly aren't made to run on them. The king's orders have finally arrived. Withdraw. It is most vexing that we must abandon the border stronghold to these heretics. If I had but a little more time, I know I might be able to turn the tides of this battle. Nay, I should not put on airs. It is my curiosity that ties me to this place. There are a number of ruins in the vicinity which the locals say are very ancient. The ceremony site with four giant statues. The caves with murals carved on the walls. The stone plinth they call the giant's chalice. Where did the people who built them come from? Where did they go? It irks me to know we must abandon this place without knowing. Ooh. So this is a, this is a spooky enchanted place, huh? Our engine is overall amazing. Yeah, it's had some pretty cool, uh, pretty cool expressions. I thought it was pretty neat that uh, Ghosts and Goblins Remastered, or sorry, Resurrection, my bad, on Switch runs on RE Engine. So it's clearly very, very, very scalable. Although it would be great if Ghosts and Goblins Remastered didn't run at like, I think it's like 30, locked 30. I would like to believe that even the Switch can run a that's not good platformer at 60 FPS, but. Maybe I'd be wrong. Well, that's neat. Kind of a classic Wolfman face. Now that I look at it, it's like this. This character's got to be a reference to like just the Universal Wolfman. Crap. Oh, what? Okay. Yeah, clearly a reference to, to Teen Wolf. Ah, oh, no, I don't think I hit him.
Woo! 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 Jesus! Eat them with the one liner again, zing zing. Let me tell you, he's gonna think about that before he comes after you again. Wanna take his hammer for yourself? I kinda did. It was just covered in crystals. <laughs> Ethan is such a loser. <laughs> he kind of is. I don't know. Is there ever a time in any Resident Evil game you get to play as somebody who's actually cool? Actually, the remakes, you know? Uh. Just realized I was pretty far away from the mic. I think uh, Claire in uh, three, or sorry, Jill in three. My bad. It's pretty badass. Leon and Claire in two remake aren't utter simpletons, but Leon is cool in four. The game thinks he is. People in the game think he is, but he's also kind of a king of some really shitty one-liners. You're small time. <laughs> You're small time, Leon. No. You're small time. The absolute best comeback. Utter devastation. Leon screams himbo. He would if he had, like, any awareness. He's not quite as, like, just, I don't know, head in the clouds, I guess, as, like, Chris or something, but... What? Oh. Oh, that's not... Okay. Gordon Freeman has the best one-liners? Ain't no argument here. Half-Life Dialogue. Leon and Ada are the two super attractive, but maybe not too bright couple you saw in high school. Like, neither can cook or fix an engine. Yeah. They're just, they're... If it weren't for Instagram, who knew? Who knows what they'd be up to. Leon could fix an engine if it was a puzzle. And he had, like, Hunnigan on the phone to tell him what to do. That's kind of the thing. Leon, you need to check the oil. Hey, what's up, Terra Trouble? What it is? Welcome, welcome. Oh, there it is. Okay. Oh, what? You're the real deal, Ethan. Well done. Quit hiding, asshole. I'm not letting you get out of this. <laughs> cool your jets. Just a little bit more, and you're all wrapped up. I'll lend you a hand. So in exchange... In exchange what? First of all, come to me. Put all the flasks in the altar, and I'm sure you'll figure the rest out. See you, Ethan. God damn it. I mean, I'm... I feel like I'm collecting... I'm collecting this stuff for them. Has this thought not occurred to you, Ethan? You're going to take all the bits there, and then they're going to shove you on the ground. They're going to cut some part of you off. They're going to staple you to the floor. And then you're going to watch as your baby is reincarnated as this lady's crazy daughter. On the other hand, yeah. Again? At some point, that's got to get frustrating. Keep getting your hand chopped off. You feel like a hero yet? Not really, no. I just want my daughter back. Eh. 
<coughs> oh, excuse me. That one came out of nowhere. That one came out of nowhere. <laughs> oh, sorry. I don't mean to snort my nose directly into the mic. That was... But... I have to win... Well, actually, weird. Usually in my post-sneeze reverie, my nostrils are both open, so I get like one or two really good inhales, and then one of my nostrils gets shy and closes up again. But it seems this time I was cheated of my free breathing window. Was that the way? Was that a quick bump? Nah, I would share. Plus, uh, getting all coked up would contradict my chill stream vibe. I just snorted some weeds. Rub a little alcohol on my gums. Come here. There we go. Okay, then. I feel like there's another item here. Calls to me, yep. Yeah. What? I actually just now realized I have no idea, zero idea, what the actual, uh, oh, right. What the actual effect of, of breaking those, uh, those goat things is. Does it... In other Resident Evils, it would unlock, like, models and stuff. I don't know if that's the case in this one. I haven't looked at the bonuses section in the main menu yet. That's another thing I kind of, uh... Will ritualistically save as a, a reward at the end of the game when I'm sort of... You know, after the credits roll and you're sort of being wistful about your experience and having a minor existential crisis about what you're doing with your life. <laughs> that's when it's time to look at the bonuses! So you like spin around a gun model and you hit the button to make the little like animation for you and you're like, yay, <laughs> yay. Do enemies respawn when backtracking? The answer has been like yes and no, unfortunately. Um, it does seem like there's like sometimes uh, at certain story triggers when they funnel you back into areas, there can be some, some like respawning of enemies. They'll just pop out of the ground again. But once you kill those... They stay dead. So it, it, it does seem like it's possible to clear out areas and just make it so you can explore and scoop up items without too much hassle if that's what you want. I wonder now, I wonder if I can just go right back to that well and just get it. Maybe I can just do that. There's also a lot of, a lot of crankety areas uh, that I didn't quite do. Like back here, wait. There's still, a, there's still a prompt at the ceremony site? Oh wait, no, that's not the, Never mind. that's not this. That. A treasure? Oh yeah, I never got that treasure. It seems like all the treasures things just give you more money, though. Um, no, well, wait. You can find gun upgrades in the game. But I don't think I... No, there's a shotgun upgrade and revolver... Or, yeah, revolver upgrades I haven't gotten. It's my greatest pleasure. But actually, there will probably be more inventory unlocks at this point since Welcome. I killed technically killed well I guess I didn't really kill a boss I just killed a big boy dude gives me some weird vibes it's weird how quickly I got used to it that's what it feels like to me Cause yeah, he kind of creeped me out, but now I'm like, hey, what's up, Duke? How's it going? How's it hanging, buddy? Okay, no, nothing new to buy. I guess I still have to kill... Uh, Amy no mind. Still have to enter combat with uh, Nick Cage over there. Just a game and finest fish, all right. Well, still can't do that. Aeronautical, thank you for the sub. And Jort Moment, you thank you for the prime. Well, I'm sorry to say the big lady has gone. Has gone from this place. So I've got all my... I got all my bits. Where did he tell me to go? Take the flasks to the altar. Well, I guess that is... This is where this goes, yeah. Yeah, we remember Big Lady. In our in our loins and in our palms, we remember. What so, was that? 
somebody posted that screenshot of like when you get your hand chopped off and it says you can't use your right hand right now <laughs> and it's like a screenshot of lady domitresk like stomping towards ethan your right hand is occupied hmm wonder why quality screenshot can you kill the shopkeeper at some point hmm I'm gonna guess it does that thing where your gun lowers when you aim it at him, but I'll try. I got that whole thing? What? Like 400 pounds of solid rock? What? Oh, you can throw pipe bombs at him, he just coughs? Okay. Yeah, you can't, you can't, you can't squeeze off any shots on the old, the old boy. Imagine carrying that. Yeah, right? I'm carrying this now. This is now in my inventory. I got six guns, several rounds of ammunition, and a giant stone chalice on my back. Although I do kind of want to dip over here real quick and see what that interaction point is all about. Ethan's built different? Yeah. Maybe it gives... Maybe like Spider-Man, he has the proportionate strength of mold. So if... Whatever mold can carry uh, at like two ounces, he can carry at 180 pounds, you know? Maybe that's it. That's probably it. It's, there, I, I don't know how much credit to give Capcom for this, because it, it could be incidental, but there is a fun progression of absurdity around Ethan as a protagonist. Like, what, what he can do, what, what his personality is. I mean, at the point where he, like, glues his hand back on with the, just healing juice, it's just like, oh, okay. <gasps> It's kind of the game telling you to just you can't. It's not going to ha it's not going to hang together very well if you actually question it. You got to just take it on. What personality? I mean, I, that's kind of it though. The lack of one is still it's still a definition of some kind. So his his trash ass one liners still say something about his character. Well, they say something about the like construct of his character within the game, the ro the role of his character. Per yeah, he's got the per he's got the personality of mold. I don't know where this boat goes, but let's find out. Did his jacket sleeve get repaired when he put his hand back on? It seems like it, yeah. Cuz the the hand had the chunk of sleeve on it when he stuck it back on. The jacket is also mold. That's the that's the going theory right now. Yeah. Yeah. See. Yeah. Uh, his sleep. Yeah. You can even see the cut mark. Like <laughs> his jacket got scarred. I don't hate Ethan. I don't either. I actually I actually think he's a really fun, uh, it, you know, in air quotes, stupid protagonist. But dumb protagonists are are fun. Um. Something is is weird and maybe unintentional is like V sleeping weird in a bed. I love that stuff. I love it when like by virtue of being video game characters, uh, the characters inherit certain weird quirks about uh, how you feel about them or the way that they act. Would you say he's a fun guy? I may say that. Yes, I think I would say that. He's a cheese ball protag and he's fun. Yeah, I think so. I think so. And he just gets slapped around. He just gets completely pummeled. Oh. Oh. This is neat. I guess I thought every well would just have, like, one item inside of it. I 
Get a platform puzzle? Yay! I'm into this. I'm into this. This is great. Okay. Yeah. Like a slidey... A, a, a platform puzzle plus a slidey box puzzle? Oh, baby. We are playing Resident Evil now. Wait, what? No, we gotta keep going, bud. There we go. That does it. Oh. Wait, we only push here? Oh. Oh, okay. Interesting. Alright. Well, that sucks. Okay, I gotta bring up these other two. I gotta bring... Oh, I can't bring up... Who's <gasps> you? What's the... Well, is it stuck now? Or maybe I can lower the platform and push it again. Oh, uh, hmm. Yeah, maybe you have to, like, push it under and then smash it? No? Okay. Oh, oh, oh. I guess I could just do that. Okay. Well, that puzzle wasn't as cool as I thought it would be. That might be the that might be just the narrative of this game. Neat. There's still an item in here I haven't picked up though. That was anticlimactic? Yeah, it kinda was. It kinda was. Ooh. Oh, um, brief, brief question. Does this game have a new game plus? Can you take the money and upgrades and stuff into another run of the game on a harder difficulty? That's odd. I guess I'm missing something. This game has the gall to tell me I didn't pick up all the items. It does. Great. Okay. Oh, there we go. Because I'm, I'm sort of thinking at this point, um, ugh, if I want to... If I want to go around and, and do a, like an end game sweep and try to pick up items and find secret rooms and stuff like that. It's nice to know that that, uh, that will give me a boost in another run. Hello, items. Hello. How recently have you watched Ryan Haley's favorite film, Lawnmower Man? Uh, one? It's been a year. It's been a year or more. I did recently watch Lawnmower Man 2, Job's War, slash Lawnmower Man 2, colon, Beyond Cyberspace. Uh, which is weird because... Actually, hold on a minute. Let me check something here. I have... I swear to God, I have a version of that film that was like a fan cut. Uh... It, because all the times that the lawnmower man talked, the audio was like pitched down to make him sound weirder. Yeah, okay. I have Lawnmower Man 2 Beyond Cyberspace, the ultimate edition. I don't know what that means. Um, uh, but uh, it's like some weird version of Lawnmower Man 2 that I, oops, I downloaded from like a, uh, I don't know, a torrent once. But yeah, I don't know what the Ultimate Edition is. Uh, let me see if I can find a, a nice shot of legendary actor Matt Freer talking. I think it inter tries to intercut like shots of Lawnmower Man 1 into Lawnmower Man 2. Uh, <laughs> which is pretty great. Oh yeah, I don't want to spoil anything, but there's a cyber sword fight at the end of Lawnmower Man 2. Also, like the video quality is really, really bad. I don't know where I got this, but I love it. Oh, just trying to grab the helix chip. I can't remember what that thing is called. Why won't he talk? Mr. Walker. Maybe I need to. I need to find this. Yeah, here we go. Actually, wait. There's a really golden moment in that scene that's definitely worth, uh, definitely worth finding. There it is. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. See, like, there's weird cuts. Did you catch that? 
Like, it seems like somebody just took the movie and re-edited it. But that means that there's cuts like that where, like, the score jumps. Because they didn't actually have the assets to do it properly. Do you see what I mean? It's like lower pitch, but also faster. Who did that? Why? I watched this and I was like, this is the first time that I ever saw Lawnmower Man 2 was watching this cut uh, because, you know, the ultimate edition. Why wouldn't you watch that one? And somebody, yeah, somebody went through and like put their artistic vision in the game or in the movie, which also means pitch like audio pitching all of his lines to make him sound, I guess, more cybernetic. I don't know. It's wild. Anyway, I need to watch that again. I wonder if I could get away with streaming that because it only has a couple of clips from Lawnmower Man 1, which is probably the only thing that anyone cares about. Whoever made Lawnmower Man 2 and whoever owns the rights to it, they're probably like, they're probably dead or something. <laughs> They sold the rights to somebody who sold the rights to somebody who sold the rights to somebody who lost it in a poker game, who traded it for a boat, and then it's just like... <laughs> who knows, man. <laughs> I feel like I could probably get away with that. Ryan probably edited that cut. Then I have, I have some choice, or I have some choice questions for him. I would like to explore his creative intent. Because I wonder. Where is this going? This isn't where they told me to go, but these doors are opening. Maybe this is where they told me to go. Uh. Lloyd Kaufman probably owns it. He cool. <laughs> I hope so. Um, bathroom break. I'll be right back, everyone. Oh my gosh, I forgot to unpause again. Sorry, I just rambled through it. I'm gonna have, man, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to download this. I think and edit in the chunks that I missed. Anyway, uh, yeah, Ethan really needs to to start questioning his own decision making to the to the tune of just doing the opposite of whatever he thinks he should do. I think that would actually really turn a lot of things around. That would solve a lot of your problems, bud. Gosh, you mean well, but some people in this world, they just don't. Their path is just gonna be hard. <laughs> Culture is a story we apply to material reality dealt with by corpse. Superstructure reinforcing base. Base only validating superstructure that reinforces. Ooh, that's some some deep cyber cyberpunk lore right there. But yeah, the uh, I guess the the day that I await, um, and and maybe it'll be in my lifetime, maybe. I do await a day when, like, when the United States gets old enough and mellow enough that it can accept just being part of the world as opposed to leading the world. Maybe. Maybe that's not patriotic enough of me. Is it reminding you of Louisiana? Yeah, somebody mentioned it was similar to the Lucas section in 7, which... I'm realizing by that description, I don't quite remember. I think I'd have to see a clip or something. Wisecrack said Cyberpunk was about getting old, so I'll go with that. I think that's one of the themes, sure. Yeah. I think that's that's a big part of it. I think it's more like it's more like a referendum on on punk, I think. On on rock and roll. It's gonna get spooky. It's gonna it's gonna be pictures of my daughter. What the hell? Mia? I don't know. I, I just the structure of the narrative and the the characters and what they represent is what just so clever in Don't Cyberpunk. Take me out like the others, and then he gets going save Rose, right? I'm healing my daughter. Look. You, you, you got the soul wrong. 
Shut your fucking hole! Sorry about that. <laughs> Take a seat. Oh, I'm gonna get kicked down into that hole. Listen, Ethan, you're being played. What are you talking about? You think this is a game? I said shit! <laughs> Lady, super-sized bitch. Ugly ass psycho doll. And then we're on a freak. Don't you get it? It's a test. To see if you're strong enough to be a part of Miranda's family. I don't want to be a part of Miranda's family. Neither did I, but here we are. And I'm next in line, right? Kill me, move up the chain. Well, fuck that! I don't give a damn about your personal issues. This dude's monologue is so good. <laughs> so do I. Do you have any idea how powerful a kid is? Even Miranda's scared of her. This dude is slaughtering this performance. Oh my gosh. Last time, you freak! I swear to God! This game really does have a series of, like, Far Cry level... You and me. Villain cheesing the camera sequences. Together, we can go save Rose, and we can use her to grind Miranda into peace. And they're they're all My really good. Is not a weapon. Fuck you. Also, yeah, the effect on his voice is really nice. He's got like a warble. <laughs> Last chance. You don't want to find out what's in that hole. I'll take my chances. You're few. This voice actor does Nikolai in RE3. And Nikolai was a pretty fun villain, too. He was a little more like an 80s bad guy, you know? Oh, that is fucking sick. That's some Dead Alive vibes from this. That's great. Ah-ha! Oh, no! Eh. No, it's so scary. No, don't, don't chase me. No. A dead end. Eh. Oh. Damn. Oh, Wolfenstein vibes? Yeah, I could see that. A sort of roided out monstrosity with plate metal bolted to it. Heisenberg didn't give him a bad offer, really. Yeah. What was that Ethan is, again, Ethan is just like a one-dimensional dude. He doesn't have that, like, you know, that Doom Slayer intensity. He doesn't, he doesn't just plow through things in front of him. He just doesn't seem to think about things more than five feet off the ground. That seems to be our guy, Ethan. He's just mad. So he's like, no, I'm mad. Mm, I'm a little grumpy pants. A little sassy pants. Give me back my daughter. Just want my daughter back. <sighs> Ethan kind of really blows. <laughs> he makes for I mean he makes for a video game. Wait, is there something down here? Oh, okay. I feel like you ha your main character has to be almost like endearingly uh antagonistic. <laughs> to the story sometimes it which makes him makes them like a great motivator for weird i thought i saw a box down here which makes them a great motivator for like weird scenes and plot developments that are maybe more sensational than than logical he would best kratos in a battle to the death yeah I, the stakes of ethan's death have never been established I don't think. Does anyone remember? Is there ever any dialogue of like, if they do blank, you'll die? Because all the all we've seen is just an escalation of the absolute disfiguration of his his body, and yet he's. Do they have little VR helmets on, and yet he's here. playing Sword Art Online. They've been trained to be lethal VR killers. Uh. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm playing on Hardcore Kato. I'm kind of excited to uh, to check out this game on another difficulty because it feels like this... In my hubris, it feels like once you hit a certain level of proficiency, you just cruise. Um, but you know how to block the hits. And then once the gotcha... The gotcha sections don't don't get you anymore. This place is messed up. I've got to get upstairs. Got a job offer from Humana the other day. It's eighteen buckazoids an hour. Congratulations. That's not a not a bad rate. That's uh that's what four hours per video game. Not bad. <laughs> huh. Uh, Shane, thank you for the cheer. Yeah, it, it is in the title, but come on. It's 2021. You think people read? Seeking something in particular. Oh, wait, no. Combinable. Aha! I've gotten some new stock. Hello. Part for handgun. Ooh. Ooh. Oh dear. Oh wow, there's multiple new guns. Oh, machine pistol, so this is the new 9mm. Oh wow. Yeah, that power level is ridiculous. Clippy, hey! Thank you for the five subs! You know, you know what else is in that title? Hmm. You must be referring to my limited time only 30% off code for G Fuel. The fine product that is sponsoring this stream and me as a human being. That's 50? Oh, I've got... Congratulations. With yeah. this, you'll not worry about missing anything. Although I probably should have bought this. Or I guess I can... Maybe the machine pistol. Because it's a 9 mil. It's... So let's see here. Yeah, it's... More power at level one. The shotgun is the one that's gonna hurt, so that's 960. Oh, that's 1160. Okay, it's it's obviously an upgrade. Overflow Gamer, thanks for the sub. Awkward question: How do I turn off auto renew subs? Um, mm, where is that? Uh, that's a good question. I think um, there is a page you can go to. I think if you just Google it. Um, it should it should dump you to page, but yeah, there's some there's some page in your channel and like your account settings, and yeah, you can just go go down and scroll to not renew. Okay, so I, I think I want this. And there's plenty of uh, there's plenty of ammo capacity upgrades too. Looking forward to testing it out. Please. Come again. Cool. I, f I feel like they're dumping guns that have a pretty long upgrade path on me at this point in the game, which is... Um, I feel like that's a little odd. Because, uh... It feel people have been Im kind of implying that there isn't that much game this left. This is all an investment. Good day, then. Well, we'll see. It, it was nice to burn all my cash. I felt weird to have it stack up like that. These buildings are surprisingly ADA compliant. We gotta set a good image. Project the version of the world you want into the world and make it real. You can sell the old weaker ones if you want. Fat stacks. Uh, I can, but I want to use the ammo that's in them before I sell them. So trying to trying to squeeze some value out of it. There's no way to unload a gun, and I'm pretty sure if you sell it, I don't think you get the bullets back. So. To what degree I can, I try to, oh, try to go around and uh, empty guns before I, I sell them off. It's possible to do a base pistol run only, and if so, how long until someone does it? I think so. I think that's pretty realistic. If you dump all of your crafting into, like, you get you can make pistol bullets, and then you can also buy pistol bullets, and then you also find them in the environment, so I, then you could sell all ammo, but the only, the only gate there is that, um... Wait, what am I? <laughs> Sorry, the only gate there is that the shop will only sell you so many bullets, but apart from that... 
Ah, okay, so I... Shucks, I don't remember where that last one was. But yeah, I would have to backtrack to it. I was hoping I, you could interchange them, but... Clearly not. Somebody's already done knife only. Oh, well, there you go. Are the, um... Are the labyrinths always right next to a merchant and, like, a save point? Maybe that'll help me zero in on where, uh... Where the last one was. How's this game compared to RE7? It's, uh... It's like a, it's, it, it's a bit more action than RE7, but they also expanded a lot of the, like, narrative sequences too. So, and my memory of RE7 is a little fuzzy at this point, but it does feel like there's more, there's a bit more of a, like, paced chapter structure that they communicate to you early. It's kind of like, okay, this game is about beating these four bosses and then beating the, the last boss, which, hold on a second. Okay. Sorry. Started getting spammed. It's good stuff. That's the future, you guys. So, I apologize, but I have to enable I have to enable followers mode for a bit. Um and I might have to keep bumping up the time. So, my apologies to you, if that is an inconvenience, but... Haven't seen the end of the game yet. That's true, that's true. So I really, at this point, I can't, you know, pass final judgment on that, but... It does feel like it maybe took a more condensed look at the things that worked in 7. And tried to, like, make it, give, more, give it more form. That's kind of what it feels like to me. Ooh, this is a neat environment. It does feel fairly linear, but I I think it's a a, fair, a pretty good. I'm stumbling over my words. I think it's a great way to do linearity. Um, it has the right amount, I think, too, of giving you giving you moments and beats where you can go around if you want to. That was perfect. Okay. Alright, well, I can backtrack now. And, uh, sell my old pistol. Sell the crystal I just got. Maybe I can buy an upgrade or two for this... This pistol. Well then, feel free to peruse. Cyber zombies is not a word I was expecting to write here. And yet, here we are. That's the power of Resident Evil. <laughs> to think I would buy such things. Dang. <laughs> Clearly can't afford it. Yeah, something. I'm skilled at all sorts of weapons modifications and will do them for a small fee. Chat was not joking about uh, some of these upgrades being pricey. Whatever. I'm excited for it. I look forward to seeing the fruits of your exploration. Got to sell your pistol. I didn't do that. Thank you, whiskey. Sorry, I'm a little scatterbrained. If it's just looking, window shop away. I'm gonna miss you. Do take care selecting your weapons. Okay. Oh, just a 210? Yeah, that's not much. Sometimes I wonder. Thank you for your patronage. That's like that's like a five percent damage increase. Is that ever gonna actually save a bullet, or will the like will the margins on damage always land in between that upgrade? Man, on on a long enough time scale, it's like it may have just been more efficient to spend all that money on bullets. <laughs> the bullets that you save for upgrading is not worth just having more bullets, or not having more bullets. Whatever. 
I had a bit of a chuckle to myself earlier when, when you said you don't need the treasure because you had so much money. I knew these upgrades and knew the weapons were coming, yeah. See? And that's the fun of allowing a streamer to run around and bonk his head into things and be an idiot. <laughs> so you get to sit back and laugh. I was being harsh for effect, by the way. I wasn't trying to be. I wasn't trying to be sassy. That's a cool reload. Look at that little guy. Dink. I feel like with the values on those that. Those, those are upgrades that are intended to span one playthrough. What I'm excited to see, this is something that Six did sort of early, is communicate to you the ultra long-term uh, progression system. I don't know if this game is going to have one, but the like skill system and the upgrade system and stuff. It was like, yeah, we we kind of intend, or there is an option here if you want to play this game like 18 times. There are numbers that will go up and you can choose... To, to pour points into stuff, you know, that's all there for you, bud. You got your back. Video game time. funny there was uh, I think it was during the big fish man I saw someone in chat kind of likening that encounter to Dark Souls and I you know and not in the way that everything uh, compared to Dark Souls is I really I think it was actually pretty apt like the music kind of fit the boss design kind of fit the nature of like running around in circles trying to tell it like pick pick a moment of recovery or weakness to do damage like it, it did actually feel like first-person souls um, Ugh. But this environment is kind of reminding me of, like, uh, what is it? In Demon Souls, the, like, what is it? The th third world? The, like, mines? When you're kind of underneath and you hear all the clinkety clankities of the machines around you and it's very, like, orange and rock and stuff. Kind of reminding me of that. The again, the environments in this game are just... Did they put drill hands on the... This dude looks like he fell out of Quake. This is awesome. Do this too? Got cyber drill zombies? Are you... Oh, man. So this, this is, I'm going into the lab now, I guess, is what was what we're up to. The game is about to take a weird thematic twist. And this will be the part of the game that I don't remember in like three months. Am I about to fight c cyber, cyber Nazi zombies? Holy cow, it's got a glowing spot. Oh, I love it. I love it. Wow. I did a shitload of damage. <laughs> Howdy. Oh, my God. surprise me anymore. Ooh. <laughs> and now I get to pick up its crystallized cyber heart. Is this the best video game ever made? These are questions we now have to ask ourselves. Also, yeah, what does that even mean? Can't surprise me. I guess he did not react with much, uh, with much outrage or shock at the idea that there was a cyber zombie trying to hit him with a drill arm. So I guess he took that in stride, yeah. That's something worth celebrating. 
We'll mark that in the W column for Ethan. Lord knows he needs it. Oh, yeah. It's just, it's just gonna do it all automatically. Okay, thanks. Thanks for that. I thought, I thought they were gonna throw a zombie in here, but... I also like how I use it in this room, too. Classic Resident Evil would have me run across an infested underground zombie manufacturing lab to do this, but whatever. All right, I'll just carry it across the room. <laughs> Seems useful. I mean, maybe maybe this is just like the introductory, or it doesn't go to this door. Actually, there's a million. There's a million reasons I'm jumping the ball on this, but remember those words. Okay. Okay, so they're going to have me run back to this thing. Ethan 100% was a frat boy pledge dude who made it all four years, but just like barely got his degree and found a one bedroom off campus ASAP. <laughs> he works in accounting now, and he's like, nobody can tell if he's good or bad at it, but nobody's going to fire him either, so. That's just how it is. He's just here. What was what is this in the music? That that's really goofy. It almost sounds like like weird Thremen stuff that they would do in like what like fifties or sixties sci fi. I think he's actually a systems engineer, God bless him. He's just a podcast listening guy. I don't want to waste ammo on this, but it looks like I need to shoot it. Uh, how is that machine even working? Yeah, I don't know. I was wondering. I was wondering about that too. Oh shoot! Does that that was supposed to kill me? All of a sudden, there's three million dudes. Uh... Okay. It seems like no matter what, a shot that breaks their helmet won't do damage to them. So, like, if they're at one HP and you shoot their head, you'll still have to shoot them again. I wonder if... I, like, do body shots? Body shots have got to be more effective in that circumstance. There we go. You know what this reminds me of? The movie Virus with Jamie Lee Curtis. I don't think I've seen that one. What? Hey! Hey! Ugh. They're just smart enough to not not get squished. I swear I've headshot them with a sniper in the goggles and got a one-shot, but maybe I'm misremembering. Well, I think the sniper pierces, specifically. I think I've... Because I definitely will, like, shoot through an enemy and then see the bullet hit the surface behind it. Oh, man. Cheap. So it may be that, like, it goes through the helmet and hits them. Oh, there we go. He got squished. Whoops. Oh, my God. Stumbling around. That's weird. Won't come into the arm thing. I was hoping that would happen, but... 
Couldn't end up working out that way. I've made it through the chompers. Man, look at that lighting. Red and blue. That's such a great hallway. What an ominous hallway. This hallway has a very intense aura. I wasn't the other side of this. Was I supposed to... No, there's no way I could have unlocked it from that side. That's weird. RTX on? Unfortunately, no. The game has some pretty weird performance problems with ray tracing. And it doesn't seem related to... It doesn't seem related to load or anything either. Like my, uh... My, my video card is not maxed out and still the, uh... Frame rate goes real wacky sometimes, so... It's off. It's just off. I'm hoping by the time a second playthrough rolls around that there will be a patch or maybe some community knowledge or a tweak or something will, will land and make it a little more a little more workable. Thought that was just my 2060 not able to handle it. No, I mean I've had issues. Um, people in chat have had issues. It's it's apparently pretty widely known that the ray tracing in the PC version of this game is just kind of scuffed right now. Uh, I don't know if there's been any official acknowledgement or anything like that. But that is the that is the state of things. It's a shame too, because the lighting and environments in this game are are stellar. But also, even when ray tracing's on in the PC version, it doesn't seem like it does all that much. Which you could you know you could say lol, that's all ray tracing all the time anyway. But my computer can't do ray tracing anyway. Drop a dab on it. Ooh. Yeah, I know. Even talking about that is is a privilege unto itself. So, I am not. I'm not. Uh, not by any stretch upset about it. I'm hoping that it'll be neat if ray tracing support trickles in on on, like recently released games. It'd be neat to neat to see that tech get sort of retrofitted into stuff. But I think more than likely it's just going to be something that happens a little more often going forward, and something that's. Uh, once it gets a little more standardized, will probably appear in more uh, workable formats. Hope the Series X patch for Cyberpunk comes out. I'm waiting to beat the game for when it comes out. Yeah, I think that should happen later this year, I think, is what they said. So that's neat. I I personally hope that does, that does a lot for... Uh, or I, I hope that allows people to see the game in a different light. Maybe even quite literally, since the lighting will probably be better. But if if not, if people still are mad, then they, they'll be mad. Let's see here. A soul dot. God, that is, that is just straight up a Wolfenstein enemy. Fully grown male corpse used. Removed heart and implanted cadeau. Muscle stimulation via electric shock was successful. Brain dead, so no high cognitive ability. Only moves by destructive instinct. Then it stops. Version 1.01. .01. Attached headgear to the cranium. Electrodes confirm stable brain waves. Experiment 1. Like and fight. Was dismantled and eaten within three minutes. Issues with destructive and murderous capabilities. 1.1. Replace the lower part of the arm with a drill. Not enough output for effective movement. Need live bodies, perhaps. 1.15. Implant a Cadeau reactor into the chest. Cadeau reactor? They've already made reactors out of them. Okay. Output greatly increased. Experiment 2. Lichen fight. Destroyed three lichens in one minute. Good results, but issues with reactor durability. May stop functioning if the reactor is destroyed. Hint, hint. 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 Haha. Where does this go? Okay. Eee! I should have. If there ever was a. Like. All of these things are going to wake up, hallway. This is it.
Whoa. Oh, cool. I guess I shot its face, and now it's all... Oh, now it's all cyborged out? That's awesome. Man. This character model is cool as shit. Wow. That's great. That's so great. Is this Typing of the Dead? Yeah, it's like a boss stomping after you. Rah! Swings the drill hand at you. Oosh. You lose a little health pack. Man, that's wild. Oh, I love it. I love it. Gabe McClafferty. Thanks for gifting a sub. It's like a killing floor enemy. Yeah. I mean, for me, I, I look at that and I see like Quake 2 or Quake 4 or something. But yeah, you could. I mean, every everything is everything is correct. You're all correct. Yeah, Killing Floor did a ton of like drill hands and cybernetic mutant mo men. Ugh. Killing Floor rules. What a beautiful game! It's, I could use this. Wait, wait. I I could use this. So this has to go back to the generator. Yeah, okay. This is a... I mean, yeah, this feels about right for this exact part in a Resident Evil game. Running around in a weird underground research laboratory. Creating items and shoving them into places. Oh, I guess... No. Oh. What? Oh wait, no, yeah, this doesn't go anywhere. Gosh. That sound that sound effect is so wacky. Oh, uh and and news nobody cares about and I just randomly thought about. It. I want I'm going to start playing the Ace Combat series. Because I have it on good authority that it's anime as shit, so I got I got the first game ready to go. I've plugged in my PS3 again. I don't know when I'm gonna do that, but I'm gonna get through that pretty soon. I don't know, like, I'll find I'll find out. I'll find I'll find out. Uh, if uh, I wonder if I don't have no idea. I don't I don't know if Air Combat even has a story, but oh wait, no, that's not that's not telling me there's a lockpick there. It's telling me that I need a lockpick there. Never mind. Can you use a flight stick thing? Hell no, dude. It's a PS1 game. Are you kidding me? Does that even exist? Where? Alright, at this point I fully don't remember where that generator thing was, but... Like any good Resident Evil game, if I run around long enough, I'm sure I'll find it. This feels... this feels closer. Is the door not open? No. What? Okay, so I need power back on to do that. I guess I shouldn't be here yet. Wait, where is this? Okay. Oh, uh, I think it's here? Yeah, maybe. Let's try it. I remember there being a ladder next to it. Or stairs. <laughs> One or the other. There were a couple of PS1 joysticks? No way! That's that's crazy. Well, cool. Ha! <laughs> uh, I mean, hmm. I'm, I'm gonna play it on a PS3. So that introduces another layer of complexity. Okay, that's not remotely where I, where I thought it was. Shucks, it's not here. Uh, that's the stomper room, clomper room. This feels right, does it? Yeah, here we go. Okay, phew. It's gonna it's gonna power on all the all the drill hands. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
I like how the the music has that almost like industrial kick to it. I thought we could turn forces against that bitch Miranda. She took me. Took us to be her children. She locked us away in the village. Decades of being forced to serve her. Can you even understand that humiliation? That sounds rough, bro. That sounds rough, my man. I'm sorry. Hey, I'm real sorry you had to go through that. I'm not like my siblings. I want nothing more than to be free of that bitch. So I need power. I need enough power to destroy her. are the fruits of my power. The strong will destroy the weak. That's the way of the world. I gotta admit, I did not you think that absolutely nothing would happen. But I guess... What a freak. I guess absolutely nothing happened when I did that. Alright. Oi. Oi. Alright. Oh shit, okay. I didn't know they could just grab you. Am I dead? Alright. No, I'm not, I'm not. Okay, I'm not dead. Nope, not yet. Interesting. So now, okay, so now the power's ah, now the power's on. Wait, Sh shoot! Ah, uh, you don't go this way. Do those recharge? I don't know, they look like they would recharge. Alright, where the heck am I going? Stairs. That's probably where I need to go. What if I peek in here for a second? No, nothing going on? Alright. Actually, how am I doing on health? Oh, okay. You can take a real beating now? Yeah, I got I got one health upgrade. Oh jeez. And the uh the the block one is certainly coming in handy. Oh boy. Open, open up, nope. Shit. Woo. Okay. They gonna let me they gonna let me do it? Don't forget you picked up a mine. I don't think I need to I may not need to use it. I don't know. I don't know why that guy just kind of gave up, but I'm glad he did. Jim above the door here. Ooh, okay. Mosey, try not to try not to throw things out that I just straight up missed or something like that, but I'll take the gem here. Wait, what? I don't see a gem. Yeah. If I if I miss stuff, unless it's like a catastrophic thing. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay to let me miss stuff. But I appreciate the heads up. Man, you gotta go a fair stretch. They don't give you a whole lot of ammo. Uh, through these sequences. But I guess... I guess the idea is they give you the... They usually give you the ability to... To slip the drill boys. Which is kind of interesting. I don't know. This, this is a neat sequence too, like being being sort of harassed by this specific kind of enemy. Shit, we gotta go! 
And if you want to do Ring Around the Rosie, you can kind of deal. Pretty classic. Classic vibes. The door mechanic is a little a little forced, but it's better than nothing. Shit. I guess I have to... Gotta crouch. Ooh, ooh. All right. Oh, shit! Cool. That one actually got me. I also forgot, I've been picking up... I can probably craft ammo, but... Right, whatever, sequence is done now. That was Papa Drill. Oh, what the hell? What the hell? There's a drill hand zombie factory, guys. This is where they come from. This is where they make them. Yeah, that's a lot. That's a lot. So wait, is like... I guess, uh, Miranda's gonna try to conquer the world? Seems like... Seems like that's why you do this. Make all these drill zombies. You can shoot them off? Yeah? Here, let me... Let me craft a bullet. Oh. Got a long way to go. Yeah, trolled, trolled. Or I missed, I don't know. Sniper rifle maybe, yeah, use other guns. Shoot at it more. Okay, maybe I can't even interact with this. Hey, what's up Six Bath Skamui? Missed you too, how you doing? That's been a while. Ah! You know how to live. How's it going? Welcome. The strong vibes are peaking now. Yeah, right? It's kind of it's kind of converging on that. Little and often fills the purse, as they say. Wait, what? Hmm. Greatly reduces recoil. I feel like that that gun is gonna approach the like top loading clack gun from four. Kind of like that automatic uh, gun with the giant stock. How have you been? Uh, BFB CFC. I've been doing really good. Um, I I gotta admit my head my head has been a bit of a bit of wash lately. Trying to sort of um, sort out. It's this. This is a hundred percent first world problem kind of thing. Yeah, the Red Nine. Yeah, that was such a great gun. Um, but I'm in a position where like my hobbies and my work have melded so thoroughly that it almost is sort of a. It can be a bit of a mind squeeze to figure out what I want to do with my time, or if I want to take on bigger projects, or what that looks like. Um, that sort of thing. So, uh, I either need to come up with like a more formal idea and separation of what those things are or figure out what the like guiding philosophy of how I spend time is going to be. Um, that's, Pay me no, mind. no one asked for something that deep. So I apologize if that's, if that's in the deep end of, ah, thank of that question. That's just sort of what, it, what my brain's been ticking ah. on these days. One might even say a mind. Freak. See what I did there? Freak the mind. Exactly. Rule of books. Please join me. I have the same problem. I've had good results with forcing myself to do non-game or animation-related stuff. Makes me appreciate coming back and doing them for work and fun. So yeah, Saren, it's. So then I'm still. I my like my mind is still. There's two wolves in me, right? And they're battling. Um, one is that. 
the easiest thing to do is to tell yourself to do less, right? Just go and do nothing. But what if you also like, like, what if you really like doing the thing? Not a bad dish. When you have to take like a, 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 a break from your hobby because you like it too much? I don't know. To hunger. Ugh, used to be alive. Gosh, the smick, smick smackies. Ugh, gross. All right, I should save up for the uh, the better shoddy. All right, maybe I can buy. There's probably no way, but yeah, 65. Meh. I can hardly wait for the next ingredients. Yeah, that's the rub. Yeah, exactly right. Um, so it's either like I just give myself over to it, and I'd be like, you know what, screw it, um, and just just throw myself into it, stream all day every day, or or spend time developing projects and stuff, but. The last thing I would want, I guess, is to is to get to the point where it's um, too much, or that I'm not making enough time for other things. I don't know. Uh, it's again, the it's the best possible problem to have. All right, I'm gonna snipe it. Yay! Quit taking around. Good job, Ethan. You should, Ethan should say the name. Yeah, not trolled actually. Uh, I take it back. I was I was a hundred percent not trolled. In fact, it was the best the best information of all because it led to an achievement, even though it was a Steam achievement. The lamest of all the achievements. Actually I guess like maybe a Google Play or an Apple Arcade achievement. No, I think Steam is actually still lamer than those. Miranda thinks we're nothing but children. Feels good though. No. I'll say that. It feels She's great. Long lost all her humanity. I must destroy her. I don't give a shit about your family drama. Deep in the zombie mines. Steam achievements are pretty lame. I guess because Xbox achievements have a value. That helps, yeah. The, uh, the animation is extremely bare bones. It's just a little, like... That's it. I don't get an explosion. There's no fireworks going off. Where's my parade? I just did something great. And it should be celebrated, like the hero I am. That is that is what I demand of my achievement audio and visual assets. Who is credited with coming up with Xbox achievements? I mean, I don't know that any one person has ever been pushed to be like, it was this guy or girl. But I think it's, you know, it's just the team. I kinda I kinda prefer to think about things that way. Is I don't I don't I don't necessarily know that it's ever just one person who's who shoulders all the creativity. That's the team lift. So team Xbox, hell yeah. Do you know achievements have cash value? A thousand points equals around five dollar gift card. Really? I know. I know that there's like the uh, there there is a point thing, the challenge rewards or whatever. That's not the same as achievement points though, is it? Or maybe, maybe it is. Maybe you are talking about that. <laughs> Was John T. Gamerscore of the Gamerscore family? That's fine. Yeah, I guess actually well John T Gamer Score is is just one pseudonym. It's also John Master Chief. Same person, I think. Got several name changes at the behest of Xbox. Real company real real company team player that guy
neat. I miss Dami Mommy. I I do too, but I gotta admit the other characters have also just been delightful. Not as horny, of course. Never as horny, but delightful. Hmm. Well, that seems suspicious. <sighs> Please don't let me down. All right. Picking up all my crystals so I can cure my diseases. Just wait for Mommy Miranda's time. Yeah, I'm excited to see more of Miranda. I really haven't seen anything yet. I think there's like one close up at the beginning of the game and that's about it. When she's like really trying to fuck with you. Oh, the lighting in here is all messed up. Oh, maybe there's a reason. Whoa. There's just like a ton of shit just undulating up there. Random pieces of stuff. God, I have so many crafting things. I just, yeah, I haven't really been crafting ammo. I've just been sliding through the game. That's actually pretty impressive lighting. Strobe it like that. It's a massive safety hazard. Oh, she'll hear about this one. Yeah, that I think that'll be the end of our friends at Umbrella. Once OSHA gets on their case. That's a headache they won't want to deal with, I'll tell you that. Ah, they have jetpacks now. The one. Oh shit. Damn, did I miss three times? Fuck. He's got an eye laser. What? Explode. <laughs> There's so many questions right now. A lot of very important, confusing questions. I'm not really using the grenade launcher much. So I guess that's something to keep in mind. I haven't really- I haven't even used flashbang rounds. I don't know. I guess those are good for stunning and running past or something? Or maybe there's some scenario kind of like Resident Evil 4 where a flashbang is a, is a one-shot to a particular kind of enemy. That'd be nice. Man, even the fans have gone crazy. Um... What? Is I supposed to hit a switch or something? I guess we'll see. I've gotta stop it somehow. Yeah. Oh. Okay. I see. I see. Oop. Oop.
Now let's see if the turbine stopped exactly where the gap is. Hey, look at that. Just walk on it? Cool. I like how all the blades are like extra blady. Where the hell am I? What the fuck? Oh, okay, it's like the biggest drill in the world. All right. What are they drilling for? What are they looking for down there? I'm trying to crack, like, crack a tectonic plate so they can talk to Cthulhu or something? Man, we've already we already have like laser <laughs> laser cyber zombies. Why not? Why not drag a little Eldritch Terror into this too? Jeez. Oh, jeez. All right, I'll be. I need to use the restroom. I'll be back in a second. What up? You know what I just realized? The reason I was uh, missing the unpause last couple times is because I was trying to make it so that I didn't capture my bumper twice in a row. And in the midst of doing that, I just forgot to <laughs> forgot to turn it back on. So as usual, any amount of complication has just derailed the entire process. Thank you for welcoming me back. It's good to be back. <clears throat> oh, good. Hearing about the jet. Attached a jet pack and head stabilizers to a soul dot. Greatly improves mobility. They created Thruster Man. Experiments prove limited flight capabilities. No long distance flight, but now possible to navigate rugged terrain. The soul dot Ponzer. Attached aluminum alloy shielding to a soul dot to protect chest reactor and exposed flesh. Experimentation proves he's invincible against regular firearms. Armor doesn't hold up to, against strong blasts for the development needed. Okay, maybe that's maybe that's a use for the uh, flashbang. Maybe I got to switch to uh, to flashbang to blow off an armor shield or something. Hmm. Fun fact, in my skate phase, I had the board shoot up and smash two of my teeth and my alveolar bone into my skull. So rad. That is extremely rad. I feel like, man, I have a lot of respect for things like skateboarding, where sort of the price you pay to learn how to do it is you just have to take some gnarly ass spills. You gotta be okay with that. And like, oh, okay. To do, like, it's one thing to do it, it's another thing to do it again. It's an, even a third thing to do it again after you've been, like, seriously hurt. Ugh, oh, that's weird. Great, now my mouse cursor's... St what the fuck? Okay, thank god, okay. But to, like, to try to execute something with, with full faith and dedication after you've injured yourself doing that exact thing... Your body tends to like seize up and clam up and you really have to dig into your brain and and find that calm and that confidence to not to not let the physical pain influence how you perform. It's crazy. I want to do one kickflip in my life. That's my only goal as a skater. That's a pretty significant one. I think like just being able to ollie is a <laughs> Oh. Okay. I skateboard every day and I'm broken a multitude of bones in my body, but I keep coming back because I love it so much. Shit. I th that was close. It's it's just like the ultimate the ultimate uh, expression of passion. You can't stay away. Or it's it's so much a part of you and it gives you so much that it's worth it's worth the injury. Yeah, it's cool stuff. Dead Space 2 environment traps? Yeah. So when that when I saw the giant fan, it kind of reminded me of, of a lot of the machinery in Dead Space. The way that they would put like strobing lights and have like broken machinery or or obviously malfunctioning machinery would have this like spastic stroby nature about it. I was feeling that, and then yeah. This this is I mean, actually I think now that I think about it, Resident Evil Revelations had had some environments like this, this sort of like 
creepy deep industrial stuff. The environmental design is really cool. You hear these like massive bangs going on around. They just imply like depth and chaos. <sighs> And to drop more references, it, it's that that sort of industrial sound, which uh, to me can read a little Silent Hill sometimes too. When you're in like rust dimension, Silent Hill like kind of has three phases. There's like normal, there's like foggy Silent Hill, there's like rust industrial Silent Hill, and then there's like guts dimension. So this is this kind of almost. Like, if there were more, like, rusty grates hovering over black infinite voids, this would almost feel Silent Hill-esque. <laughs> Although it does have the drill monsters from Wolfenstein, so this is just... As usual, Resident Evil is, is just a giant pastiche of, uh, of horror. Horror tropes sort of jumbled up in a new way. It's all over. For your kid. And for the whole village. The whole Resident Evil worry. village? I'll stop it. I'll use Rose to kill Miranda. <laughs> Poor Papa. You're the only one who doesn't see your kid's power. Take Rose? <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Yet again, Ethan reacts to the most surface level thing. You say my daughter? No, I'll, I'll beat you up. <laughs> He's just over there like, good Jesus Christ. Do you have any un Can you comprehend the dynamics I'm trying to explain to you, man? He's trying so hard. His, his daughter was kidnapped eight hours ago? Yeah, and he he's not taking it very well. So I got a ball mold and a key mold. Interesting. <clears throat> he's got fungal infection in the brain, yeah. Okay, yep, I saw another hand there. <clears throat> Actually, okay, let's, let's, we can, we can further solve this mystery. Oh, wait, whoa. So the shadow gives it away. Hold on a minute. Okay. Put the, put the gun down. So, okay, so I'm trying to watch his right hand. Wow. Yeah, he's already holding it. He's already holding it. <laughs> as soon as as soon as he swaps, it's in his hand. He's a magician. King Mongoose, thanks for the sub. It's like his third eye is opening. It's like Doctor Strange over here with 18 arms. He just absorbs the gun into his stomach, yeah. I love it, I love it. They don't let you see it, but... You can find ways to see it. That's odd. It says that there's an item. Oh, because there's like another. Maybe there's more stuff up here. Ah, okay. Yeah, that must be it. His mold allows him to just absorb the guns. Yeah. There's more. What? What else would you have going on right now, Ethan? Huh? You mad you're not at home? I'm watching Star Wars again? Actually, I don't know what Ethan does at home. He, uh, I guess he carries his baby around. He's a, he seems like he's a pretty big fan of that. He's late for work, yeah. Ethan's, Ethan's the kind of guy who loves going to work. Actually, if it gets him away from Mia, he probably seems like he would need his space there. You can just watch his paint dry, yeah. Just in a, in a chair, both hands on his knees, staring directly at the wall. A fly comes and lands on his eye and then buzzes away and he doesn't react. Naturally. As always, a trustworthy, fair exchange. Hmm. Hmm. 
could buy some bullets by upgrading capacity. I'm skilled at all sorts of weapons modification. Well, a good deal, if I say so myself. I don't. I'm. I'm getting the feeling, like I'm not going to be allowed to, to backtrack much. So I feel like, given that it was like the last level for the shop to come up to, it feels like I should probably just buy more immediate upgrades. Oh, um, this I think we I am out of revolver ammo. Okay, I feel like that's that's probably a good purchase right there. The re revolver, revolver Sandra. Where are you? Revolver Shonda. <laughs> All right. Securing goods is more important than anything. Anything, my friend. I didn't get any. Okay. Have a wonderful adventure. That stupid animation. Okay. Well, I picked up seven magnum rounds. That's that's a tidy a tidy side benefit. Love to see it. You seem to have a generous amount of inventory space in this game compared to other RE games. I think there may be a couple of a couple of reasons for that. I, I'm playing on hardcore, which I can only presume means that I have fewer items. So just in general I have don't have as many stacks of ammo or healing items. Um, and then I'm also being pretty diligent about selling guns that I, uh, I'm not going to use back to the, back to the item man. I don't know why I said it like that. Item man. Probably shouldn't have used all my chem fluid. But if they need me to use chem fluid, they'll just give me more. It's fine. Actually, I should go save. I'm just getting a. I'm getting a. I'm gonna have to shoot something big to death vibe. Maybe they're gonna throw like three or four jetpack zombies at me or something. Actually, I'm probably gonna have to backtrack to make the key in the in the mold, aren't I? Oh yeah, because I can use the elevator. All right, that's why. Ethan turns into a fungal 1,000 armed Buddha with a gun in each hand. Mad OP. Yep, just have to buy the right upgrade. Gotta save up the, the coin. Uh, I'm over here wondering, maybe Resident Evil's gone a little too far. Each, each arm has its own operating button. Oh, I have to make the ball. That's right. This one, this one won't go. This one won't go. All right, all right, all right. Hmm. Oh, it is a floor up. Okay. Should I backtrack to the crumbling wall? It seems to be a door here. I just never went through. I'll check that out. Yep. It's dark. <laughs> Thanks, Ethan. Thanks for the shout out, buddy. I know you got my back. Door. Oh, wow. Okay. I just never went here, I guess. That seems weird. Like, just planks back. Uh, what a good fall. For, for that kind of enemy, that's so beautiful. <laughs> oh, man. It's like falling, falling back like a tree. Shutting down. 
And then it explodes. I guess that's the, uh... The Bado reactor or whatever. Shutting down. Cool guy. Can't wait to make some more cash. Can someone explain the plot of this game to me like you're trying to get me to join a religion because I got so lost? Um. A. Someone in. Like a cult leader in the woods has laid claim to my child to unlock some kind of power through some sort of ritual. And I gotta save my baby. Yeah. Artistic zombie is nailed. It saved mold baby. But they're still being a little uh a little cagey about the uh the nature of my baby. Oh, raw power. Thank you for the raid. Hello. And uh King Mongoose, thanks for the sub. Oh yeah, power now. more robo zombies in there cool very cool wait was it chris who came for her crit yeah chris chris gunned down mia my wife and then stole my baby and then in, in the process of us getting transported somewhere the transport was ambushed by presumably the followers of this cult they stole my baby left me left me there to die but ethan ethan's ethan's a survivor Caught the backhand on that one. Yeah, Ethan's too moldy. Damn it. For real? Ugh. But is Mia dead? That seems to be the case, but I doubt it. They want you to think that. God damn it. This, this game's damage tracking is, is silly sometimes. Fuck. There. <sighs> you did see Mia die at least? Yeah, this game did offer that. Real crowd-pleasing moment. I don't know. Mia, Mia never, never endeared herself to me. I feel like it, it felt intentional. I felt like you were not supposed to, you were supposed to be pretty uncomfortable all around Mia most of the time. Medical log, revitalization surgery. This is I love the way he, he fries his lines sometimes. Surgery. The is Oscar the stable boy, 20 years old. Stable boy. He fell down the well while drunk. Body is in good condition. Chest incision complete. Now to remove the heart and vital organs and implant the control device. Excellent. Cadeau has begun adhering to the nervous system. It's progressing even faster than before. It seems upping the ratio of meta-albumin in the artificial blood was the right choice. Good call. To pass a current through the brain stem using 6,000... Oh my god, he's straight up making Frankenstein monsters. It has to work. You know, I... It's funny. D discussed it previously. Came to the conclusion that Nemesis and Mr. X were the Resident Evil versions of Frankenstein. Wonderful! This is straight up, like... Creation live! Last. I'll get that bitch yet. <laughs> 
straight up bringing zombies back to life by shocking them and putting like metal plates and stuff in them. That's pretty great. Ooh. What have we here? Increased firepower. Yes, please. Awesome. Well, that was a tidy little pickup. Glad I, glad I came back for that. And with the big iron on these, I imagine Ethan, like, wearing big tassely chaps, strutting into town, coming into Raccoon City. Run, Ethan, run. He falls off his horse. He knocks his shoulder out of socket. He lays on the ground crying. And eventually the mold takes over and pops it back in and gets up, vomits. Takes one step and falls again. <laughs> oh, Ethan. How am I supposed to get over... I don't understand how this map is laid out here. That's why I keep pulling it up. It's confusing as heck. I don't... I've been here before, clearly, but I don't know how I got there. Wait, Heisenberg's... Cor hmm. Doesn't seem connected to anything. Like, I don't... Maybe that? I'll just go there. I don't know what that is, though. <laughs> Horse tramples on his head and it pops off. Yeah. Makes a comical pop sound. He, like, has to, like, roll his head back to the body. Try to squish it on. What an idiot. Oh, okay. This is... You do just go up here. Okay, well, fine. This is where I want to go. This is where I want to go, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Pick up the ammo. There we go. If you, if you fellas could clump up, that would just do me a world of good. Gotta stop attacking at some point. Yeesh. Did the other ones at least die? It seems like like AoE explosions will get enemies to like 1 HP or very low, but it seems like it doesn't want to just... It seems like ex explosions and grenades are very weird about killing multiple enemies at once or something. It's hard to... It's hard to tell exactly what's going on there. What? Oh. Okay. Interesting. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, neat. I keep looking at that shine on the floor and thinking that it's an item. Okay. Well, I don't think I have to go back there. Yeah. Oh, wait, wait. Maybe I do. Dang it. Uh, item. Uh, uh, okay. I want to get back here. And yeah, I think... I guess I should be able to do that this way. Yeah, it's right there. Alright. So yeah, let me double back to the foundry here. How do you like this Resident Evil game? I'm I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm having a great time. Uh, it f it feels like a Resident Evil game. It feels like a new Resident Evil, you know. And and that doesn't necessarily mean that it's just nonstop great. There's there's been some rough patches, but again, that feels like Resident Evil to me. So I'm just having a delightful time. Uh, it's not over yet. I don't know how close I am to the the, the end. People made it sound like there wasn't t just tons left. Uh, yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. Wait a minute. 
What? Well, here we go. People made it sound like it's super short. People seem to say that about any game that is not at least 25 hours long. Where the... Oh, okay, gosh, gosh. I don't know why that took so long. Ki does... Does this work? It does, great, okay. Great. Just great. Hey! Cool. Cool! Big money wrestlers. I've seen that. Or at least, I was in a room while that was on. I don't remember it. I got very drunk. Very fast. That's the... Actually, I got the drunkest I've ever been watching big money wrestlers. That was the faded nine I played Edward for Loco Hands. I was gonna say try the knife first. <laughs> can can you break crackable walls with the knife? Oh, okay, that's why I didn't pick up everything in here. The only one who's played Edward or Four Loco Hands, yeah. It's a. Uh, I'm not gonna say that it's a. Uh, it's a sport of kings and queens, but it's certainly for for those that live life on a different plane. I'll say that. It's not for the faint of heart. Yes, very well said. I absolutely would not recommend it. By the way, lest it sound like I'm I'm speaking wistfully. Um. Do not do that, because you will damage your body. And not in, like, a fun way. <laughs> There's still an item in here? Oh! There you are. Alright! Oh! Edward Locohands is already an established thing, huh? And here I thought I came up with it. Well, great minds and all that. I mean, it's just started to do but 40 hands from how I met your mother. Yeah, uh, I mean, that's... So I guess we all drew inspiration from the same place. That feels good. Oh, okay. That means we're all connected. I spe Yeah, I specifically ran through all these areas, not killing everything, but I guess I got more... I have more, uh, more ammo now. know that I need yeah I don't know that I need to clear that area yeah there's just gonna be gonky items and stuff who cares I'll just backtrack let me stay dead or do they respawn it seems like they stay dead although they do come back at like certain story beats and stuff if they 
there's like times they'll they'll dump you back into a sort of hub area and enemies will sort of repopulate there but within the like for lack of a better term within the dungeons for all the bosses they do seem to stay dead when you when you kill them Oh, what is for loco? It's just a really sugary uh, malt liquor. So it's uh, I think it's twelve percent uh, ABV, and it just comes in like a ca uh, carbonated tall boy can. And like I said, it's just super sugary, so it's it's easy to get fucked up because you can drink a lot, <laughs> and you don't. Uh, if you still have to kind of train your mind to not taste it. Sometimes the color of battery acid. Yeah, it's it's a horrible substance that doesn't belong in any human body. But you know, that's life. All right, I want to find my way back to the item elevator, but I have to remember how to do that. I think I have to go up a floor. No, down a floor. Is that, is that connect to here? I think this is, yeah, I think this is where I ran through. I they stopped, thought they stopped making for Loco? Nah, there, there was a very minor uh, moral panic about it. Ooh, he's a big fella. Um, but that passed pretty quickly. Um, like some teenager got themselves killed drinking and driving or something. Is my is my slight understanding. I am not going the am I going the right way? It's, maybe I can just go through there. The biggest the biggest change was that it used to uh ooh, it used to have caffeine in it. And I think they so it was basically a really alcoholic energy drink. And um they they re-released it without the caffeine. Holy cow, that's a lot of stuff. How long I'm gonna get to back up here? Game Attack got me saying don't mix G Fuel and alcohol because of the mixing uppers and downers. Never thought about it because bars have Red Bull as commonplace. Yeah, I mean it. Vodka Red Bull is a pretty common drink for sure, but definitely be mindful of what you put in your body. And if you're going to do something like mixing heavy amounts of caffeine with alcohol, just be aware that that will make you not feel the effects of the alcohol as much. Just be aware of what you're putting in your body. I, um, what's helped me is to sort of budget the amount of alcohol I'm going to allow myself. And, you know, you don't have to, like, stick to a, stick to a hard number or anything, but... Just be like, this, before I even start drinking, what the hell is that? This is the amount of, of uh, alcohol I'm going to roughly budget to put in my body. And if you, if you do that, then like, if, if you sort of set up little mi milestones to remind yourself of like, okay, I've already had this much, how do I feel? Maybe I should give it, maybe I should slow down, maybe I should give it a break, maybe I should just enjoy the ride a little more. That sort of deal. Holy cow, this guy. Does he have, like, a generator behind his, ge his breastplate I'm supposed to be shooting? I'm gonna blow off the armor. Okay. I thought- I thought that might be the case. It's frustrating, because, like, I- I thought I did blow off the armor. God damn it. Okay. Oi. 
All right, that's annoying, but I deserve that, I guess. I should have just shot him from the from the front. The problem is there are, there are like other there are other claw enemies that you do just shoot off their helmet and then shoot them in the head until they die. So that's like that's straight up how another enemy is killed. Uh mechanical heart. Well, I burned through quite a bit of ammo, but well, what you gonna do? Easy come, easy go! This is gonna sound weird as fuck, but I feel like the pandemic and stay-at-home orders have kind of fucked me drinking-wise. Like, I drink less. Yeah, did you just <laughs> got it out of your system? Well then, feel free to peruse. I'm, I'm drinking way less, too. But that's because I, you know, gotta lose weight. It's just... I don't know. It's... You know, you can only have so many nights where you're just like, yeah, I'm going to drink tonight. And then just after a while, it's like, I got to figure something else out. Ooh, where did you get your hands on such a thing? Not me. Yeah. Curing goods is more important than anything. When pandemic... Anything, my friend. Uh, when pandemic first started. Certainly. Certainly, I was I was in the sauce quite a bit more. Yes, but... I can see why you'd be interested in that. Nowadays, a little less so. I mean, weed though. That's kind of it though. I, I think I just exchanged this booze for weed. Investment. Which I think is, I'm gonna say is, is a quality trade. This simple modification can be done in just a moment. I flip back and forth on booze and weed. Hey, at least you're taking, you know, a break from either, I guess. <laughs> Could be worse. And I think I reloaded my shotgun. Day, oh, I didn't! Delightful! Welcome. Delightful. Pick up some free shells. Love to see it. Till next That's crazy week. talk. I've been drinking like there's no tomorrow. Yeah, I... If I... Mm, if I were younger and didn't have like some weird stomach issues, I, I probably still would be as well. So I can't... I can't even feign. Can't can't lie. I have. I can make a ton of mines. Um, I'll have to keep that in mind. I'm not going to make stuff yet. Kind of want to go into the boss fight and see what's going on first, but maybe this will be a. Maybe I'll just drop mines. Just run away. Ethan, number one super strat. Try not smoking it, ingesting it is a different experience. Oh, if it like comes to Yeah, I would say doing like edibles is probably more similar to the effects of alcohol, because it's it's longer lasting and can theoretically be more intense. But definitely can like have some uncomfortable times too, just like with alcohol. If you go if you lean on it too hard. Anyway, it doesn't have to be we don't have to get into super druggy talk or anything. I just, I just try to like, try to be a little socially conscious when it comes to these sorts of discussions. But I'm tired of chips. Prototype Sturm used a cheap turboprop engine, but he's impossible to control. All he does is charge. Too much power output from the reactor. Completely invincible head on, but the dumbass managed to chop his own damn arms off in the propeller. Also, issues with overheating from running for long periods of time. Conclusion, a complete failure. Time to die. That's got to feel bad if you're the you drill, drill man. You. Waiting for you. I guess drill man is the next, the next boss. The next Metal Gear boss. Yeah, edibles creep up for sure. You're just sitting there doing nothing and then you realize that you're in a wacky train of thought try to stand up and you're like whoa a weapon to surpass metal gear Wait. Well, that's oh that's right i love edibles for that reason alone yeah 
But it is. Yeah, I knew he was gonna he was gonna Kool Aid Man out. Oh great. Yeah, I guess he just he just burns down the walls and this this that's a neat I guess that's neat. I feel like you don't have a lot of options. I'm waiting for my health to suck back in. This is ridiculous. Oh yeah, that's the other... I gotta do my other disclosure. Is that it's... Doing that's a rough, a rough habit, like edibles, uh, on, a, on a routine basis, because... It kind of just... It's the rest of the evening. Now granted, in... Uh, in quarantine, we have plenty of evenings to kill, so that's not a big deal. Ah, I'm getting raided by both Jacob and John. John, Jacob, Jingleheimer Raid. That's my name, too. Thank you for the double raids, both the Pizza Posse and Jacob's Jollies. Oh, the Suck Boys. I'll tell you, I'll tell you what I love. I love me some Suck Boys. How's it going, everybody? So wait, did I guess Jacob and John finish the game then, huh? Those boys are gaming a lot harder than me, that's for sure. Although, in my defense, I'm on hardcore, so... Oh, they just finished? Okay. Well, great! Congratulations to both John and Jacob. We're getting on through to the end. John beat it. Jacob was there for emotional support. That is something that Jacob excels at providing. Well, we're going out. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah! Okay. Alright, he does that now. Oh, he turns around extra fast, too. Spit fire, and not in a cool way. This is interesting because he creates like firewalls, and then you have to like crisscross around them or bait them into charging. Oh shit! He's woo, woo. Greg. I've hit him once since he sped up. Oh. Ah. Uh, the perfect opportunity wasted. Ow. Eish. Flashbang helps a lot. Ah. Thank you for the tip. But also, that strays a little too hard on the, uh, on the old back seating there, but. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Let me, let me reestablish. Let me reestablish it, so. I would appreciate if, uh, I don't know, you guys all just saw this stuff, so this can be a little hard to watch, but do try to give me the opportunity to, to figure stuff out. But, um, yeah, flashbangs sound like they would help significantly. Can't argue with that. I just wasn't thinking about them. That's all right. Uh, Bangle Bagel, thank you for the sub. Oh! Oh, he's not overheating anymore. Hopefully that doesn't mean he healed. I can still make a lot of the mines too, Crab. I guess part of me was like, oh good, I can beat this guy without like using any resources at all. That's kind of where my head's stuck. But yeah, I need to... 
I have resources for a reason. Can't spell resources without reason. No. Oh! Stunned him a little. Ah, shucks. I don't know that I have another heal. Ah, yeah, I do. Okay. Okay, yeah, I guess... I guess I didn't hurt him enough. Uh... I probably don't need to have the knife bound for this fight. Okay, so the flashbang just makes it so he kind of lurches off into and attacks nothing. Yeah, we haven't even seen Heisenberg, that's true. Not yet, anyway. Gotta give him points for going overboard with the freak bosses. Yeah! There's some... They're, they're really leaning into it this time. Which is awesome. Now stay down. Oh, is he dead? Oh, okay. Yeah, he's... He's... Mineraling up. Actually, I wonder if that's a combinable one. Nope. Okay. Looks like something from Evil Within. Yeah, it really does. Yeah. I don't know. This this whole sequence, the Heisenberg sort of dungeon area, has been very... has had a very interesting flavor. Very industrial and clinkety-clankety. That's a... Okay. Miranda is abominable. Her deceit knows no bound. We're merely a bunch of failed Cadeau experiments to her. I was just lucky I had more affinity to the stuff than other poor schmucks in the village. So she still calls me her son. What a joke. I'll never forgive her for what she did to me. That crazy bitch has never been right in the head. She can't see a difference between an experiment and family. Miranda didn't just change my body, she took my dignity. If I don't kill her, then my life will never be my own. Still, she may be crazy, but she's also powerful. She can turn into anyone using the Mega My Set. Mega My Seat? The trick is also that brat, Rose. If I could access her power, then maybe. Speaking of, the kid's dad, Ethan, has a pretty interesting body himself. Maybe I could get him to help me out. Yeah, okay, I guess he's remarking about Ethan's mold body. And who wouldn't? Mega My Seat? Okay. That sounds correct. Oh, I should probably... Maybe I should do another lap of that boss fight room and make sure I didn't leave any items behind. Oh. What's this? What's this? What's this? Oh, yeah. No spoilers, please. I don't know if anyone was spoiling, but... Give me the humble opportunity to embarrass myself by taking forever to learn the mechanics, just like everyone else. Can you backtrack far enough to go to the ball puzzle? Um, where was it? Huh, I don't remember. Wait, it's on the, it's marked on the map. So, I think so? Yeah, that should be something I can do. That's good. I did forget that I, uh, I did forget that I made the ball. And then I never actually backtracked to the puzzle. I think it's kind of near the elevator, too. So that shouldn't be that big a deal. All right, wait a minute. It's by the elevator? Yeah, I thought so. Just on a floor that I didn't really go to. And then there were, like, uh, bullets and stuff stacked on the pipes. I'm not sure that I actually looked around completely. Uh, maybe I did. All right. 
man, the, the like, th industrial banging and thrumming in the background has only gotten way more intense. Jeez. Must be all the... <laughs> The mecha cyber zombies banging around and having a good time. Clanging their... Clanging their drill arms together. Now it was near here... Hmm, maybe it wasn't near here. Oh, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Is down one more. Want to go to this industrial cyber zombie rave? Hell yeah. That's the coolest, the hippest place to be ever. So what happens if if the ball rolls off the the maze? Does it just fall on the floor and then you pick it up and do it again? Oh, I guess I'll find Yeah, okay. It just starts over. Your voice gets deeper. The balls have dropped, gamer. You are now a full gamer. Terrible burden, but also... Oh, hey. These physics are a little wacky. I do love ball rolling games, though. I'm gonna admit it. I do. It's been a long time since I've played, like, a marble rolling game. I guess... Oh, that's right. He drops a cigarette, or he drops cigar ashes on himself sometimes. Oops. Um, alright. Marble Madness was the shit. I mean, it was, but it was short and impossible. Any early opinions on the game as a Resident Evil expert? I'm really enjoying it so far. I'm I'm having a pretty grand old time. God, did I do it again? Okay. I, okay. Damn it! Uh there's like things that you would never see because you can't rotate the camera that fast. No spoilers, I'm obsessed with this game's end credit song. Listen to it on YouTube at least 20 times. Cool. I look forward to hearing it. I'm going to assume that means that it is new metal, which is always a good thing. Damn it, I always think it's inverted. Fuck. Uh, this ball puzzle is big ass. It's just like, it's trolly. I wasn't being sarcastic. I genuinely love that stupidly impossible game. Wait, which one? Oh, you mean Marble Madness? It's a fun game. It's a cool concept. God, the f uh, the ball accelerates so slowly. Like it accelerates slower than the props in the puzzle, which means you can't react to anything. You have to like give it plenty of time to accelerate and roll. And jeez, Marble Madness isn't that hard. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty easy to learn, but it takes a while to dial into to the controls and kind of get used to what they they want from you. Ugh, always the wrong one. 
Is this okay? Nope. Timing is going to be a pain in the ass. Uh, the momentum on this ball is horrific. This is, has to be like a 400 pound ball. Nope. What? The fuck? Uh, uh, there's no front on it. Okay. It waits at least? Yeah, that's true. That's something, I guess. Okay, so there's no front. And then I guess you want to roll out of it. I don't know. Whatever. I'll figure it out. I see. I think. Ah, got it. Okay. Nope, nope. What's going on? Let's not let's not rush this. Nope, nope, nope. Okay. Okay. Ugh. Oh, yeah, I guess it can a, a joystick would probably make that quite a bit better too. Goodness. Worth a fair amount of cheddar, though. Oh, you've brought in something special. One moment, please. Worth it. A wonderful adventure. Hey, Sticky Monster. I'm doing pretty good. How far are you past Dimitrescu? Uh, fairly far. Um... I'm coming up on killing or fighting the last of the four generals, so I am two cult cult people ahead of Lady Demetresk. Lay, what currency is that? It's Romanian, I believe. Wait, typewriter. Yeah, whiskey. Always the best always the best advice. Save Save the game. Oh, whoops. What the? Yeah. There's so many steaming vents in here. Wow. Although I have to admit, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put the stakes on the line here. I kind of have a headache, and, and it's a little late, so. I'm going to hang it up pretty soon here. I apologize for those who rated that it's pretty short, but I want to see if if there's like a whole aggravating sequence coming up, then I'll just I'll just put it down for now. But if there's a, a fun wacky boss fight, that sounds that sounds cool. So let's let's feel it out here. Let's see what's going on. I mean, I guess you just you just saw this stuff, so you know what's going on. I don't know what's going on. Oh yeah, no wait, we have to see uh we have to see Miranda, right? And I got I got to get stepped on by Miranda at least once. People in the audience demand demand Miranda. And I am but a humble servant. Really wanted to see Heisenberg? Me too. That's kind of that's what that's what's keeping me going right now. Oh, there's nothing in here. Okay. Well, it's a cutscene door, that's a good sign. What the Oh right. Psychic. 
How am I going to deal with this? Not bad. Not bad, Rangers. You're persistent. But I've got a rebellion. That's cool. So stay out of my way. That was really something. I have to admit, though, again, this it's another, like, wild monster transformation that happened behind something. They seem to really get off in Resident Evil 6 of showing the transformations. Again? But, uh, not so much here, it seems. Ooh. Death Accelerated. Thanks for the Prime. Thank you very much. Uh, oh, it's Kikyo. Thank you for the prime. Bangle Bagel. Thank you. Apologize if I missed anything. I'm getting getting a little inattentive. Oh, no. Well, okay. It's because of the mocap. Oh, yeah, but they, they performed captured in six. Nice. I told you to leave it alone, Ethan. Just immediately emasculated. What do you care, Chris? You killed my wife, you son of a bitch! You think I killed Mia? That wasn't her. He could have said that. It was Miranda. <gasps> She's a bioweapon. Were you? Wait, Chris. Her appearance and pretended to be Mia. Is this what you've been working on? She also survived being shot, so now I'm here to finish the job. Bullshit! Why don't you fucking tell me right away? He's been making I a. Knew you would want to be involved. Making a kill dozer. This job is hard enough without civilians getting in the way. Why us, Chris? What the hell is going on? All right, Ethan. All right. I'll tell you now. I guess I owe you an explanation. You. Uh, this could have happened like six hours ago. Oh my gosh. It's time. Is he just gonna whack me with it? Oh, okay. I was I was a hundred percent convinced he was just gonna boop, and then I, I cut to black. I wake up. I wake up in a toilet again. Long story short, Miranda's fucking insane. In this village, all these monsters and freaks. This is her life's work. Some sort of crazy experiment with the mold. The mold. Like Louisiana. God damn it. All this time. He's thinking. Saved my family. I can't escape from here. I can't do anything. I'm just a big idiot dum dum. That might not be true. Oh boy. Chris firing up his hot rod. Take a look at this. I'm big stupid poo poo pictures butt dum dum. Miranda. Keep looking. Rose. Holy shit. We gotta go. Relax. My men are monitoring the situation. But they have my daughter. You don't get it, Ethan. You don't stand a chance against Miranda by yourself. Why does it have a chainsaw on it? Stay down here and finish planting explosives. You take that elevator. I'll meet you topside. I promise you, we will get your daughter back. I just want my daughter back. I just want my daughter back. And when I find Miranda, she's a dead woman. All right, Ethan. That's the youth that I know. Then you take this and do me a favor. Try to stay under the radar. Take this jet-powered rocket launcher chainsaw tank and maybe stay a little subtle this time. Wow. To Hound Wolf Squad. Man, I, those are the cool boys. I want to be a hound wolf. Assume the factory is complete. No proof of any connection with the organization. Guess this just wasn't our lucky day. I did manage to get my hands on a number of documents disclosing some of Miranda's experiments which support our previous theories. She seems to have infected herself with the mutamycete 
but has granted her a number of abilities, including mimicry. She can control her cells and transform herself to look like anyone or anything. <gasps> Just like Goo Ada! Actually, no, wait. I think they could only be Goo versions. Of anyway, she disguised herself as Mia and infiltrated the Winters' home. So what happened to actual Mia? Her objective was clearly to kidnap Rose. Maybe she thought she could control Rose earlier if she looked like her mom. Did she take the place of Mi actual Mia? Where did Mia go? When we attacked, it put a little damper on her plan, so she mimicked a corpse. She then revived herself in the transport truck, killed everyone on board, and took off with Rose. Things didn't go the way she had originally planned, but in the end, she still got what she wanted. Until now. It's time to rendezvous and blow this place sky high. I think I might turn into a fight with Heisenberg. Or this might turn into a fight with Heisenberg, but I think I found something useful. He's left one of his little toys laying around, and it's even made for a, made from a metal polymer composite, which he can't control. Time to turn the tables. So wait, Heisenberg, in his spare time, made a kill tank that he is vulnerable against specifically. I guess that makes sense. Kind of, right? Like if, if it were made out of anything else, he could just use his psychic powers to put it together, and what's the fun in that? So, he made it out of materials that he actually had to physically assemble. Sure. Sure. Sure, why not? Yeah. Yeah, sure. I'm gonna save again. Save for safety there. Alright, well, I mean, I gotta... I gotta play the fucking tank sequence. Come on. Metal polymer composite, huh? Time to fight fire with fire. Technically a rocket launcher. I'm coming. Wow. What? Wow. Very cool. <clears throat> Resident Evil, you've done it again. takes a long time to reload. Oh, okay, this is guard. Alright. Come on, let me go fight Vulcan Raven. Oh. Right, I forgot I was in a kill tank. You're like a goddamn cockroach! You think you can take me on? I guess they wanted to make sure you wouldn't you'd be on cooldown when they walk in here. Before I kill bitch. Let's say an interesting phrase. <laughs> so this is the power of all the love. This is outrageous. Hurt me more, Snake. I'll kill her with the power she gives. He talks a lot. Oh, 
about that <laughs> you're not supposed to know about that die like the world's watching. Here we go, man Heisenberg rules well, what do you think it's hopeless right just give up flesh and blood will never win against me this is a David and Goliath it's Ethan and a bloody demise! <laughs> Too bad I'm your only fan! Is he making fan puns? Come on! It in the face, I guess. It seems to be working. He's reacting to it, so and now he's smoky. Sure, yeah, I guess that was impressive. Too bad I'm your only I can't do that, so. I feel like I'm so slow with how big that guy is. Uh, maybe I can craft. Yes, I can. Delightful. Well, not many, though. <laughs> you really should have taken my deal. Yeah, I'm kind of regretting that now. You'll be foes in the afterlife. Rose is power as one. Right oh after my one. god. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I think I'm seeing some of the Resident Evil 6 vibes, too. This can't be the end for me! I must kill her! And here comes Ethan's one-liner. Let's hear it. Nope. He had all this time to practice and nothing. Just fade to black, huh? All right. Ethan, I heard explosions. What the hell? The ones you said. Never mind. I dealt with Heisenberg. Now I'm gonna find Miranda and get Rose back. Not without me. It's too dangerous. Wait there. You hear me? Ethan. Rose. Ethan. Ethan, respond. I wasn't there before. Mia. What? Not Mia. You. My child. She's so important. Ethan, I need just. The, the minimum of short-term memory is what's required to function in this Mind environment. Me. And you don't seem to... With Heisenberg gone, you've lost your lead. Mia? Oh my god, you're here. What are you going to do? I don't know, but I'm saving Rose. You'd never know, do you? Even when I took Mia's place in your home. Poor Ethan. Who are you? Where's Rose? <laughs> <laughs> We get to see mom, mommy Miranda now. All right. Enough. Remember Evelyn and her power over them all. 
Rose is her successor. No. Rose is Evelyn's true, complete form. She will grow to fully control the masses. So wait, does this mean that does this mean that Ethan didn't get laid? Fuck you, you crazy bitch! Did Ethan actually think that holding hands is what got her pregnant? And then it was like Evelyn's psychic. The Mega My Seat catalogs all of us. However, she will be reborn as my daughter. She's my child, not yours. Where are you? Show yourself. Why did Rose come to be? Was it because of her parents? And you are truly a special case. But I've learned all I can from you. Your worth as a lab rat has run out. Miranda, you coward. Come on and face me. Okay. Don't. Oh. Is this what you wanted? Your death will come quick. You um, will join the Mega My Seeds records. What? I need I'm that. Not sure to sample your blood for later. Like even Ethan probably can't be cool without a heart, right? The ceremony will be complete, and I will become her true mother, bound for eternity in blood. <laughs> Whoa, that's gnarly, man. I do appreciate that this game is really going there. Yeah, just choo, 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 choo. just pack some dirt in there. And this really can come true. <gasps> wakes up. Vessel or not, I can't wait to see my true child again. Cool. No, Ethan has no heart or brains. <laughs> or peanuts. Wait, what? I wasn't able to retrieve the body, but I've recorded evidence. Share your screen, oh. and I'll go over the situation. My team and I were careless. Yesterday, we took down the transformed Miranda, but we didn't kill her. Who knew she could fake being a corpse? <laughs> Since Miranda could have infected Ethan, I forcefully took him and Rose with us. But the vehicle they were riding in was attacked. I guess that might explain why Chris didn't tell him anything. Wreck, Ethan and Because Rose he might have, he might be like mind controlled or a clone or something. The last time I was able to contact Ethan, I heard Miranda's voice. She murdered him. And she is not gonna get away with it. God damn it, when does it end? What's that, sir? The mission? All of it. <laughs> Three years trying to put this thing in the ground. Three years too long. <sighs> they keep trying to, like, pitch, pitch Chris as this, like, hard-boiled... A uh, burnout zombie fighter. Oh shit! Holy fuck! Fuck! So I wondered. I wondered how big he was under that jacket. Holy shit! They didn't waste any time. Fuck! No, it doesn't change anything. This this man is huge. And rescue Rose. That's the mission. And failure's not an option. Let's have some fun, people. Like old times. Move out. Roger. Is it now a co-op multiplayer game? K9, I want to know what the hell BSAA is doing here. Find out what you can. I thought they were BSAA. Vegeta muscles? Yeah. Well, since we fought together, Captain. <sighs> when was the last? The desert? The Didn't desert? The recon's gotten me out of shape. The desert? The recon, we know Miranda's plan. Couldn't quite believe it when I heard you. Fighting the insurgents? Taking five shots to the head's nothing to sneeze at either. Spooky. You know what? This is also kind of Resident Evil 6 in that, yeah, the game the game has kind of gone Call of Duty all of a sudden. You're like, tack ops bros infiltrating the forest. 
Nobody was wearing a ghillie suit for no reason. That would have helped. <laughs> oil, 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 okay, so rhubarb, rhubarb. <laughs> hey, Alpha. That's the sound of freedom. This music sounds Resident Evil 4-ish, too. They've gone too far. Okay, so the BSA is... They're out of their league. Are you How are you planning on reaching the objective? First, we're gonna have to take that thing out. Got your back, boss. Let's get to work. Everyone watch for hostile bioweapons. Roger. <laughs> Wait. There might be hostile bioweapons here? Jeez, the map key doesn't do anything. Alright, well this is sick as hell. This is outrageously awesome. Damn. Damn. I think I think I might need to save it for tomorrow. How much how much time is left? Would you say like maybe an hour? Made contact with a group of hostile bioweapons. There's more than we thought. Watch out. Like an hour? Okay. Okay, they don't drop items either. One, one and a half to two absolute tops with credits and all stuff included. I mean, I'll probably, I'll probably do all that stuff. So yeah, I think I'll save it for another. I think I'll save it for another day tomorrow. I guess. Yeah, why not tomorrow? Um, unless I get busy with stuff. Who knows? Ugh. It's like a weird crust on my desk. Who knows? All right. Well, thank you all very much for watching. If you rated over and stayed, thank you for doing that. Uh, this is this is usually how it goes, you know, just some chill gaming. That's all on harder difficulties. So. But yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. I, I love I love playing games with people and talking about them with people, sharing experiences and takes and analyses and it's just the coolest. So uh I'm just I'm just tickled pink that you guys uh might wanna might wanna chill and play games with me. So I appreciate that. Uh I'll be back at it tomorrow. Maybe I might I decide to take it easy. We'll see. I want to finish this game though, so I think I'll do that. Oh yeah, and uh I I owe a media tech, don't I? I do. All right, I'm going to leave clips rolling after the stream's over. This is the end of gameplay, but uh, I I have this like media library of dumb clips that I built up. I edited it out of a bunch of random stuff. You see it whenever I'm away from stream, but I'm just going to leave that running for maybe an hour or two because uh, I like to do that once a week. And uh, stick around if you like. If not, that's fine too. You're going to do Beat Mania later this weekend. Man, uh, maybe tomorrow. Yeah, maybe I'll just wrap this up, do Beat Mania, and that'll be the stream tomorrow. We'll see. Anyway, uh, stick around if you like watching some random media or you want some background noise. If not, totally understand, because it's kind of a different kind of stream. So that's the story. Have a great night, everyone. I'll catch you next time. Have a good rest. Good rest.